Hello. Have returned. They are. Hello. There we go. There we go. Amazing. <laughs> Hello. Hello. How are you? Today has actually been incredibly busy. Oh and then my I got god, like me too. I was like, oh yeah, Fee is streaming. <laughs> <laughs> mm, that's the thing. Yeah, no, I have been I have been much of the same. Um <laughs> it was it was uh yesterday. I'm like, you know what? It's August 30th, it's alright. I have tomorrow to do stuff, because then that's September is the day after that, and I need to do social scheduling and all this kind of stuff for the new month. That's fine, I can do it tomorrow. And then I got a call from my dentist saying, just confirming your appointment tomorrow. And I went, ah, crap. So <laughs> and now I need to speed run everything. Mm, so yeah, Fia did a speed run today. Speed run life. I don't recommend it. <laughs> and then, Mood. and then as I went to minimize Discord after joining the voice channel, I almost instinctively clicked the update button. <laughs> I didn't. Mm. We're good. I didn't. <laughs> Like, hi Fia. Bye Fia. <laughs> Hello, goodbye. Yes, uh -huh. it's um mm, so I'm having a I'm having a day, but it's fine. It's oh. fine. Cause now we get to play video games. And I've been told yeah. there is an event with a cute. Yes. What is the event with the cute? And am I able to partake uh, at this level? Yes, it's a level fifteen quest. Perfect. It's in Uldar, actually. Oh, that's my hometown. It's where uh -huh. I'm from. According to some things. Um. Well done, Zamon first. Well done, Shiba on second. <laughs> Seiko with third. Hello, Lander. Hello, Dunno. It is a fear. Hello. We just found out you're an auntie again. Now, when I first read this little message, my brain thought, wait, did she not know that her family member was pregnant? Because my brain didn't realize that, like, you, you know? Yeah, well, congratulations! That's fantastic news. I hope that everyone involved is well and resting and all that jazz. Congratulations! Well done. Good, let's click no. I didn't forget, thankfully. Well, no, because I'm like, I just, you know, just found out I'm an auntie again. It's like, okay. Like... Brain was like, well, did did, did she, did, was she just told that there was a pregnancy? And it's like, no, that's not how it works. It's like, well, d was she notified when the process begun? Because I know that's a thing. Like, people tend to, like, send out a blast when things start happening. Um, and then I'm like, well, yeah, but maybe it took a really long time. I mean, <laughs> I was the result of 48 hours of labor and followed by an emergency c-section <laughs> so like i can imagine that the blast went out to my family and then everyone kind of forgot it was happening and then was like oh it's done now finally so like you know i just sometimes our brains do not function the way that we expect them to hey don't worry <laughs> that was your first thought my first brain thought was like am i gregnant <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> like, got to every video, he's gonna go with yeah. me to the end of my day <laughs> Oh, Lord. Ugh, the internet is full of people who cannot spell. Uh -huh. Oh, dear me, no, 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 we just entered the world. Fantastic. Fantastic. Well, welcome to the new life. I hope that everyone is doing well. Everyone involved is... Yeah, I'm not, to be very clear. I am reading what Sheba has put in chat. I am very much not. Absolutely not. Good. And if I was, we'd have an issue and I need to be going to the hospital about now. Cause Yeah. Oh yeah. Of course this happens at the same time as everything being speedrun. But that's fine. Good. Let's close that achievements window. What am I doing? There's a there's an MSQ in front of me. Maybe I should do the MSQ. Entirely up to if you wanna grab it and then if you wanna teleport over to Uldar. Yes. Or if you wanna grab it and do other things. I'm gonna grab it. And then I'm going to check out this event because it is actually in yeah. my deal sheet to oh, enjoy yeah, any events that may be going on in game. And I want to check out the cute. You told me there was cute. I need to see the cute. Good. Minfilia. I think it's going to be very fitting because you're from Fantastic. I'm so glad to hear that. 
Menphilia appears to be lost in thought. Express yourself, woman. <laughs> Express yourself. Use your words. Here we go. Hmm? Fiyama, it pleases me to see you well. Now there's a door. Tataru! Wait, that is Tataru, right? Jesus. Yes. Oh, thank God. That would have been extremely embarrassing. Why are Again, you racial profiling the, the Lalafels? No, I just for, like sometimes I, I forget names. <laughs> I forget okay. names for people in my life. Like Move. video game characters is a whole a whole new level. Um, Double the words to forget. <laughs> well done, Zam. I like that. Um, hey, can I actually say that? Congragula ta tali Titans. Con Congragula tali Titans. Good. Do excuse me for interrupting, Fiyama. My lady, the gentleman from Ashgana Exports has just left. I understand now why you didn't want to receive him. <laughs> oh no, I feel that. This is why you have receptionists who screens calls for everyone else in the building and they have the patience of a saint. Uh, you did well, Tataru. Please inform the guards that we will not be receiving any further guests this evening. Thank you, my lady. Thumbs up. It's a tar like a cake or something. <laughs> yes! Or coffee. Yes! Oh my lord. Ever since we defeated Gaius von Baelsar and destroyed his ultimate weapon, the eyes of the world have followed our every move, scarce remembering to blink. Where once we worked in secret with precious few friends and all too many enemies, we are now besieged by benefactors, each one more eager than the last to offer us his complete support. A true embarrassment of riches. Is that the collective noun of riches? Because that would make me just so happy as well. Of course, every promise... It could be. That would be awesome. Uh, of course, every promise of patronage comes with a price. Some make their intentions known from the start, while others endeavour to engage us more subtly. Dress it how they will, the message is ever the same. We shall help you, but only if you help us. The gentleman Tataru spoke of was more brazen than most. In exchange for certain supplies, he would have us resolve a business dispute. Just a moment, I forgot to do a thing. There we go. Oh, crap. I missed it. Naturally refused him. There was a breast of the sentence. When we formed the Scions of the Seventh Thorn, it was with the goal of serving Eorzea, not the interests of individual Eorzeans. Our neutrality is fundamental to our cause. In my heart, I know this to be true, and yet, and yet, if accepting these offers of patronage could empower us to do greater good, might they not warrant greater consideration? Our Baldessian colleagues have been generous beyond measure, but we cannot expect them to... Forgive me, I did not mean to burden you so. Yet, my urge to share this dilemma may not be wholly misguided. Might I impose upon you to consult the others? They are like to have their own opinions on this matter. Alrighty. Oh, she's got a blue one now. That's fun. Okay, so... Oh, I what that is. Sorry. Oh, I'm like, I wonder what that is. I've forgotten. It's been so long. I talked to her. Mephilia has need of your talents for a re-emerging primal problem. Oh! That might be the hot... No, it might be the extremes, actually. Yeah, level 50, a recurring problem is what it's, um, yeah. It says no we'll reward, but it, because it's the blue one with the plus, and it uh, it unlocks mechanics, yes. right? Yeah, unlocks game yeah. features. Perfect. All right. Um. So this is has like speak with all the people. Mm -hmm. Um. So. Oh uh, yeah, you can do that. I reckon. I I think I think after that, you go up to a place. Cool. So, so I can go to that place that, via yeah. Ulda. Perfect. All right. I was just, yeah, if I'm like, if I'm right here doing something, I might as well finish what's here before yeah. moving on. Uh, oh, exactly. this way. Something, something efficiency, maybe? Hmm, who knows? Oh. Who knows? Whoa. Oh, okay. Let's go here. So we're going to speak with Yustola. Recall you. Here. They are. Everyone all together again at last. Uh, recall you our meeting with the Admiral shortly after the Lamincens sent word of Titan at the sent word of the summoning of Titan. Then mayhap you also recall my words to our host. I said unto Melwib that her people had broken their treaty with the Kobolds, and that the beastmen had justly responded, 
that we had been called to intervene in a conflict which she herself had invited. I spoke, in short, the truth. And wherefore did I speak it? Because, owing no allegiance to Limsa, I felt no compulsion to allow the Lemonsons to distort the facts to fit a narrative which justified their actions and absolved them of guilt. Fair. Upon this subject, Minfilia can expect a similar reply. Our many dalliances with the city-states have already weakened our claim to neutrality, but the path she contemplates would see us relinquish it entirely. Okay. Thangrid. Fortune begets power, and power fortune. That we, and especially you, have power is beyond doubt. The question is what to do with it. You may be interested to know that there is a growing belief amongst the refugees that Alamigo could be liberated if only the Scions would commit their strength to the cause. Yet theirs is but one of many causes. We stand at a crossroads, Fiamma. Each path is paved with good intentions, but where they lead is far from clear. Also fair. Like, who are we? What are we doing? I'm guessing this is the question we're facing at the moment, hey? Uh, none, can deny, none can deny that we would benefit from more support, but if it comes at the cost of our principles? Neutrality was ever a delicate matter. I've lost count of the times I've had to explain to people that our allegiances need not necessarily lie in the same place as our headquarters. Mind you, if we are to sell our services for Gil, we might as well declare our fealty to Uldar now and have done with it. I'm quite sure Ida would enjoy the bribes. <laughs> I've been receiving a lot of gifts lately, but Papa Limo keeps making me send them back. It wouldn't be so bad, but some of them are really nice. I mean, very nearly abandon your principles nice, you know? So we know where Ida sits, good. <laughs> I mean, girl, same, but. Tis the lot of the powerful to attract the covetous as well as the needy. Thus doth prudence dictate that those with their power proffer aid with one hand whilst the other resteth ever on their hilt. Alas, we have not the luxury of time to decipher our petitioner's machinations. Nay, not while the beast tribes do labour unseen, defiant in defeat, to raise up their fallen primals once more. Doubt not that they shall return, stronger and bolder both, nor that we shall be the ones to meet them. This sacred charge shall ever be ours. Tis but a pity we are so few and our fortune so finite. Okay, so translating that, I think what Yurianja is saying is that we're going to need some money to be able to keep doing what we're doing in the name of neutrality. But, like, neutrality doesn't get the dosh. Correct. Cool. You just said it as you said in cursive. So <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm. Mm. All right, Alpha Nord, let's, come on. What do you got to say, my boy? Hmm, this situation is not wholly unexpected. I too have given much thought to our organization's future, though it would seem I have reached a different conclusion. Mayhap it is time I made my feelings known to the antecedent. Come along, Fiamma. Speaketh in cursive. Yeah, you're not wrong, Shiva. You're not wrong. Thank you for the correction. <laughs> Alpha not Fiamma, is aught amiss? You desired counsel, and so you shall have it. Minfilia, the Scions of the Seventh Dawn, must leave Ulva. We must do what? So long as we remain within Uldan territory, we will never be free to act with impunity. Moving our headquarters to Vesper Bay only delayed the inevitable. We have demonstrated our capabilities, and the Syndicate has taken note. They will not suffer our organization to remain independent now. We are far too dangerous for that. Surely you realize they are the reason Vesper Bay still lacks an Aetherite. They know full well how beneficial one would be to our cause, which is why it and other favors will be denied us unless we cooperate. If Uldar is no longer suitable, where would you have us go? Experience has taught us that the appearance of neutrality is as important as the reality. Accordingly, we must keep each of the great nations at arm's length and plant our banner in a place which all agree to be beyond their borders. So, like the place we just exploded? Uh, I'm sure that's Cash. Where was it? Praetorium. That's Northern Thanalan. Oh, it's still. So technically it's still okay, in Thanalan yeah. under the jurisdiction of Uldar, yeah. Fair, right. So, we're going new places now. Uh, wouldst thou ever enjoy an encyclopedia of Eurangia, thou needs only look unto mine person for such insights. <laughs> well done, Landar, well done. Hello, meaty. I have completed my afternoon tantrum and am now calm enough to join chat. Yas. 
Well done. Go you. Go it you smash that. Oh, it really it really can. It's like it's like crying literally chemically helps, right? It it releases endorphins and it helps, you know, mellow you out and chill you and get and get the thing. It's cathartic. Yes, do the thing. I'm so proud of you. Well done for like acknowledging your feelings and expressing them. Good on you. Well done. Sometimes it's scary and uncomfortable, but you did it anyway. I'm proud of you. Um, beyond their borders. Good. Off we go to the floating ship. Mordona. Okay. I recognize that name. But do not despair. Ah, oh, Metafont! Without allies. Thank you for the prime sub. Much appreciated. 43 months. Holy cow. That is a long time. Thank you so much for your support. I hope you're having a fantastic day today. Well done for not murdering anyone. Assuming. Assuming. <laughs> Assuming. <laughs> right, to Mordona. Revenant's Toll, to be precise. It lies within neutral territory and offers all the essential facilities we, requ we require. By way of an additional benefit, it is also frequented by a veritable legion of adventurers who may serve to supplement our ranks. Not a bad thought. I am, of course, conscious of the fact that we have developed a certain bond with Uldar and her people over the years, but I truly believe this to be the best course of action. I think he's right. Honestly, I, I think he's right. Um, I did not, but Illidan is still hiding in the bathroom. Illidan will be fine. Fine. I thought you were saying right to more donuts. And now I require donuts. Damn. God damn it. However, oh my gosh, I have to tell you guys, this is okay. The the stream is an ad, sure, but like this particular section is not an ad. Um, I had a new type of Mars bar today. It had honeycomb flavored nougat. And salted caramel. Oh no. It was really good. That's dangerous. <laughs> it, it, it yeah. was, and it was a dollar. <laughs> it was really good and it was dirt cheap. And 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 the nougat was like yellow. Like yellow. It yeah. Nuclear yellow. Mm, not not like not like highlighter yellow, not like yellow with a tinge of green, but it was like yeah. as bright as dandelion yellow could possibly be. Huh. Does that make yeah, is that cool? Alright. Yeah. The ca the caramel was the same colour, but it tasted different. Like it actually it had it wasn't it wasn't like salty, but it was like the perfect amount of they did a good job. Like they're ta God, I should be QA for Cabri or Mars or someone. <laughs> like no, I would be, I would be unhealthy. I would be very unhealthy if Can I did you, that. They, yeah. <laughs> they should continue to charge me for their food. Yes, good. Um, <laughs> but also, I'm sorry, how adorable is this tiny baby bottle of, em uh, empty bottle of uh, vanilla, oh. no sugar? Like, yeah, Jas bought a 12 pack because we're like, we're, we're like, I get cravings and sometimes yeah. you just need a bit of a, you know, caffeine hit and stuff. And every so often, like, I feel really ugh, and so I, like, walk down to Woolies. And when I walk down to Woolies and I get myself a big bottle, like a 600ml bottle of vanilla coconut sugar, I always end up picking up something else. Always. Yeah. And it's really bad. And so he's like, no. And plus, there's a vending machine at his work. Um, and he was spending quite a bit of money on the vending machine at work. Um, so we bought a 12-pack of of um vanilla no sugar coke and it happened to be in bottles and not in cans and they are just the the cutest little baby bottles you ever have seen um so yes that is end of me talking about food that i like good um <laughs> there's donuts i wish there were but no it's more donor oh that's ranking more donor eleven and eight my g733 <gasps> Oh me! Had to throw out the whole animal. Oh my lord! That's like me with my phone charger. The kitten decided this is chew toy, and I'm like, I'm. Yeah, but that's I just like that. so. Illidan ate Meaty's last headset. That's why they bought a wireless one. To Jesus fucking Christ! What kind Look. of dog is it? Dog or cat? Dog, dog. Um, Bumpy. but like, I mean. And this is this is not assuming anything negative about yourself, Meaty, at all. But like, have you looked into getting the oh, dog she's trained, she's like like properly, professionally trained? Because there's something wrong here. Like genuinely, the amount of like every every day, 
there is something new or multiple things new that he has eaten and this is going to be exceptionally expensive and it may well be cheaper rather than replacing shit he's eating constantly to go and actually have him professionally trained to not fucking chew everything because that's like you, you know you know it's like with with kids like it, it, there's a point at which oh you know they're toddlers they're loud and noisy and they break shit but then it gets to a point where it's like no no this child is destructive and this child needs like therapy or help or, or, or like learning of some kind like it's got I, I like i'm not living your life obviously and this this is completely free of judgment but is it time to like Mm, cause there's there's something not right there. That's that's a lot of shit. A lot of shit that he's eaten. Could also just Perfect be shipping. play, to be honest. Bored. Like mm. dogs will off dogs and cats will go, I'm bored. Hmm. I'm gonna bite this. Sauce yeah. noodles. So now we play with her. Yeah. <laughs> and she's like, hell yeah. Some vanilla cake. It is it's uh, sausage. Such a tiny such a tiny bottle. Okay, not the end. Last night I stepped on one of his chew toys and split the arch of my foot open, came home in pain, then discovered pieces of G733, then tantrum. Yeah, that's that's not okay. He gets bored due to being a Kelpie at home all day. As of tomorrow, oh, as of tomorrow, a... I can put in his application for assistance dog so he can go with me. He's a herding dog, that will do it. Yeah. yeah. That's a working breed. Until the application goes through. Is there somewhere he can go during the day to get that, like, it's it's a it's sustenance. It's just not food sustenance. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's Tim's dog park every morning before work. Clearly, it's not. And, and again, nothing against you. You're doing everything you possibly can yourself. He's a he's a puppy. He it's more 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 more. Apparently, yeah, very routine oriented. Yeah. Otherwise, I get like super neurotic and like chew things. Eat headsets. Yeah. <laughs> which, you know, is an ideal. Some dogs also have pica, which is a desire to eat non food items. Yes. Yeah. If we lived in a city, there'd be daycare, etc., not where we are. It's not school holidays anymore, is it? Kids are gone back. I was going to say, uh, is there like a. Back, yeah. Is there like a late high schooler nearby who needs some extra cash during the holidays to like entertain the dog dog sitting you know um and i'm again i i really i really want to be super 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 fucking clear this is this is problem solving fear happening this is what i do when i yeah. care i kind of go okay what can we do to fix this rather than yeah I, and i i sincerely apologize if if what you need is is um uh like i'm so sorry that this is happening that is really really shit I'm, dude, that, like, that sucks, and I use dude here non-gendered, as per usual, but again, to be clear, um, like, fuck, fuck, <laughs> I'm I'll so sorry. I'll do help. Yeah, and that's, and then, you know, my brain does that for, like, half a second, and then it's like, okay, what can we do to stop this from happening? Because that really, really blows, yeah. yeah, and I am hurting for you. I know that doesn't help, but it's there. My condolences. How long does the application thing do? That's not right. That's not correct English. <laughs> I said it and then my brain was like, nope, try again. It was me like talking to like the person I had to this morning. I was like, what? Home territory. Okay. I'm guessing none of the doors have locks. You can't put the expensive stuff behind a locked door. I mean, like, obviously, like, backyard, dog, out, go. But, like, if he has to stay at home do. indoors, obviously putting the headset up out of reach isn't helping. Um, you could do enrichment toys. You could do enrichment feeding. That makes the dog think. Like, literally, literally, like, we do for the cats, it works for dogs too. You get, this, if they have kibble in the morning, you get the kibble and you just throw it. Like, across the room. One bit at a time. And they eat it and come back. And you throw it again. They eat it and come back. And, like, you can just throw it all over the place. It's great. Or you can just literally get, like, a bath mat and put the kibble in that and cover it up with the stuff. And they'll, it's tickling their brain because they have to use their nose. 
Makes him think. Um, can you create him during the day? The tough kennels. The dogs can't break out of it. You see a lot of dog owners and trainers on the oh, I depend. I guess because I think Meaty's out of the house for quite some time, right? Mm. It's a, yeah. Yeah, crate crate training is a good thing to do just in general, mm -hmm. purely like for if you have to take the dog to the vet and the dog doesn't panic, yeah. all that sort of stuff. But like, it, yeah, crate training is a good thing to do. Um, during the just like, depending on the period of time they're away. Yeah, from. that's yeah. the thing. Like, if if you leave the house for like nine hours because you got commute and then a job and then come home, is like that is that too long? I don't know where. I've not had an animal above like me being above the age of like. 14, 15, and I was not involved yeah. in training. So I don't I don't know where, like, the line is drawn for that kind of stuff. And I'm yeah, guessing well, the line would be a total different, different place dog. for each different breed, and then each different dog is... <sighs> look, it's complicated. Oh, yeah. <laughs> look. Look. Um, jeez. Okay, look. I'm, I'm sure that this is probably more problem-solving than Meaty anticipated or needs. Um, so... I'm gonna continue with the, the the story stuff, but Meaty, I am I am so sorry. Um, tantrum appropriate, and Illidan should be in the bathroom, scared because like Illidan did done screwed up like big time. That's unacceptable. That's unacceptable. Um, he was not prepared, you could say. Mm hmm. But yeah, that's um. Yeah. I'm so sorry. Yeah, so that's rough. Um, as you yourself observed, we have invaluable ties to the local community, forged through years of concerted effort. Uldar, Uldar is our home, Alpha Node. To cast every, uh, to cast aside everything we have built and start anew in that desolate wasteland would be beyond reckless. The decision is yours to make, Antecedent. I ask only that you recall the shared purpose which first moved us to the and to moved us to found the Scions of the Seventh Dawn, and which moved you to found the Path of the Twelve. Ere that, we aspire to an ideal. You and I, excuse me, just as my grandfather did. That makes us more than mere comrades in arms. We are as much your family as. That will be all, Alphonse. I'm sure you have some familial affairs of your own to attend to. Your concern is most generous, but no, I have left them in the hands of men better suited to the task than I. I could not very well allow my personal affairs to come before the needs of the Order, after all. The kitten destroyed my foxtail and I was fuming over it. I couldn't imagine the anger from something so expensive. My heart really does go out to you, Media. I hope things can get better. Agreed. Agreed wholeheartedly. Uh, okay. I believe. Fending, maiming, striking. I think I'm supposed fending. to take fending, yeah? Yep. Fending is generally tank stuff, yeah. Perfect. Do, 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 do. Alright, let me take next quest. Moving on. Once again, Minfilia appears to be lost in thought. Leave Ulda. Has it truly come to this? Hmm? Oh, Fiamma. Pray attend to Alphanod. He's engaged in some business or other and requires your assistance. He's extremely well suited to the future needs with all his kelpiness. We were just waiting until the window opened. Hopefully I'll be first in the queue when it opens tomorrow and I submit. Thank you everyone for caring. Of course, of course. Of course, of course, of course, of course. Always. Fingers crossed. Yeah, definitely. Best of luck. Like, yeah, really, truly. Uh, pray be on your way. Alphanod waits upon you and I have much to think about. Oh, and tell him he shall have my answer in due time. Leave the solar. Also, I just looked it up. That reoccurring problem quest she has is the one that leads into the unlocks of the hard modes, which you also need to get through the MSQ. Ah! Cool. So yeah. it'll eventually pop up in my little drop down yeah. bit here. It'll cool. it'll be like, make sure you do, do this. Go, yeah. Understandable. <laughs> yeah. Confound it. She knows what must be done, and still she hesitates. All because of these fanciful rumors. Hmm. I should explain. Minfilia's mother, well, 
adoptive mother, was among the great many who perished during the calamity. Um, Flamin was her name. Uh, though you may know her better as the songstress of Ulda, she was a performer of singular talent and much beloved by the people of Eorzea, not to mention a certain Charleian minstrel. As you may imagine, the news of her passing was greeted with shock and disbelief by her adoring followers, many of whom refused to acknowledge what had happened, that her body was never found, only served to encourage speculation. Her name was what? Uh, it had an apostrophe in it. It was like F-L apostrophe H-A-M-M-I-N, I think was the... Yeah, there you go. Oh no, F apostrophe L-I... Uh, L... H A is that an L or an I? I'm guessing it's an L. Good question. F L F apostrophe L H A M I N N. So I would assume that it is pronounced Flamin. That's a name. It is. It's also unfortunately very close to Flamma. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Minfilia too struggled at first to accept the truth, but as Flamin's absence stretched from months into years, she saw that there could be no other explanation. I've decided here, uh, her name is Flamin. Uh, Fiamen. Fiamen. Okay. Well, I mean, it could be. I really... Look. Look. Okay. mean. Hmm. Until recently, <laughs> at any rate. For whatever reason, rumors have once again begun to circulate that Flamin is alive and well. I need to type this into Google. I know, right? How do I pronounce that? Oh, look, I type in F apostrophe L, and it's the first autocomplete result. Everyone's like, how Oh, no, wait. This? I'm going to get spoilers if I do that, aren't I? Yeah. Cool. Can you Google it? Sure. Because, <laughs> because, because, yeah. Hello, V. Welcome back. One of our informants, Father Iliad, has sent word that a woman matching the songstress's description has been seen of late at the seaside resort of Costa del Sol. If we could succeed in tracking her down, I have no doubt that any worries now that now plague Minfilia's heart might be a surge. Uh, good stopping right there. Well done. Yeah, look, I see the thing is I typed it in, I hit enter, and then I saw the first result with like her last name and her race, and I kind of went, oh, hang on. I'm gonna get information I don't have yet, aren't I? So yeah. I mean to set forth for Lenosia at once. Let us re reconvene there and inquire with Master Giger. Gagaraju as to the veracity of these rumors. I swear, when they came up with this stuff, they're just like, how can we make everyone get really frustrated when they try to read this aloud? <laughs> Good. So we're going to go to Costa del Sol, except we're not. We're going to Ulta. Have you tried the expanded free trial of our critically acclaimed Mamorpaga Final Fantasy XIV? You can play through the entirety of A Realm Reborn and the award-winning Heaven's Ward expansion up to level 60 for free with no restrictions on playtime. Key smash and hope for the best. Meet a sufficient at the great. Yeah, basically. Basically. I mean, I found the Katakana pronunciation of her name. Oh? Uh, Thuramin. Which is Fulem. so, f so fu ramen, I guess, or lamen, lamen, lamen. Must be something. I H. mean, yeah, that that's. I mean, yeah, that's why I kind of went with fl flamen, because mm. when you when you say an H, it's kind of just an exhalation. So yeah. it kind of yeah. So usually when it's stuck in there randomly, it ends up being sort of silent. Okay. Yeah. And who in Japanese isn't like a hard F, so it's more like it's like I an mean, exclamation. So Uruga sent a chat. Uh, it's Lamine. So the F well, is also silent. Works. Yeah. Well, I'll explain it later. Okay. When when thing when, when we thing get happens. there when when it Correct. is appropriate. All right. Where Correct. is this event? Take uh, me to the event. Walk out. Hook a left. Okay. I've walked out. Wait, to the sun, sundry splendors? Like a left, like a tight left, or a big left? A uh, big left, all the way down the hallway. There's a big okay. quest called Newfound Journey on your- Because there's a sparkly down. person there, and I thought maybe that was- Oh, there's a sparklier person over here. Gotcha. It you. <laughs> here, welcome. All right, wandering minstrel. Oh. This quest is available for a limited time only. 
Greetings, friend. By your dauntless bearing, I assume you are an adventurer. As for myself, I am a humble, wandering minstrel, one who draws inspiration from the daring deeds of those in your calling. If you have a moment, there is a favour I would ask of you. Will you not hear me out? I'm here, aren't I? Of late, more people are seeking to take up adventuring. I hear music. Not all are yet wise in the ways of the world, however, and I fear they might fall prey to less principled types in Ulder. If one such as you were to help them on their way, I would feel more at ease. What say you? Will you not take a fledgling adventurer under your wing? I'm truly grateful. Now, I believe a carriage is due to arrive shortly. If you go and wait at the Gate of Nald, chances are a soul will wander in who has just embarked upon the path of adventure. Pray greet them and offer your help. Worry not, you'll have no trouble identifying them. You need but look for someone absorbed in their surroundings. <laughs> I dare say it will feel like glimpsing into the past, right to the part where you are greeted by a helpful stranger. This is cute, I like this. So far, anyway. Seasonal event, quest accepted! Onwards. <clears throat> oh my god, to naming thing that's really explained. Oh, okay, fair. I've spoken later in the game, just keep looking out for it. Music is from Endwalker. Fun! Oh, no, it's not. Oh, it's music that played during 1.0 Moon Go Burr. Ah, okay, there you go. Oh, it's his destination! Let's click the sparkles. Waiting. Waiting for the carriage! Sorry? I wonder if you remember this. <laughs> yeah. You I'm get over it? there. Yes. It's so like this is cute. I know, right? It's this is cute. You were right. That is a really good description. It's also very appropriate that it's an Ildar this year, huh? Yeah. Cause it's me. This is this is where I started. Except I don't have ears like that. I have pointy rock-like ears that we don't know how understand how work physiologically speaking. Don't worry about it. What will you say, Oi, adventurer, over here? Is this your first trip to Ulzar? Welcome to Ulzar. I'm gonna say welcome, cause that's what I say to people in chat. I say welcome on in. <laughs> My character is like dressed in like drip. I am a chess piece. <laughs> I'm still, I still, like, every time I look at my getup, I'm like, I'm a chess piece. I can't. Who are you? Says the bright-eyed youth. Um, an experienced adventurer, you say? And you want to help me on my way? Well, I could certainly use some guidance. I've never been anywhere near as big as bu and busy as all the... Oh, no. <laughs> My name is Nagia Jakya, but just Nagi will do. And you, as you rightly guessed, I'm an aspiring adventurer. That's why I left my village and came here. Well, step one, honey, let's get you something that, like, covers that up, because you're going to get stabbed. Um, <laughs> so I understand that you first need to register at the Adventurer's Guild. Do you know where that is? Do I? Oh, sweet summer child. Hmm. <laughs> Bright-eyed youth. Just through that door, is it? Thank you, I'll head there at once. He's like, uh, oh, okay. You skipped the tutorial! Yep. Nagi rushes off before you can offer further explanation. Perhaps you should follow him to the quicksand. At least there's no... At least there's no more tin can of light! Exa yes, exactly right. <laughs> that post there's the so Yeah. Cute. Yeah. Oh, Do you understand? Great. I need tink tink room inside the armor. <laughs> <laughs> Let it. Let us just say that, according to the internet, I'm not the only one who feels a certain way about the uh, the tin of tuna. In and out, in and out. Come on, Nagi, you can do it. Oh, it's you again. To be honest, I'm quite nervous. It's heartening to have you here too. You've graduated from knowing head nod to joyful arm waves. I know, right? I know. The same as Lando, I thought you were tin can, not chess piece. I was when it was one big thing and every time the camera swung to me it was just... Or, or, alternatively... 
Now I have a head and a face and expressions and I'm fine. Now I'm a chess piece. Enjoy your look, Keggy. Enjoy, I'm doing the event. Aren't I special? Not really. Why hello there, what can I do for you today? The lad's here to register, is he? Yes, madam. I wish to join the Adventurers Guild. My name is Nagia Jakyab. I'm 16 years old. Practically a man grown. Oh, you honey. Are <laughs> you are a child. Literally a minor. Uh, <laughs> aren't we a lively one? Mamode is the name, and if you want to be an adventurer, then you've come to the right woman. There's nothing to it, really. You just need to write your name in the register. Come, come. Excuse me. With that, you're officially a member of the Adventurers Guild. If you ever need a bit of advice about one thing or another, pay me a visit. Just don't go bothering me every time you stub your bloody toe, alright? Of course, I do enjoy hearing and tell of a gentleman's woes with the women folk from time to time. <laughs> yep, she said that to me too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and and That's he's just the like, joke. Yeah, okay. Now then, normally I'd offer you the grand tour. But in light of present company, I reckon you ought to have it from her. She's a renowned adventurer, after all, the bleeding champion of Eorzea. And you could do far worse than to get her advice. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> to begin with, mayhap you could recommend a guild here in Uldar for Nagi to join. If it's too noisy in here, there are benches just outside where you can have a nice little chat. This is just me adopting Sprouts, let's be real. It, that's exactly it. Oh, like you adopted me! Correct! Correct! Shockingly, you also have a Sprout! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> yep, Sprouts helping Sprouts. How could this ever go wrong? Uh-huh. Uh, Alright, out we head. Jeez. Have you finished all this? Or... No, I'm doing it alongside. Oh, perfect. I must confess, choosing a guild is quite daunting. I'd appreciate any advice you can offer. The following event cannot be skipped. You may wish to cancel any pending duty finder registrations. Uh-oh. All right, let's talk guilds. I'm not registered for any duty finders, so I'm good. I'm all ears, Fiamma. Adventuring can be dangerous. What attracted you to it? Or why did you want to become an adventurer? That one. A merchant who was in the carriage with me, a Brit something asked me much the same thing. At the time, I couldn't give a proper answer. I had a reason for leaving home, of course, but I couldn't express it in words. But ne having now set foot in Uldar, it's become clear in my mind. I wanted to know what lay beyond the horizon. Wanted to see it with my own eyes and be amidst it. You've been to many places, right? You like it then, traveling it, that is. Uh, I love traveling. There's nothing like the thrill of seeing new sights. Or, traveling is nice, but I'd prefer to put my roots down somewhere. Ooh. Mm. See, me personally, all for the setting roots down. I'm I've yeah. never been bitten by the travel bug. I just. But as an adventurer, oh yeah, explore all the way. So I think I think. Good place. Yes. Uh, I love traveling. There's nothing like seeing the thrill of se nothing like the thrill of seeing new sights. So you do. So you do. I have an older sister. During the calamity, we fled Gridania and took refuge in a village in the mountains. I ended up staying in that secluded place, and it's long been a dream of mine to travel the world. But inexperienced as I am, I don't know if I could live a life on the road. Is there a guild that could equip me with the skills I need? One representing students of the fighting arts, or one representing crafters and gatherers. He's just like, when did you get there? Yep. Yep. Ooh. If he feels inexperienced, I think fighting arts is probably going to be the best way to go. Hmm. You want to stay alive or make potion? Yeah, make I mean, poison. well, that's the thing. Like, if if you're not if you're not going to learn how to defend yourself, you're going to be putting down roots. You're going to be sitting here, staying here, and and crafting yeah. and and you know peddling your wares and things like that. Whereas if you're going to go exploring, you need to be able to defend yourself because not everyone out there is going to be as bright eyed as you are. 
I see, a place where I can learn how to protect myself and others. If I recall correctly, Uldar is home to the Pugilists and Thaumaturges guilds. Of those two, I'd choose the Pugilists. I've always enjoyed rigorous exercise and I'm quite confident in my physical abilities. Yes, I believe this is the guild for me. I'll go and join at once. I can show you to the guild if you'd like. Thanks for your concern, but I should be fine. If you still have time though, could we meet again afterwards? There are a few more things I'd like to ask you about. Oh god, the camera, like, mm -mm, lord. Great, I'll look for you here when I'm done. Off he goes. Off he goes. Do you want to stay alive? Maybe fighting. Right, yeah, that's it. That's it. You wait a good while, but there is no sign of Nagi. Perhaps you should look in on him at the Pugilist Guild. I love Aura sitting on benches and they just sort of curl their tail around themselves. It's mm -hmm. like the cutest thing. Comfy. Um, so it is just around there. Yeah. I feel like I, I gave eaten. good advice. Huh? I got eaten. Ah. Oh. Cutscene. Oh, ye. Yeah. That was a most impressive display, young one. Watching you, I'm reminded of myself in my youth. Swift, strong, and handsome. Not to say that I'm not these things anymore, of course. You're too kind, Master Harmon. And I'm sure you're still all those things and more. Now, now, Nagi. Take care of it. You don't flatter the old man ever over much. His neck couldn't bear his head getting any larger. <laughs> oh, Fiyama, I'm glad to say that pugilism agrees with me. My thanks for your recommendation. So you're the one who sent Nagi to us. The lad possesses rare talent, and I look forward to watching him grow in our art. Right then, my boy. Remember today's lesson well, and keep at your training. Next time we shall try something a little harder. I'm sorry for keeping you waiting. So engrossed was I in the combinations, I lost track of time. Oh, I should mention something. As I was training, a peculiar minstrel approached me. He said that if I'm resolved to walk an adventurous path, I should seek him out for a task. Moreover, he asked that you accompany me. If you're willing, he's apparently waiting at the Ruby Road Exchange. Yeah, I, I imagined that it would probably be the same thing that they would have said to me if I was, yeah. Huh, maybe I had to be in Monk. I didn't get it. Huh. Sag. Mm. Noted. Well, now that I know that, let me swap. <laughs> 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 Easy. Oh, there he is. Nope. My friend, you have done a splendid job as a guide. I was right to entrust the task to you. What? Do you mean to say Fiyama approached me at your behest? She did, I must confess. You see, for my next composition, I seek to capture the essence of the times. While any number of subjects would be worthwhile, of greatest interest to me is the recent rise in the ranks of adventurers. In thus bringing different generations of adventurers together, I had hoped for inspiration to strike, and I am pleased to say that it has. Uh, drawing upon your experience walking your path, you have helped Nagi to begin walking his, a reminder that the present owes its existence to the past. That is to say, the present and the past are deeply entwined. If we would capture the former, we cannot well disregard the latter. And this brings me to my next request. I ask that you each find an object with a connection to the Calamity, the event which gave rise to the realm's rebirth, and present it to me with its tale. Well now, that sounds not unlike a treasure hunt, and it'd be my very first task as an adventurer. What do you say, Fiyama? Shall we do it? Brace you. Excellent. When you have your items, pray seek me out at the Ruby Road Exchange. I eagerly look forward to seeing what you bring. 
There are many vendors at the Sapphire Avenue Exchange, right? Chances are they'll have something, so let's begin our search there. You are going to win this race because I don't know where anything is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was talking about the, the um, uh, Makoto. Oh, right. Gotcha. That makes more sense. <laughs> I was like, you're going to get something from the Calamity. Race y'all. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. Where's the... I'm just Yeah. Uh, or maybe did the whole story. Who knows? There's a lesson okay. here. I'm here for the mindless violence. Soon. Soon. I, too, am looking forward to the mindless violence. Uh, Sapphire Avenue Exchange, that's what they said. Yeah. Lego. Uh, Come on, let's begin looking around. Nagia Jakya is now accompanying you. Keep him at your side in order to proceed with quest objectives. You can leave Nagia Jakya behind by entering a different area or by speaking with him and selecting the option to part ways. If you wish to have Nagia Jakya accompany you again, return and speak with him at the original location. While you are accompanied, you may encounter conversation points along the way which offer additional topics of, of discussion. Enter the glowing area and speak with your quest companions to initiate these bonus conversations. Enjoy exploring your surroundings together. This is a tutorial, yes? You're not getting all this because you've done this kind of stuff before? It, well, yeah. Um, okay. I, it's a new addition in Endwalker. Ah, okay, cool. So it's cool to know they're using it for, like, event quests and stuff. Yeah. No, not the cat. <laughs> No, the cat, not that cat, the other cat. <laughs> yeah! Oh, God. What will you do? Discuss the local cuisine. Ooh, is this the local cuisine? Goodness, but everything looks amazing. I mean, it's food. Yes, that tends to. In the course of your journeys, you must have sampled all kinds of food, from simple fare to exotic feasts. I look forward to sampling everything, too. An object with a connection to the Calamity. I wonder what manner of things we'll find. Oh, no, okay, so we're just, we're done here, even though he's just... I feel like my brain is saying that should have disappeared when we were done, but I'm guessing it doesn't disappear. No, it doesn't. Okay. For goodness sake. Welcome, welcome. What is it that you're after? Objects with a connection to the Calamity, you say? Why, I have just the thing. An amethyst ring from Ishgard, steeped in sentimental value. Five years ago, on the eve of the Battle of Kartnau, a young temple knight set out from his homeland, wishing to do his part for Eorzea when his nation would not. Alas, the, ne the man never arrived in the flats. Oh. Excuse me. I think it's because I'm talking so much. I'm getting, like, better airflow, and so I start... It's weird, hey. <laughs> do you not like do you not start yawning when you're like talking a whole lot oh uh, maybe i've not really noticed it to be honest i know i just it's, yawn sometimes it, well yeah i mean i i yawn a lot anyway but i have noticed that when i'm especially when i'm streaming if i'm doing a lot of reading slash baby voice acting um mm. then i tend to start yawning a lot earlier in the evening and I think it's got something yeah. to do with the, like, constant, like, airflow. And it's weird. It's weird. I promise you I'm definitely not bored. I am tired, but I am always tired. En route, he came upon a merchant being attacked by a dragon and lost his life going to the stranger's aid. This was his ring, an heirloom passed down through his line. Ah, oh, wonderful. I really talk. I couldn't say. Is fear tired? Oh, Lord, yes. What a tragic tale, but I wonder, how did the ring find its way back? If the knight fell, it seems the merchant couldn't have survived unscathed. Um, uh, uh, ah, I remember now. Though the knight was mortally wounded, he succeeded in striking down the dragon. And with his last breath, he entrusted the ring to the merchant. Y yes that's how it happened. So what do you say? If you're interested, I would be willing to part with the relic for a special price, but for today only. Hmm, this feels a bit dubious. I agree, Nagi, I agree. Boss. Mm-hmm. Very sus. Shall we look around some more? There's bound to be other things out here. Huh? 
Greetings and welcome to my exhibit. Please feel free to browse at your leisure and don't hesitate to let me know if you have any questions. We're looking for objects that bear a connection to the Calamity. Do you have anything that fits the description? As a matter of fact, I do! Yonder pane, entitled The Sultana's Seven, depicts an inspiring event from the Calamity. Twas the final days before the fall of Dalamud, its inexorable approach foretelling our impending doom. Panic spread like wildfire, while many in their desperation turned on the Sultanate. Looting and rioting broke out across Uldar. To quell the masses, Her Royal Majesty Nanamo Unamo took to the streets with a guard consisting of only seven subjects, for they alone had the courage to stand with their Sultana. There she addressed the rabble. Heed me, my beloved citizens. The realm lies upon the brink of the seventh umbral era. Yet so long as we live, we must not forget our compassion. Now is not the time to take from your neighbor, but to proffer him the hand of succor. Brought to their senses by her words, the people laid down their arms and set about healing the wounds they themselves had inflicted on Uldar. And those who returned from the battlefield found their home much as they had left it, a gleaming jewel in the desert. Her majesty sounds like a great ruler. Uldar is fortunate to have her watching over it. Thanks for sharing the tale. It's indeed inspiring, and you've done an incredible job capturing it in glass. So far, so good. Let's look around just a little more. Ugh. Excuse me. Alrighty. Ooh, conversation. Discuss the House of Splendors. House of Splendors? What kind of place is this, I wonder? I see you're not familiar with the house. We offer wares in exchange for scripts, but our services are only available to those whom we know and trust. So if I want to be a customer, I need to make a name for myself. One day, Nagi, one day. That's cute. It's a crafting thing. I can mm. get scripts. Hmm. <laughs> Greetings. From daily necessities to unusual curios, I deal in all manner of wares. If there is something in particular you seek, you need but ask. Hmm. Objects to do with the Calamity. The two of you are adventurers, are you not? In which case, I have something that may be of interest. It's a journal I acquired from an adventurer who retired uninjured. Ah, uh, sorry, who retired injured. The man recorded his experiences during the Calamity in detail, and I dare say it has a value for students of history. Oh ho, an adventurer's first-hand account? I'd love to pour over it. Do you keep a journal of your adventures as well, Fiamma? If so, I'd love to read it too one day, with your permission, of course. Oh, for another historical piece, I also have a scrapbook of articles from The Raven, Gridania's leading tabloid. These mainly cover events outside the Calamity, however. Articles from The Raven, you say? Hmm. I dare say we've seen enough. Let's find a quiet spot to discuss what to bring back. You have seen enough objects and learned the stories behind them. Make your way to the end of the Sapphire Avenue exchange with Nagia and speak with him. is written by the victorious it is you are correct right this looks like as good a spot as any <clears throat> i don't know about you but that was all very new and exciting for me talking to myriad people learning the tale behind each object it's been a great experience and i won't soon forget it now then we need to decide what we want to take to the minstrel have you made up your mind um, Sultana's Seven Pain. I see, I see. I did consider that too, but in the end settles on something else. What is it? <laughs> if you don't mind, I'd like to keep it a surprise. Come, let's purchase our respective items and meet back where the minstrel waits. You obtain the Sultana's Seven Pain. I yoinked the journal. Yeah. <laughs> I was waiting to see how long it would take. Where? Which? 
He threw plus up. Is? Oh. Yeah. I mean, realistically, it's about the same distance if you cut through the quicksand, but it does yeah. mean ah, no. Hmm. Welcome back. You've each found an item, I trust. Well now, what have we here? I'm gonna carry around a giant painting, huh? It's made of glass! Even better! <laughs> Just tape it to your shield. It's an yeah, easy backpack. it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> ah yes, the Sultan is seven. I know it well. Tis an iconic tale of leadership amidst great adversity. It may be said that Her Majesty's actions that fateful day helped to forge Uldar as it is now. In that sense, it well suits the theme for my composition. Now then, what of you, young Nagi? And what might this be? It's a scrapbook of articles from the Raven. You see, my sister is a reporter for the tabloid. During the Calamity, she travelled the realm, interviewing adventurers about their journeys, and I loved nothing more than to hear her tales. They seemed like such a diverse crowd, adventurers. No two people were alike, and yet they were united in the free, unshackled lives they lived. It struck a chord with me, and in time I found myself admiring them. Looking back, it was my sister who instilled in me the desire to see the world, to become an adventurer. That's why I chose this scrapbook. I see. The footprints someone leaves on their journey become the starting point for another. <clears throat> I mean, it's not the weirdest thing we get asked to carry in Memor because it's not. It is not. Yes. A <laughs> verse comes to me. A blessing for those souls who are, are taking their first cherry steps into the unknown. Pray lend me your ears. Oh, not again. <laughs> Why? I took my painkillers this morning. Oh, uh, you get migraine bonus. Yeah. Quite scary. Uh. If this is a seasonal event, it's not going to, like, spoil stuff that I haven't seen yet, is it? No, absolutely You're good. not. You're good. See, now he wants ears. I know, right? Like, when does it stop? <laughs> I don't think it is. Yeah. <laughs> Greetings, warrior of light. This is a world that exists outside your reality. Could it be a dream? A flight of fancy conjured by your weary mind? Perhaps. Or perhaps not. It is a pleasure to make your acquaintance. My name is Naoki Yoshida, and I have beckoned you here that I might express my gratitude. First, <laughs> First of all, I wish to thank you for continuing to grace us with your presence. You and your fellow adventurers are our inspiration, and this shall never change. The world, however, is an ever-changing place, mysterious in its elusiveness. Unexpected hardships may turn our lives upside down. And though we all desire peace deep in our hearts, the sparks of conflict never cease to be struck. Like an adventurer's journey, the world is constantly moving towards the unknown, and it takes considerable courage to alter course. Yet I ardently believe that it is a small but significant step in our quest to create new adventures. 
Indeed, another great change is about to visit the world, and it shall open the way to exciting new journeys. And tis our abiding hope that our journey together shall ever continue on to the distant horizon and beyond. Now, the time has come for this vision to end. Time for your eyes to open from this waking dream. Return to walking your path and know that you are in our hearts always. Till next we meet, I bid you safe travels. super cute <laughs> that is adorable yeah thank you for the generous reward and the uplifting verse it gives me courage for the road ahead speaking of which it's time i set out on my own though it was brief i enjoyed our time together and i hope to see you again somewhere out there Come what may, never forget to smile. You don't need to wave that big honey, I'm right here. <laughs> I was gonna say, yeah, but he you're an hour up than a road. I'm like two and a half meters tall, so it <laughs> makes sense. Fair. Though much and more was lost in the calamity, intrepid souls continue to set forth, paving the way unto the, the future. In such a moment in history do we stand, and for you I would perform another song. I'm not singing. Your life, is, your life is a riddle to bear gladness and grief, neath stars and through storms the answers to seek. Your footprints are threads to be gathered and woven, a song of dawn resplendent dancing high to the heavens. From the embrace of the gods, though mankind has been torn, upon winds eternal lives and memories are born. The future is unwritten, bring it rapture or sorrow. Our journey shall continue unto tomorrow and tomorrow. <laughs> I was, hell yeah. Yeah. I wonder. How did you feel as you watched Nagi set off? Did the sight fill you with worry for a fledgling adventurer? Or did it awaken fond memories of your own humble beginnings? Whichever it may be, I know that yours is a journey more trying than most. There will be times when you are overcome by loneliness and each step feels heavier than the last. In such a moment, I bid you remember this. So long as you harbor love for this world, ever shall there be a place for you in it. Your adventures will never end. <laughs> it's like when I talk directly to the player yeah absolutely yeah absolutely it, it's really cute too because um yoshi p when he announced reaper he literally came out on stage in like this really sick cosplay mm. and as soon as i saw that portal because it's the reaper portal i yeah. was like <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sure is. Uh, you have unlocked the Jigsaw Puzzle minigame. To play minigames, open the toy chest found in any inn room. Fear vocals are legendary. Look, look. That was ob that obviously had like an intended melody, and I don't know what it is. So Sorry. yeah, it's it's lyrics are but musical poems. And so if you don't know the melody, you can always read lyrics as a poem. If it doesn't work, then they're trash lyrics. <laughs> also correct. Mm, so. You got a minion too. I did. I did. Where's my eye? Where's my inventory? Clockwork solace. No yes. lands must remain beyond its grasp. Go forth, conquer, rule. Uh, look! Look at it! 
Designed in the likeness of Solus Zos Galvis, founding father of the Galian Empire, this automaton was crafted in the royal workshops to commemorate the ninth anniversary of his ascension. Several units were dispatched to the provinces as a show of the nation's technological prowess. Look, nerds, we can make tiny robots. I should be the one to sigh, Solus Zos Galvis. <laughs> oh dear. Alrighty. I have a weapon coffer. I should probably use that. Needs to be raining. Equip. Okay. So, we're gonna go to Costa del Sol! Hello. I got tea! Oh, I just bashed myself in the face a bit. You should take the fridge. What's in the fridge? You didn't give me a drink, I did give and then I've just gotten you a drink. <laughs> Why does this always happen? Be because we're nice. Infinite drink circle. They were two for five. So I, so I got you one as well. Yeah. That was after five. My, huh? That was five. <laughs> <laughs> well, no. Um. Yeah. After the dentist, I was like, I deserve a chocolate milk, and so I went and got myself one. But they were on special, so I got two. That's fair. Yeah, you're welcome. Milk. Yeah, but it's like the best chocolate milk ever. It's the Barista Bro stuff, and it's just oh, that's yeah, really right? good. Yeah. yeah, I I don't like I I can't have any other chocolate milk these days. It's just it's not good. Yeah, well, I'm. The clanker yeah, regions, I really like the Barista How's milk. the clanker going? How's the the what? The clanker. The clanker. I'm not a clanker. I'm a chess piece now. We've been over this. I'm the clanker. Yeah. You're still covered in plate, therefore you go clank. Oh, sweetie, you should look at my glamour, Jazz. I'm the one no, covered in plate. Wrong. Um, so... It is a quite a nice armor set. There you go. Get rid of my yes. thing. Hi, Cha. But, like... Excellent. This, that was a literal clank noise. <laughs> yeah, perfect. All right. This is bathing. Bathing. Oh, that's my that's my paladin bar. I, I don't actually remember what it's called, but it's it's my um as I do stuff, I get more things, and then I can use a special. It's like a rage bar, but for shields. Rage bar for shields. I get to use Sheltron. Oath gauge is an oath gauge. There you go. That's what it's called. It's it's the it all everyone has a bar. All jobs have a bar. It fills up, and you use it to do stuff. It's fine. It's the um, job bar, and go. I can do cover with it as well. Take all damage intended for another party member, as long as said member remains within 10 yards. Tank! How was work? It's the last day of August. I don't know how that happened. Time is an illusion. Oh, it really is, hey? Yeah, that is. See ya! Enjoy your Bye. milk! Alrighty. Oh! I have a friend request. There we go. Brilliant. Alrighty. Let us go. To Lanosia! Alright. So do some playing how cool they give you a figurine of the Pascalian Emperors. The cycle of drinkage. Hello, suicidal. Hello. Bloody Earth Burst. No, just Earth Gauge. It's an Earth Gauge. I thought it was still April. Yeah, no, unfortunately not. Or fortunately not, depending. Depends how in denial you are. Hmm. It depends on how good your August, uh, your April was. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I too can fly. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is the first time I'm flying, actually. Look at the little wings. Look at the little wings. Flippy flap 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 flap. Um. Right. Where's there? Uh oh. Gageru. <sighs> oh, sweet siren of the sands. My Miki Mikote, Mikote, isn't it? Mikote. Mikote. My Mikote muse, why have you forsaken me? T Titan's Bane, I mean, Fiamma, what brings you to my humble resort? Lamine? You mean to tell me the goddess made flesh who dwelt among us until so very recently was the songstress of Uldar? Egad's woman. If I had known that, I would have chained her to my bedpost and never let her leave. Disgusting. Thank you. 
Oh, for shame. To think that she now plies her trade for the riffraff off to the west or wherever she said she was going. It's a tragedy, I say. A tragedy! West, is it? Thank you, Master Gigaruju. Your information will serve us well. That said, there are any number of places she could be. I shall begin my search by the docks and see if any witnesses might have some knowledge to spare. I would be most appreciative if you could travel on to Wineport and do the same. Um. Um, I don't need a further extension. And they yelled at me for my 191 hours of leave. Ah, uh, time flies. Yup. Tis that way. Tis that way. Okay. Flippy flappy, flippy flappy. I know, it's so cute. So adorable. Um, are we allowed to do things to that creep? I'd rather not touch them if that's okay. Um, you I'll can just fireball them from a distance. Perfect. Just press flat. Easy. Uh. No. Oh, there we go. Hello. <laughs> Glint. Well, if it isn't Fiamma, the saviour of Wineport, to what do we owe the pleasure? Ah, yes, we did receive a customer matching that description. She was a delight to behold, to give the woman her due, but her perfume was so ghastly I had no choice but to eject her from the premises, interfering with tastings, you understand. If she is your quarry, why not consult your blind associate? His olfactory perception is without peer. Given that I could smell the woman from a malm away, I dare say he could smell her from ten. You want to know if I've seen a Mikurite lass by the name of Vlamine? I wish. You haven't- I haven't seen a lass of any description for far too bloody long. Uh, excepting yourself, of course. Zoom, zoom. Uh, with the sword. Yes, sure. Hello, Zelk. Welcome back. Doing well. I hope you can say the same. Person is quite the creep. Agreed. Agreed. Sniff, sniff. I see you have had many grand adventures since last we spoke, Fiyama. You must share them with me sometime. The girl from a little while ago. One does not forget a perfume like that. So robust and intoxicating, yet simultaneously familiar. Reminiscent of a bloom native to these parts, in fact. I said as much when we spoke. She complimented my powers of observation and asked me where she might find some of the flowers. So I told her to follow the road south into Raincatcher Gully, and then head east after crossing the second bridge. The flowers which grow in the shade of the cliff have the strongest scent, you see. If you make haste, you may yet find her there. Just a check and a stretch. I reckon I can do those. Crunch. Mood. Mm. My whole body just creaks <laughs> like crinkly wrapping paper oh, yeah, that's, that's it. yeah. <laughs> oh dear some heavy rounded windscreen wipers for my cat so I've just realized I forgot to eat oh no <laughs> I'm like I'm a bit hungry but I like this is this is kind of early for hungry Oh, so I'm going to quickly go grab my lunch to kind of snack on while we... Yep, good. Be right back.
it's either a takeaway container or one of those paint containers that are like super crinkly and wake up the entire house when they're open. Neither, it's a meal prep container. Oh, close it up! <laughs> one of these babies, like the, the sections and stuff. Ah, yes, that's uh, the same sort, yep, okay, the same sort of plasticky lid, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And Josh was like, what's what's going on? What's what's wrong? And I said, oh, I forgot to eat. And you just facepalmed. <laughs> I, ha I made myself um, some Hong Kong scrambled eggs because one of my friends was like, you should try this because you've got a billion eggs. I was like, okay, and mm -hmm. dead sad, probably the best scrambled egg I've ever had in my life. Oh? It's so good. What's like, enough? literally... All it is, is just your eggs, salt, light pepper, um, a little bit of oil to help emulsify some more, uh, some milk, um, and, oh, what was it? Cornstarch, like a cornstarch water mixture. Oh, okay. So, instead of getting, like, those really sort of, like, slimy scrambled eggs, it just <laughs> holds and sets like a custard. It's so good. Oh, interesting. I'm glad no one can redeem posture check for me. Next 20k embers goal. Food redemption. Oh dear. Yeah, okay. yeah meat loves pizza. Easy. That's the food oh. redemption, right? Like, I both wish and don't wish that you could have, like, like, through and accept Uber Eats. Yeah. <laughs> but, like,. You get so much food delivered, and you're like, what am I supposed to do with this? Well, I mean, leftovers, firstly, but, like, not True. really. Like, you know, there's that kind of... There's that kind of moment where you go, oh my god, like, I'd get so much food and stuff, and then you think, well, technically no, because people still have to pay for that, and, like, send it yeah. to you. <laughs> like, like, come on, yeah. Ego, calm down. Like... <laughs> yeah, but, like, mm. man... I personally, for me, I'd just be like, someone sends me one one meal, and I'd be like, I just had lunch. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> I could just line up like and that. And it's like, and then it's like, do you do you just not eat in the hopes that someone sends you something, or uh, like, yeah, uh, no. <clears throat> See, I have a chest freezer, so I could just put all the like, if whatever I was planning to eat goes straight in the freezer, and um, yeah. We have baby chest freezer, which is mm. extra bench space. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Redeeming give fear a treat. Oh lord. Maybe I should put some treats on, um, like, from Amazon or something. Like, candy or Chocolate cookies or something. Almonds. Oh, yum. Mm. Macadamia is even better. Oh, hazelnuts. Mm. Honey roasted hazelnuts. Mm. Mm. Mm hmm. I'm so lucky I have food. Because I would be so hungry. <laughs> Alright. I am in your debt, stranger. I did not realize my activities had aroused the Gobu's ire until it was too late. Their oils can be used to make a perfume, you see, and I... Lamine? I'm... I don't... Who are you? Who do you serve? It appears you've already found our woman. Consider me impressed, my friend. The songstress of Uldar, I presume. Minfilia, or should I say, Asilia, is looking for you. Asilia? You are the very picture of health, my lady. Yet the world, the world thinks you dead. I can only conclude that this was by design. The question is, why? Not everyone who endeavours to find me does so with the best intentions, child. You will be pleased to know that I fully intend to reveal myself to Minfilia when their time is right. Oh, well, that does please me. More than you know. But tell me, sojourns in the forests of Lenosia aside, when exactly will the time be right? When I deem it so, do you imagine I travelled all this way on a whim? As I was telling your associate prior to your intrusion, I came here to harvest these flowers for use in a perfume. Does that satisfy your curiosity, or would you interrogate me further? M my apologies for the interruption. Anyway, now that we all have that which we came for, 
Might we continue this conversation in a safer locale? Wineport, say? Scolded. Mm hmm. Stop being a nosy shit, Alfie. Mm hmm. He is a nosy shit, isn't he? <laughs> He's a child, it's to be expected, but also stop. Um. How old is he? 16. Okay, yeah, okay. That's exactly how much of an annoying ass I was yep. at 16, so yeah. Same reaction, to be honest. Did not have nearly as good fashion sense, though, so I'm a little jealous. Yeah. I mean, like, annoying as he, like, he, damn, damn. He cute, like, his outfit is awesome. What's your skincare routine? Right? Oh my lord. <laughs> my skin, oh my god. Okay. I have a story for you guys. Remember, like, a week or so ago, when I said, for the first time in, in ages, I did my full nighttime skincare routine? Like, all bloody, I think it was like 14 steps or something, right? The next morning, I broke out. And then I'm like, huh. <clears throat> and then I, like, I didn't for a while because I had, like, no spoons and stuff. And then more recently, a few days ago, I did the whole thing again. And I broke out again. I've got a whole bunch of, like, you can't really see them so much, but I have a whole bunch of teeny tiny little, like, under the surface spots just on this patch of forehead, right? And I'm like, I reckon... The oil, because I, I use a face oil, like, after all the different mm. steps, there's, like, a face oil right at the end, and I reckon the oil's gone bad. I reckon it's... I would be surprised. Because mm, everything else that I use, like, if if I'm not doing the full, like, if I'm not doing the full 14 steps, let's say I have the spoons to do 13 steps, the oil's the one I don't use. Because it just, it doesn't sink in straight away, it takes a few hours, and so it gets all over my pillows, and da 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 and I reckon because it's taken me so long to use it, it's turned. Gone rancid, yeah. Mm. Um, it doesn't, like, the smell of it hasn't changed very, like, yeah. it hasn't really changed, but the texture has a little bit. So I yeah. think, I think it's, I think, and I'm like, angry. <laughs> you bastards. Man, I'm get more. Mm. Well, I'm thinking, I'm thinking I might just not. Because if it's taken me so long to use it, that it's gone bad, then no. Yeah. Why do I need it? Besides the fact that I have a backup. <clears throat> um, <laughs> yeah. But I am. I'm actually like. I'm. I'm a little nervous now because I'm like. Hmm. Maybe they're bad too. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna have a whiff and have a feel of the other ones. And and if I'm not happy, then I'll just dispose. But I'm, yeah, kind of pissed because my skin's been really, really good. It's been behaving itself for such a long time, and then all of a sudden. Yeah. Angry. Sixteen-year-old me was an angry, angry teen. Oh, damn. Sixteen-year-old me was socially awkward but well-mannered, so sixteen-year-old me was already forklift certified. <laughs> <laughs> I respect it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right, I'm gonna have to go AFK for a tick. Yeah, of course. Go for it. Enjoy. Am I finish the mouthful? I'll talk to Alfie. This, this is not at all how I had envisioned it. I can scarce begin to imagine what emotions will go through Minfilia's heart when she reunites with her mother after all these years. Ooh, aiming, healing, casting. I think aiming's probably the most tank-like out of those. <clears throat> Lamine has made her peace and is ready to reunite with her adopted daughter. You say my daughter awaits us in Vesper Bay, yes? I have kept her waiting long enough. Let us be off on the next ferry. I can finish fashioning the perfume along the way. Understood. Come with me. Excuse me. It would be my pleasure to escort you to the Waking Sands. I didn't have to use an envelope. <clears throat> the 
And Tessadin, you have a guest. Lamine? Acelia. seen her like this in years, Viola. I, I never truly believed it when they told me you were dead, but what kept you away for so long? The Imperials came for me, as I always knew they would, and so I resolved to stay as far away from you as I could lest their pursuit of me endanger you and our cause. I could think of no better way to grant you the freedom to continue our work. And continue what you did, achieving things I would not have imagined possible. I followed your every success and celebrated in secret. I'm so proud of you, Acilia. I learned from the best. I have a gift for you. mechanic on the railway said if I just shut down platform and walk live tracks. That's so cool, Meaty. That's so cool. Salsettia perfume, you've remembered. How could I ever forget? You wore it all the time. If I ev if ever I lost sight of you, I could find you again just by following my nose. I did not think it was made anymore. You must have gone to so much trouble. It was no trouble to me, my darling. I fear I cannot say the same for Fiamma, however. I could not have made it without her. Thank you, Fiamma. Thank you both. There's something else. <clears throat> this, this is the cat's eye I found. All these years you kept it. My father was a member of the Alamegan Resistance. When I was yet a child, he brought me here to Uldar. The accident which claimed his life happened shortly after our arrival. It was Lamine who took care of me then. She raised me as her own, taught me everything I needed to know to survive. Hmm. I am no stranger to the facts of your history, yet I fear I have failed to grasp their implications. It is clear that there is much I do not know about you and your mother both. One of her first lessons to me concerned mining, and I was a very dedicated student. This cat's eye was the first stone I unearthed. It wasn't much, of course, but I was exceedingly proud to have found it nonetheless. I was really loved hanging out in the city circle tunnels, working between platforms, otherwise job didn't keep their brain occupied enough. Fair. Fair. Hmm. It does sound cool. So I gave it to Lamine as a gift. She said it was beautiful. But there I am at a loss. Why are you returning this to me? Is something amiss? Oh, excuse me. No, Acilia, nothing is amiss. Quite the opposite. I need you to realize how far you've come and how much further you st may you may still, must still go. You and your allies have accomplished more than I could ever have hoped. You have succeeded where I failed and made me so proud that, that words fail me. But even as I marvel at the woman you've become, and at all the many things you've done, I cannot help but think of that which you have yet to do, and of what it may entail. Acilia, daughter, you cannot stay here anymore. You and the Scions must leave Ulda. I mean, You built it once, Acilia. You can build it again. And this time, we'll do it together. Truly? Alphano, the time has come for the Scions to leave Vesper Bay. We shall establish a new headquarters in Revenant's Toll, as you proposed. Much work lies ahead of us. Inform our fellow Scions and send word to the students of Baldessian. 
Preparations begin at once. <laughs> Off we go then! the foundation. It is all well and good that we have found ourselves a new home in Revenant's Toll, but there is so much to be done and in so little time. Morning, Mara. It is going well. Thank you for hoping. I hope you're doing very well today. Our first step will be to secure the cooperation of the Adventurers Guild representatives there. Were it not for the guild's considerable efforts, the original Camp Revenant's toll would have never been established, much less its more heavily fortified successor. However, with construction still ongoing and resources in short supply, it seems certain that the guild will require something in return for their support, sympathetic to our cause, though they may be. Whatever they ask, I shall not begrudge it. To be plain, we need them more than they need us. Without their assistance, such essential tasks as securing new facilities, cultivating relationships with local merchants, and recruiting adventurers would prove difficult, if not impossible. So I'd cleared the raid on four characters to get all eight fifteens on four characters in the hopes to get some good characters. Ah, uh, buggers out, that's right, next time. You need not concern yourself with such matters, antecedent. Really, Alpha Note, if I need if if I need concern myself with anything, it is surely matters such as these. Indirectly, perhaps, I submit that you might instead concern yourself with a different matter, namely, to whom the resolution of such matters might best be entrusted. And here I am. Nor do I come alone. May I present the esteemed emissary of the Adventurers Guild at Revenant Toll. <clears throat> It is an honour, Antecedent. Upon, reviewing, upon receiving word of your intentions from Master Alphanode, we not thought it best to begin talks at the earliest available opportunity. Know that my associates at Revenant's Toll hold the scions of the Seventh Thorn in the highest regard. We should be honoured to welcome your organisation. There are, of course, certain provisions which must needs be negotiated. If it please you, I would do so. It does. Madam, unless I am much mistaken, you are the one known as Fiamma, are you not? May I say what a pleasure it is to make your acquaintance. Slavborn spoke of you in the most glowing terms. To steal an Imperial Reaper and then use it to infiltrate a Galean castrum is an undertaking few would contemplate, and fewer still survive. You shall always be welcome at Revenant's Toll. We hope you will favour us with your presence again ere long. Well, well. It would seem your reputation precedes you, Fiamma. Mayhap I should dispatch you to Revenant's Toll with all haste, as first intended. But before that, I dare say you have earned yourself a rest. After all, you have travelled so far, and there is already so much you have done for us, and for me. We will speak again anon. Till then, take care. Ah, Fiamma. Were you able to get some rest? I would ask you to come with me to the solar. Alphanode has just returned, and it would seem there is something he would share with us. You're here. Good. 
I come bearing news. The negotiations are concluded. And? <clears throat> Our friends at the Adventurers Guild have agreed to furnish us with new facilities and material support in exchange for our assistance in the ongoing defense and development of Revenant's Toll. The Scions of the Seventh Dawn shall have a new home in Mordona, the Rising Stones. Fantastic. A bittersweet victory, if truth be told. I cannot deny that I had come to look forward to Tataru's tales about many guests and their many, many demands. <clears throat> From the waking sands to the rising stones. Possibly poetic. That wasn't your doing, was it? <laughs> I too have news to share. In expectation of this momentous day, I personally informed the Alliance leaders of our plans, and they have each pledged their full support, General Ralban included. Moreover, I have decided that the time is right for us to cast off the vestiges of our Order's veil of secrecy and announce ourselves to the world. Are you sure that is wise, Antecedent? If anything, it is a mere formality. Our existence is quite possibly the worst kept secret in Eorzeo. Let us affirm our identity, proclaim our achievements, and that all may know what the Scions of the Seventh Dawn stand for. Well, obvious risks apart, it would be nice to receive a little more recognition. And the people have a right to know who saved them. It is my hope that this gesture will encourage the people of Eorzea to place their trust in us. I would reveal to them the true extent of our power, yes, but in doing, in so doing, excuse me, I would show them that it is a power accountable to no one and at once to all. And what of us? We who have felled primals and faced down the empire. To you, my fellow scions, I would say this. Prepare for the challenges which lie ahead, for they will be great indeed. Great, I say, yet no greater than us, and we will rise to them, as we have time and time again, united as one. Yay, we're moving house. Hmm. There must be some way I can... Wait, that area is said to be rich in minerals. Maybe I should ask Lamine to teach me the basics of mining too. What is Tataru up to? Mm-hmm. Do you ever wonder how he does it? Alphanaut, I mean. It was almost predictable that he should appear with an emissary of the Adventurers Guild mere moments after I had expressed the need to forge ties between our organizations. Truly, his sense of timing rivals even your own. Setting such mysteries aside for the present, I have a task for you. I would like you to deliver these documents to Slathborn. They concern our forthcoming move. Do take care on the road and represent us well, Fiamma. <clears throat> Alrighty, Moderna. Oh, I do. I can't, I have been driven. So okay. Hmm. Hello, Crumb. Looks like a good outing. They were unfortunately not from today, but um, it was a beautiful picnic. It really, truly was. Um, today was very busy, but but productive, I think. So I'm I'm doing all right. I hope you're doing well, Crumb. Say the same. Okay. <clears throat> I was told to expect a scion, but I didn't expect it to be you. 
It has been far too long, Fiamma. You have something for me, yes? Let's see now. Yep, everything appears to be in order. You'll be staying with us for a while, yes? Would that we had a dozen more like you. Since we don't, though, we'll just give you the work of a dozen men. <laughs> I jest, I jest. Aiming, healing, casting. So let's go with aiming. <clears throat> just got back from the dentist. Ah, fantastic! I hope it was all good news. I've not played Final Fantasy XIV before. I'm totally here for story time with fear. Yas, baddest. Well, if you type in exclamation FFXIV, you'll get a link to your very own free trial account. If you'd like, you get access to the, the base game and all of its patches, plus the first expansion and all of its patches. And you can play jobs up to level 60. Uh, the current cap is level 80. Um, but that's all, that's all for free. All free. I'm here for mindless violence, fear promise. Look, I'm getting there. I'm hoping, I'm hoping. Very smooth. That's why they pay me. <laughs> this is a sponsored stream, in case you couldn't tell. Alrighty. <clears throat> Let's continue story time with fear. Back to do the work of a dozen men, I see. Ha, but I jest. Even I can appreciate that an important woman such as yourself has little time for menial tasks. But since you're here, mayhap you'd be keen on having a look around the Scion's new home. See that impressive structure over there? That's the place. It was originally built to house a branch of the guild, you see. As such, it comes complete with a tavern where adventurers can rest from the road, fill their bellies with good food and drink, and their ears with tales of fortunes to be had about the realm. It may get a bit raucous at times, but I imagine it'll be as good a place as any to recruit capable men and women to your cause. Come with me. I'll show you around. Ooh. Link Pearl. Is that you, Fiaba? I'm quite sorry to interrupt, but I have most urgent news. We received grim tidings from Gridania, and it would appear our aid is required at once. I must ask you to report back to the Waking Sands with all due haste. Is everything quite all right, friend? I can't say I'm privy to the details, but it would appear that this is no time for a leisurely tour. But no worries, you can rest assured that I'll see to all necessary arrangements. Pray return any time after you've seen to your more pressing matters. The quest is literally called It's Possibly a Primal. It's gonna be a primal, right? Like, come on now. We're not silly. this part of the game it's all I'm saying perfect I think that's just the right amount to say Grum oh hang on a messenger from the twin adder came to the waking sands while you were in Mordona I wasn't privy to his conversation with the antecedent but I did see the look on her face after he took his leave something is definitely amiss could it be that the Ixal have summoned Garuda again or mayhap Imperial forces have been sighted within the shroud well, whatever it may be, I'm absolutely certain it's nothing you can't handle. Now, excuse me, go and ask the antecedent if there's anything you can do. Zarin, doing so well. How are you today? Welcome back.
I knew this day would come, yet I prayed it would not come so soon. We have reason to believe that another primal, or an entity resembling one, has been summoned in Gridania. <clears throat> Thine arrival is customarily timely, Fiamma. The etheric waves leave little room for doubt. Thy talents will be needed ere long. If there be truth in my suspicions, tis a familiar foe we face, though one quite unlike the Lady of the Vortex. We dare not draw conclusions without evidence, but as Yuriangia says, the readings bear a strong resemblance to ones observed more than five years ago. Ugh, though I had hoped the Moggles guard beyond such follies. <clears throat> Suffice it to say, this disturbance warrants a full investigation. Hey, Anne, welcome back. Hope you're doing well. Thy presence, thy presence hath been requested by Commander Hugh Louis. He awaiteth thee at the Adder's Nest. Pray hasten to Gridania, Fiamma. Ida and Papalimo will rendezvous with you there. May you walk in the light of the crystal. Tired AF, been battling a horrible bout of insomnia. Then when I do wake up, my neck feels like someone put it into one of those magician's boxes where they spin the person's head all the way out a few times. Oh, honestly? I know the feeling. Like... I've been having some issues with my neck and stuff as well, and the insomnia has been incredible. I think, for me, I think it's more to do with my jaw and the like, the the muscle in it, because I'm having so many issues with my jaw. I saw the dentist today, and um, and even she said that my my whole jaw is misaligned now because of how tight that muscle is. So you know, fantastic. But um. I'm dealing with a, a GP for that stuff, but I feel like it's making everything worse. I really hope that you can find, like, a possible cause and, like, yeah, I hope it helps. If, like, try some, like, heat packs or, or deep heat or even those, like, the stick-on deep heat patches, um, like, on your neck and stuff, I really hope that you're able to find some relief soon because that really sucks. It's been a minute and, yeah, it has moved to Melbourne, living in a box hell at the moment. Oh, no! Oh, no, well, I hope I hope that it's not too difficult to find what you need in your boxes and that they magically unpack themselves overnight. How's that sound? I know it's, look, we can dream. We can dream. <laughs> Grats on the move, though. Pray hasten to Gridania Fiamma. Oh, no, I've already read that. Good. Patches are good. Or heat packs? Yeah, they are, aren't they? They are. I've never used the patches myself, but I've been told that they're fantastic. Uh, and I have, like, a handful of heat packs <laughs> that I kind of cycle through. You know, different sizes and, and all that kind of, yeah. It's great. But yeah, the fact that it's, like, literally my jaw muscle here that is causing me all of my problems. Anytime I go to, like, anytime I put deep heat on my face, I just, it hurts like hell. Like, my eyes are just, ugh. Um, so I've kind of, I've been like sleeping on a heat pack and it, yeah, look, it's a time. It's a time. <clears throat> a pleasure to see you as always, Fiamma. Thank you for answering my summons. Quite frankly, I could think of no one more qualified to... Ah, but we're getting ahead of ourselves. Allow me to explain. Ooh, fending. That's what I need. <gasps> I got a pet! I got a minion! Guys, look, there's a minion! Ooh, and a weapon coffer. I should use that. Milk fed until tender and juicy. Not that anyone would ever think of eating him. Buffalo Calf, when the scions of the seventh dawn began clearing out the waking sands in preparation for the move to Revenant's Toll, this wide-eyed calf was discovered hiding in a disused linen closet. Though an inquiry was made by the antecedent herself, it is still not known who was keeping the beast. I made the grievous error of visiting a great buffalo with a hand saw. Godbert, oh no. Oh no. <clears throat> Transfer beach is a good thing, makes packs come a lot cheaper. Oh, absolutely. As if you got veal. No, it's a baby! We don't eat it. No eat. Only pet. Not long ago, the Mughal Kuplo Cop. Do not despair. Ah! Not without allies. Bad 
Goddess, thank you so much for the Prime sub. Much appreciated. Thank you. Uh, not long ago, the Mughal Kuplo Kop visited the Adder's Nest to request an audience with the Elder Seedseer. He spoke of an imminent threat to all Mughal kind, one which would imperil the entire Tolveswood if left unchecked. You proved an able ambassador to the Sylphs, and we would have you reprise the role in our dealings with the Mughals. The rest you should hear from Kuplo Kop himself. He awaits you with the Elder Seedseer at the Lotus Stand. <clears throat> Where is the closest? What's it? Oh, it's the big one. Okay. Nomit anyway. No, I don't want Nomit. Dislike. It's a baby. We don't nom the baby. The other scions have already arrived, madam. May I show you in? I'm puzzled. I thought babies were for noms. <laughs> New. No. Them, but 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 you mustn't kill them. No, they're not bad, Moogles Koopa. They're just misguided. A gentle, no, firm thrashing is in order. Yes, but no. Calm yourself, Kuplo Cop. Can you not see that she hasn't the faintest idea what you're talking about? Be quiet this instant. Pray forgive his witless outburst, sister. <clears throat> Most grateful I am that you could that you have come, Fiamma, and upon such short notice. Truly, Gridania could not wish for a more stalwart ally. But you are doubtless eager to know wherefore we summoned you. Our friend Kuplo Kop has brought us brought to us news of a most unsettling development. It would seem that good King Mogul Mog the Twelfth has returned to Eorzea. A curious thing to hear, I know. Truth to tell, I myself cannot say for sure if he is a genuine figure from history or some manifestation of Mughal mythology. Kuplo here would have me believe the former. Once upon a time, we Mughals served the gods in the heavens. It was quite nice up there, unspeakably beautiful, unimaginably spacious, and with a literally endless supply of wine, Cooper. In spite of this, or possibly because of the last part, the gods eventually became discontented and started squabbling, which made life jolly difficult for the poor Mughals. So, good King Mogulmog the Twelfth, may his glorious name live forever, decreed that the time had come to leave, Cooper. The realm of man would suffice, he said, so all the Mughals should live there instead. Unfortunately, the two realms are so far apart that we couldn't safely fly down. But good King Mogul Mog the Twelfth, may his miraculous foresight ever be praised, knew exactly what to do, Kupo. He had a rope, you see, the longest one ever woven. This he nobly held while his subjects climbed all the way down to the world below. But I need to eating baby seven, you mean? <laughs> hey, dude. Uh, and that is how we Moogles came to this land, Cooper. All of us except good King Mogulmog the Twelfth may his courageous sacrifice never be forgotten. He alone would remain in the heavens so that Moogle kind might at last know peace. Except that he has not remained in the heavens from what I understand. That being your reason for contacting us, yes? I'll bet he tied the rope to something. Good thinking! Remind me again what the problem was with him returning to Eorzea. The problem, Ida, lies in the fact that he was summoned. It is our belief that Good King Mogulmog the Twelfth is a myth made manifest via means akin to those employed by the Beast Tribes in the summoning of their gods. Thanks, see you a lot on Friday. Absolutely do, and it is. Thank you so much for hoping. I hope you've had a fantastic day. I hope you have a brilliant evening as well, whatever you've got planned. 
way. You're saying a handful of Moogles with a boatload of crystals wished really, really hard and he just sort of appeared. Would that even work? What I cannot fathom is why they would even try. With Garuda humbled and the Ultima weapon destroyed, what new threat could have prompted them to take so drastic a measure? Might that not in itself be the answer? Twice in the last half decade, Eorzea has been brought under the very brink of destruction, only to be spared at the last by the heroics of a chosen few. To you who braved those tempests and survived by virtue of your own strength, this latest period of peace will doubtless seem a welcome respite. Mm, we have BSG. So I've done fantastic. I'm just called manifesting. <laughs> We've been doing a whole lot of that, ain't we, Mini? But to those who had not the power to defend themselves, who were spared only by another's grace, this is merely the calm before the storm. I think the Mogul's Guard are afraid, afraid of what tomorrow will bring and that things may not end so well as they did yesterday. That fear has driven them to call upon a greater power, one they believe can be relied upon to protect their loved ones and their homes, come what may. I assure you the Mogul's Guard only want to protect the forest from outsiders, but ever since the return of Good King Mogul Mog 12, may his boundless grace fill our hearts with love, they've started to get a little carried away, Koopo. Verging on a lot, in fact. Like the sylphs who summoned Ramu, you mean? Mm. We cannot discount the possibility that this entity is influencing the Mughals in a manner similar to that of a primal. We share the same concern. Whoever or whatever the king may be, it is our belief that he poses a threat not only to Mughal, a Mughal kind, but to Gridania as a whole. Thus we do beseech you, Fiyama, confront good king Mughal Mog the Twelfth and drive him from our midst. <clears throat> Humbly, I do thank you. You ready, Midi? The sanctuary of the, oh, the sanctuary of the Mogul's Guard and their liege lord is concealed by magical wards. Brother Isumiyan of the Conjurer's Guild will doubtless be able to offer insight on how they might be dispelled. Pray seek his counsel ere you proceed any further. I was like mindless violence time, but not yet. We've got to do some more talking first. We're getting there. Almost there. Almost there. <clears throat> ready and said I I'm sorry I know I'm sorry almost there though a little bit more talking Welcome, Fiyama. Welcome. That you should be the one to face good King Mogul Mog the Twelfth is of great comfort, to me and to the Elementals both. As I am sure you know, the Mughals are not by their nature a warlike race. Yet should the King be suffered to remain, it is like that his influence will bring about a change in them. Thus does it behoove us to defeat him quickly before any lasting damage is done. Make whatever preparations you deem necessary and inform me when you are ready to seek the King. Aiming. Do, 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 do. <clears throat> you have selected Regicide. The wards barring access to the King's Sanctuary can only be nullified through the use of enchanted keystones, the selfsame method employed five years ago when the first when first the king was summoned to Eorzea. It was with great regret great regret that we were forced to sanction the slaying of the guardians who then held the keystones, for none were in our possession at the time. By the grace of the elementals, however, we have been spared that burden on this occasion. Excuse me. Kuplo Kopp confided in me that he had been entrusted with a set of keystones by the Mogul's guard themselves. Yet wishing not to betray their confidence, he begged me to find some other means to gain entry to the King's Sanctum. Alas, I have been unable to do so and dare not labor any longer for fear that the Mughals might succumb to the corrupting influence of their liege lord. 
We must needs have Kuplo Cops Keystones, Fiamma. Pray go to him and beg his assistance. He awaits you at West Shore Pier. Impress upon him our great need, and I am certain he will yield. Oh, I'm gonna go to the Ethernet. Okay. <clears throat> I can be ready again soon. Cool down, triggered. All right, we're gonna go talk to Kuplo. Got a little more talking to do. Just, just a little bit more talking to do. Ah. Oh. Um. That lunch was really freaking tasty. Do you like pesto? Okay with pesto. Okay, so this was um, chicken pesto crisp breads, but it was like um, so it had baked chicken that was shredded, and then mayo, like the low-fat mayo, the braised creamy mayo. Anyway, um, you did the tangy stuff, uh, and then uh, pesto. It had canned corn, and it was supposed to have rocket. Um, like, you, you'd, like, get the crisp bread and you'd put the, like, it said chopped rocket. So you'd put chopped rocket and then you'd put, like, the, the chicken mix on top. Oh, you're supposed to spread the pesto on it as well. But I was just like, no, no. So we put the rocket through the food processor just a little bit. Got it kind of chopped and diced, dicey, yep. And then we literally just mixed everything together. We shredded the chicken and mixed it with the mayo, the pesto, the corn, and the, the chopped up rocket and made this kind of mess <laughs> that you'd get a crisp spread and you'd literally just spoon it on and spread it out and then launch. Really good. One of my favorite recipes so far. Really good. Pesto is awesome. I, I agree. I really like pesto, but I know that there are some people like it can be quite a strong flavor. So like mixed with all the other stuff, including the mayo to kind of dilute it, it was quite good. Like quite good. So, how will you do it, Cooper? Oh, he told you about that. Well, if there truly is no other way, I'll do it, Cooper. Take the ferry to Sweet Bloom Pier. I'll go on ahead. Rocket. Yes. Uh, it's a type of leaf. Um. Tuna and corn with chopped beef syndrome. Spread by the chicken and pesto version. Mm, mm, it's good. It's really, really good. Yeah, um, Jas is not a fan of, uh, of tin tuna. Um, so we uh, skipped to that one. Yeah, indeed. Is there is there another word for rocket? Is there an American word for rocket? Uh, it's like it's a variety of lettuce, but I don't know if there's like... My knee-jerk reaction is collard greens, but maybe no, not. No, I don't think that's it. Because collard greens, aren't they like cooked? No. No. Uh. I don't think so. <clears throat> God damn it. Not that kind of rocket, Google. <laughs> <laughs> I made egg drop soup and it is delicious. Arugula. Ar it's arugula in American English or rocket in British English. Yeah. I knew there was an I know there was an American word for it, but yeah. Peppery. Just slightly, not like spicy, but it's got kind of a peppery sort of taste to it. <clears throat> oh, this one, okay. This one? Oh, this quest that I'm on? Uh-huh. Yeah. Don't you dare lie to me, Kupo. I know what you're planning and I won't allow it. <laughs> Open your eyes, Kupo. The king will never be satisfied, no matter how many crystals you bring him. Oh, day big. We offered you a choice, and this is how you repay us by consorting with this aura. Imperials, Gridanians, Sylphs, you're no different from the rest of them. Actually, you're worse, Cooper. <clears throat> I had pesto. Pesto was delicious, Des. 
Uh, a tree called rocket. Yep, it's type of lettuce. Um, usually vegetarian. My options tend towards the pescatarian choices. Fair. That's fair. American word is taken from the Italian name. The English is from the French. There you go. There you go. Too many languages. It's very confusing. <laughs> right, you should say it. Mm, traitor to his kins. Well, no, I mean, if, if we're going to eliminate any of them, English should probably be one of the first oh, to yeah. go. So, but, oh, yeah. like, to be clear... Traitor to his kin's moogles. He plots treason against the crown. Enough, Kupla Koppel. Answer for his crime. Soon enough, as will all who defy the will of good king Mogul Mog the Twelfth. May he reign forevermore, Kupo. I cannot take any of these seriously. I just can't. It's Im I'm incapable. Mood. <laughs> The king is planning to purge the Twelves of his enemies, Kupo. We've got to stop him before it's too late. Brainwashing. <laughs> yeah, look. <sighs> the entrance to Thornmarch is deep within the Bramble Patch, Kupo. If you take me there, I can nullify the ward. But be warned, the Mogul's Guard has set traps to lure enchanted beasts. I can't hide from them, so you'll need to protect me, Kupo. Escort Kupo. <sighs> Escort quests. <laughs> it's bound to happen. It, it is, but I still just love that the quest is called You Have Selected Regicide. <laughs> um, escort Kupla Cop safely to the warded entrance. Should you fail to defend him or move too far away, he will return to Sweet Bloom Pier where you may rendezvous with him before trying again. Do I follow him or does he follow me? I can't remember. He does not follow me. Right? Keep going, Kubo. But it said if you get too you. far away, so I'm like, yeah. Does, yeah anyway. So if that's... you run on foot, it should be fine. Yeah. And smack things when they pop up. Hey, it's better than having to toggle on and off walk speed because things move faster than walk speed, but slower than you run. Oh, oh. God. yeah, nah. Escort mission. Murderize! Jazz's favorite solution. Indeed. Malevolent squirrel. Oh, there's one back there as well. God damn it. Telling me to go faster, but you're like lagging behind. What are you doing? Flap your little wings, Moogle. Come on. Mm hmm. Um, that's a big one.
It's a wobble. It's a stripper. Some of the ones that's going to see ambles around the snail place only stop from time to tell you to hurry up. Yep. Like pauses and then ten seconds later enemies appear. Ugh. See any more beasts? Do you? Are you ready to face the king, Kubo? Then step closer to the ward. Raise your hand and focus, like when you were tuned to an Aetherite, Kubo. I'll open the way for you. Tuning. The rest is up to you, Kubo. Now go and teach those foolish Moogles a lesson and send the king back whence he came. Hey, Thorn March hard now accessible. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. <clears throat> So I don't seem to be able to do this as a what's it. I have to do it with other players. Yeah, you can invite people. No, no, as in like I can't do it with um, NPCs. Yes, because it is a eight-person group. Ah, okay. It's like oh. technically a trial. It's under the trial tab. Mm, so. Two tanks, two healers, four DPS. Correct. Fun, fun. All right, who wants in? Let me up. Okay. Friend list. You there. Invite to party. Anybody else keen to jump in with us? I would assume Lando, because he's just vibing there. Possibly. I did want to confirm. There we go. Um, playground you today to... Year five kids were hanging out bounds. What are you guys doing? They have no idea. We're just NPCs. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Who wants to punch a Moogle? This is the moment you've been waiting for. Correct. Correct. Is there anybody else who would like to join us on this wonderful what's it? I gotta remember how to tank. I got you. Is there like tank swap mechanics and stuff? Well, yeah, this is the revamped one because they. I've not got this in my roulettes since I revamped it, to be honest. Mm -hmm. So it may or may not be a shit fight. No, I know, Lander, but like sometimes people have other stuff going on and they're not able to win things. It's, it's usually safer to assume no unless people say yes specifically. Don't go around assuming consent, you know? Well done, Loz. Enjoy. Best of luck. Ah, uh, you just came early and made the Moogle punch and commence! Yeah! <laughs> oh, dear. Um, we still have a whole bunch of spaces free if anyone else would like to join us. Um, I can see that Keg is online as well as Bread. Um, but obviously they may be, uh, doing their own things and that is totally fine too. They revamped it already, question mark. Have they? I don't know if they- well, you're saying that, I'm not sure if they have. Let me look it up. You on the OCE servers? I am indeed not true. Welcome on in. Hope you're having a fantastic day today. Hello. Hello, hello. 
Uh, but yes, I am on the Materia Data Center. Um, and the server is Sephiroth. There are a bunch of people. I mean, yes. It is an MMORPG. There are plenty of people. Sorry, I don't quite understand the context of your question. Yeah, it's not saying it's going to be 6.25, so I would assume it's been revamped. Like, are there enough people to get into groups and stuff? I've had zero issue. Um, in fact, every time I've queued for anything, it's immediately opened. Like, like immediately. Um, yeah, anyone who says the Oceanic servers are dead don't actually play on Oceanic servers. <laughs> there you go. There you go. I've never had a problem. Sure, there may not be 40 groups for the new extremes and stuff, but there's still plenty of groups in peak hour. Hmm. Good indeed, as well as the fact, of course, you get a much better ping and all that kind of stuff. Uh, furthermore, in patch 6.2, the hard mode of this trial will be revamped. We are in okay. 6.2 at the moment, aren't we? Yes. Okay, cool. In this case, let us... Uh, it doesn't seem like anyone else is going to join us, so that is all right. Um, there you go. <laughs> Instantaneous. Beautiful. I've never done an eight-person what's it before. This will be fun. We got to problem solve. Mm. Oh, you're in tank. Okay. Yep, two tanks. So that I don't completely and utterly ruin everything. Awesome. Sounds no, good. more so because I want to see like if they've changed it from a tank perspective because okay. it used to be a bit of a what the hell is going on. <laughs> fair, fair. All right, cool. Well, let's give it a crack and see... Oh, excuse me. I hope you do. I'm sure I will. I'm sure I will. Uh, there has not been anything that I've come across yet that I've not enjoyed. I'm not a worry, Ant. We'll see you then. We'll see you then. Cutscene. Angry Moogles. Cooper, who in the seven hells are they? Meddling adventurers, I'd wager. <clears throat> Muggles guard to arms, defend the king, Cooper. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Aha. I am a paladin. Someone put a miracle in the chat, in, in the party chat. I, <laughs> they did. <laughs> that is adorable. Okay. Oh wow. Um, frame rate. Kisplat. <clears throat> ah! Ah, uh, that looks like we should move. <laughs> Was streamers good. <laughs> was it? Um, oh, yeah, it was. yeah, it was all like sparkles and like party things and stuff. Yeah. This just certainly looked like it. Oh, I'll play that one. That one. What does the two and four mean? Is it just uh, like kill orders? I'm pretty sure. Okay. Someone must be marking them, like kill this one first. Oh, yeah, cat. <laughs> it's literally like, oh, okay, these are towers, okay. Yeah, this is definitely rude, man. So we have to stand in them? Yeah, these are soaky towers. Okay. Oh, that's a me. Um, this button and that one. I wonder if it does the AOE damage. Let's find out. Oh, he's dead. He did. Gotta know for science. <laughs> Level niggers go bye bye. Uh oh. 
Oh, not everyone dances. It is tradition to dance for Good King Mugamon. This is ridiculous. I know, it's great. <laughs> <laughs> I... I... I'm... whatever. Uh, cool. Okay. Let's kill it. <laughs> um, if I need to taunt or anything, please tell me question mark. I'm... Oh, I'm also mining. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure this is... Yeah, this is definitely a rebound one. Because it was a bit of a, uh... A bust clock. <laughs> yes, good. I'm going. <laughs> oh, it's holy. It's just a party with there. swords. Look at Rod. And a cool hat. Tell you what, if you want to vote and have a go crack at taking one, I'll turn the stance off. Well, yeah. sure he go for it. Hang on, I just got uh, other arrows on me. There are ads now. Yes, they're so, okay. not targetable. Oh, I see, I see, I get you. Yeah. I get you. <laughs> Song of my people, you! Oh, that's a double buff. Okay, so stand on me. Yeah, I'm on ya. This little sprout's gonna regret the life choices. Or not. <laughs> I saw the arrows and it's like pointing at you and I'm like, I need to stand on you. <laughs> yeah. The, you get some to uh, two person tank buses like that. Okay. It's pretty damn obvious, so that's good. Yeah. It's also really funny when a DPS tries to save you with it and um... It's like, no, <laughs> no. Cure. Thank you for your assistance, but no. What is that? Uh, it's a lemon bread. I meant the, like the speakerphone things, the yellow things. Oh, I can't. Oh, he's gone. Bye bye. Oh, now they're sad. I don't care. Oh no. <laughs> anyway. Mm, basically. <laughs> Just carry it by the foot. That's fine. So what just happened? Well, basically, uh, they were going to be releasing the extremes for Leviathan and Titan, mm. and then Japan got hit by an earthquake which released the tsunami, and they went, we probably shouldn't do that. So they slapped together Good King Mugamog to help cheer people up. Um, the coffer, what should I be rolling on that? Uh, depends. If you would like the weapons, you're welcome to roll them. I don't know what the oh, weapons are. They're, they will be the same item level as the bow. Uh, it basically, the coffer opens up to whatever job you're on. So if you right. open on a paladin, it'll be a paladin shield and so Well, it'll be an upgrade if it's item yeah, level 75. My current one's item level 70. Okay. Yeah, go for it. I, do, I like, I don't know. Yeah, good. Brilliant. Yeah. The coffers are basically just a free weapon for whatever job you're playing. Oh, I need to get out first. Okay. Ah, I got a part. Moggle Mog the Twelfth's Whisker. Delightful. Okay. Brilliant. Oh, I survived doing? my first eight person what's it. Yay. It's a lot more cohesive now. It's a lot more frame rate. It's <laughs> You did it, Koopo! You did it! Good King Moggle Mog the Twelfth, may his mighty soul rest in peace, is no more. I shudder to think what might have happened had you not stopped the Moggle's Guard when you did. Thank you, Fiamma. Perhaps now they'll come to their senses and stop playing at fairy tales. Rest assured that the Chieftain will have choice words for them too. You should go and tell Puknipak that the king is no more, Cooper. She's with Raya O at Camp Tranquil and can relay the news to the chieftain. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you. and against flying fluffy kisser, apparently, and I do apologize, Midi. <laughs> I do apologize. Because that was more like a party than a, a boss fight. But that's okay. 
Um, okay. This one. My frames did the same. Punch that Moogle! Great, now I'm imagining everyone wearing party hats and hitting things with balloon swords. Yeah, exactly, exactly. This world's different than that. Before we had to punch the Moogles in an order and interrupt spells and tank the tank Moogles in a corner and... Good. So it was a nightmare for a new player. Understood. Mm-hmm. Do I dare believe my ears? Good King Mogul Mog the Twelfth, may his magnificent virtue serve as an example to us all, has fallen. All Mughal kind owes you a debt, Cooper. Ah, and I sense Raya O wishes to congratulate you as well. I shall let you two speak without fear of interruption. Your bravery and service to the Twelveswood and her Mughals shall not be forgotten, Fiamma. My sister will doubtless wish to hear the tale of this great victory from the mouth of the woman responsible. Pray return to the Lotus Stand and treat her to a full account of the day's events while the details are yet fresh in your mind. Okay. Onward. Are pre returning elsewhere. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there is no returning. You must pre return. And now I'm imagining someone like sitting in a quiet corner and like praying just, just quietly, and then they just kind of rise and start zooming towards their location. Like, yeah, that's fine. The Elder Seeds here is expecting you, madame. May I show you in? Yes. <clears throat> I'm back. Welcome back. I was washing dishes and such. Fantastic. Adulting. Fiamma, uh, you are returned to us unharmed and victorious, thus I have two reasons to be glad. Yet many questions remain unanswered. If you would be so kind as to oblige me, I would fain hear all that occurred in Fulham March. Blah, 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 blah. Then it is as we feared. The king really is a primal. But he really isn't, is he? I mean, the Mughals don't worship him, for one thing. He's not even a god to them. That doesn't sound like any primal I've ever heard of. Then mayhap the fault lies within the definition. The fact remains that through a combination of the power contained in crystals and the force of their collective faith, the Mughals called forth a being that by rights should not exist. Moreover, when slain, said being left no corpse, the aether which comprised him instead being scattered to the four winds. According to the accepted definition, he may not be a primal, but the mode of his manifestation was in every respect the same. Which means... Asians. This whole business reeks of their handiwork. Kupopo? They they said it was a masked man who had taught them how years ago, but, but Gradania has no shortage of masked men, and, and I never thought to question... Confound it all, how many more will they ensnare with their tainted gifts? Too many, I fear, so long as there are paragons to stir the embers, fools to build the pyre, and crystals to feed the flames, ever and again shall we suffer primal visitation. A sombre thought, but a salutary one. My heartfelt thanks, Fiamma. Already the information you have provided has proven invaluable. The Grand Serpent Marshal and I have much to discuss. 
Oh, before you do, my lady, I was hoping we might finish discussing that other matter. The matter of which you speak has even now been settled. The Scions shall not want for support. We shall be glad to send additional supplies to Revenant's Toll. We knew we could count on you, my lady. While Ida and I remain to discuss the particulars of our arrangement with the Elder Seedseer, mayhap you could return to the Waking Sands and apprise the antecedent of all that has transpired. Envelope time! Crap. Is as always wonderful. Oh, thank you, Landa. I appreciate that. It is. It is good to be streaming. It is good to be sponsored while streaming as well. Um, might be worth taking a moment to, of course, you know, thank Square Enix for believing in me and in my content and giving us another opportunity to dive into their beautiful game and experience it alongside my viewers and I'm I'm eternally grateful and, and helping me pay my bills like that's huge that's it's really really huge every every sponsorship and and affiliate and whatnot that I get is is a step closer to full time so I, I do truly appreciate what Square Enix have done and the opportunities that they have offered <clears throat> Alrighty, here we go. It is good to see you hale and healthy, Fiamma. I received word from Ida and Papalimo that you had felled good King Mogulmog the Twelfth, but I had hoped to hear your version of the tale. So it was as they said, summoned with the same methods used by the beast tribes and taught by the Asians. Though unfortunate, this incident did at least serve to remind the Elder Seedseer of our usefulness. Her offer of additional support could not have come at a better time. My thanks, Yama. Yes. <clears throat> Owing to the tireless efforts of all concerned, we are at long last ready to bid farewell to Vesper Bay. So as to avoid drawing undue attention, we shall make the journey to Revenant's Toll in small groups, departing at irregular intervals. Lest you doubt, it is still my intention to conduct further operations openly, but on this particular occasion, the need for caution overrides all other concerns. To move north as one ponderous caravan would only serve to invite attack. It seemed only right that I should be the last to leave, and I would have you remain with me until the end, Fiamma. Upon my departure, the Waking Sands will formally cease to be our headquarters, and the premises will be given into the care of Uriangel. I had thought to relinquish the property, but he was quite adamant, and I had not the heart to disagree. These walls have borne witness to some of the brightest and darkest moments in our Order's history. Mayhap it is best that we do not forsake them entirely. Uriangel shall remain here and devote his energies to studying the nature of primals. By the grace of the Twelve, he will one day discover the permanent solution that we have sought for so long. Of course, he will not be alone. Alice shall continue to work closely with him as well. Should they require assistance, I have their assurances that they will not hesitate to contact us. Speaking of Uriangel, would you inquire of him if any tasks remain undone? I cannot escape the feeling that I have forgotten something. Something important. Uh huh. <laughs> Me, when I'm like doing the pat down before I leave the house, I've got the keys, I've got the wallet. Mm hmm. Thou art ever welcome, Fiamma, but I require no assistance. Pray take thy leave, unburdened by concern for my well-being. Verily, thy countenance bespeaks a desire to quit this place without further delay. Hmm. Mayhap thou thinkest this chapter of our tale concluded, that these halls should rightly be consigned to the annals of history? In man's eagerness to seize the future, how readily he doth set down the past. Full many a proud pioneer hath bravely stridden into the great unknown, only to find there the banner of his ancestor, faded by the eons and still man glorieth in his discoveries. 
Tis through his pride that wisdom, wisdom doth ever give way to ignorance, while they who lurk in shadow remain hidden, lost no sooner than they are found. Use too many words, my dear man. Be not offended, Fiamma. Thy conduct hath ever been beyond reproach. Despite thy surpassing strength and all thy many victories, thou hast never been so convinced of thine own greatness as to imagine thyself above the failings of thy forebears. Mayhap it is the echo which hath opened thine eyes to the lessons of history. Would that the same could be said of... Dot, dot, dot. <clears throat> Ah! Whence came that cry? The solar, twelve for fend, the antecedent! Takes time to slowly nod, then run. Fiamma, you, you must... More headaches. Yay, painkillers. <laughs> Tell me, Louis Wah, would you have done the same? Louis Wah Leveleur was a remarkable man, wise beyond mortal measure. Would that I had met him prior to his passing. Bum, bum, bum. <clears throat> An Asian here? How? How readily you see. You are indeed gifted, Antecedent. But you, you are not like the others. Your robes. Gifted, but ignorant. Yet I shall not judge you harshly. The fault lies with your forebears. It has been millennia. Mine are the robes of an emissary. Unlike he who came before, I have no quarrel with you. He who... you speak of Lahabria. Lahabria is a warrior. He fought. He fell. He may yet learn from his mistakes. That he... he is still... Come, I only confirm that which you already knew. There is no cessation, no oblivion, only expulsion. You... what are... <clears throat> We're ready when you are, my lady. If there's nothing else... Is something the matter? Ah, uh, I feel the same way. After everything that's happened here, it feels strange to leave, but I'm sure we'll get... we'll soon get used to Revenant's Toll. Well, I'll let you say your goodbyes. Take as long as you like, my lady. We shall depart whenever you're ready. It is only to be expected. She lacks the gift and the knowledge both. To her, we are indistinct. I... I do not understand. Shadowless, fleshless, formless. What truth there is in each tale is diluted by time and telling. Knowledge dictates expectation, and expectation colours perception. Thus did she perceive naught. So it is with all but a chosen few, even you, when young, could not yet see with eyes unclouded. You know nothing about me. Nothing. The gift grants you clarity, it grants you focus. With it, you may in time come to see us as we are, rather than this crude approximation. Lahabria did not think so highly of the Echo. Lahabria is wrong about a great many things. The Echo is indeed a gift, albeit one you have yet to master. And if we did, there would be no strife between our peoples, for we would be of one mind. I leave as I came, in peace, Antecedent. May we meet again as friends. Wait, stay where you are. Mayhap I was indelicate. Tis a mercy she shields her children from his grace with such resolve. 
Was it also by her hand that you survived the ardor, I wonder? Hmm. Interesting. Ooh. The plot thickens. Oh, it's getting pretty soupy. Mmm, soup. Mmm, delicious. I, I take it there is no need to explain. Save your concern. He did me no lasting harm. Whatever his intention was, it was not to kill. Dun dun dun! That's it. That's it, apathy. I heard a cry. What happened? Are you all right? Um, I've not played that, Rainbow. Uh, I've not played any of the series. Um, you look faint. Do you need to lie down? I could fetch you a flask of my special tonic. Yuriangio, send word to the students of Baldessian. Tell them to scour the archives, the forbidden tomes in particular. If there is any reference to an Asian robed in white, however oblique, I would know of it. An Asian, my lady? Was that what gave you cause to cry out? I did but moments ago glimpse a figure clad in white set forth from the waking sands, yet Asians are wont to employ teleportation magics. Why would one be so brazen? I know not and care not. Find him, Fiamma. Turn every stone in Vesper Bay if you have to. Pray attend me, Shitaru. We gonna do some reading. In the box. Mm -hmm. Fun times. I have a feeling we're gonna ignore the books and just talk to people instead. It's like a training montage, but like scrolls. <laughs> yeah, that's um. Yeah. It's just Uriante's life. Let's be real. At that point. <laughs> Shit. Lives and breathes <sighs> Shakespeare plays. Yeah, that's a bit. <sighs> okay. couldn't see the orange circle for all the things on my map. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There he is! I am told that you are the warrior of light, but I would know for myself. I shall walk north, and you may choose to follow. Excuse me, know, however, that you will be waylaid if you do. You may even perish. Should you survive, we shall speak anon. I'm for mindless violence. Doom music playing ominously in the background. Mm. That appeared after I walked through it. Brilliant. I walked oh, all the way up to the gate and then, yeah. 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 <laughs> That's alright. Go, yeah, Biggie. Easy. Toad buggies. 
They are so shaped. One of the most shapes ever. Mmm, egg. That is like a large. Ball. Yeah. Be boy. <clears throat> remarkable, truly remarkable. I thank you for granting me this indulgence. None save she who bested Lahabria could endure such an examination. Have the laws of man grown so twisted in my absence that it is now permitted to lay hands upon an emissary? You bore witness to my audience with the antecedent, did you not? Then you know I acted only in self-defense. I realize the same cannot be said of Lahabria. Even amongst his brethren, he is considered unique. Nevertheless, I cannot wholly condemn his misdeeds, for through them we discovered you, one so strong in the gift that she could cast us out. Your mother favors you still, that much is plain, but surely you must feel it. Her influence wanes and her strength shall soon be spent. These lands, these people, this world, all shall soon change. As it was, so shall it be again, as it should always have been. Doubt my claims and question my motives if you will. Only believe me when I say this. I am, I am, Elidibus, emissary, bearer of the word of the one true God, and we shall meet again. Smoky, smarmy, punchy face. Is the HR for the Asians. Uh huh. It's basically what emissary means. <laughs> yeah. I realize like, I 
to forget to use my weapon case from that dungeon oh, yeah, duty thing. I got a morbid oh, mug blade. <laughs> the mug weapons too. Yeah. Oh, they're not the they're not the glowy ones. No, this looks like a little fork. Oh, that's actually quite funky. Look at that design. It's got the Moogle oh. in the middle of it, which is... Weird. Do you see the little... The little, the little fork, head? yeah. Uh, the... But, like, the yeah. rest of it, that's actually really funky. It's almost like the... Celtic stuff. Almost. Yeah. Not quite. And the crown on the hilt. <laughs> uh -huh. That's cute. I don't mind that. I'm not angry at it. And it's the, not um... The Moogle weapons, um, you can craft versions that like have like l little effects by using the materials like the whiskers you get from. Ah, uh, yeah, King yeah. Rigamore. Okay. And the Moogle ones are so funny because you can hear when someone has one oh, because no. they draw it and it goes, <laughs> and it's God so sake. stupid. I love it. <laughs> oh dear. Hmm. It's the Moogle folk. You're exactly right, up there. Hunt train is in a bullet train this time, thank god. Hmm. That was reset yesterday. It was chaos. Oh no. I have never seen so many people flying across the zone at Mach 1. <laughs> like right of the Valkyries, but it's like right of the 17 different mounts. Mm -hmm. Gods, you've returned, Fiamma. After you left, I began to worry that I might have sent you to your doom. I take it our visitor proved elusive. Big pardon? He was waiting for you? What did you do? What did he say? As it was, so shall it be again? Of when does he speak, and of what exactly? The words of this Elidibus portend much but reveal nothing, save perhaps a measure of disdain for Lahabria. I had hoped for answers, but it seems I shall have to be content with a wealth of additional questions. Okay. Let us set aside the matter of this Asian until after we have completed our move to the Rising Stones. There is but one final favour I would ask of you before I depart. I believe I mentioned before that my father was a member of the Alamegan Resistance. The truth, however, is far more, is more complicated than that. As far as the Empire knew, he was their spy. He maintained the dis... The dis that, let's try that again. He maintained the deception for nigh on half a decade, furnishing the resistance with vital imperial secrets while feeding his paymasters subtly conceived misinformation. <laughs> More questions, indeed. When he died some 15 years ago, my father left behind his journal, which I have closely guarded ever since. It contains every shred of information he and his agents could steal on what they believe to be the single greatest threat to Eorzea, the primals. Its wisdom has guided me through the years, though there is much within I still do not understand. It is my hope that Yurianja will fare better. Tell him to treat it with care. It is all I have left of my father. I thought thee departed. To what end dost thou linger? Book. Here. The father's final bequest, the daughter's lifelong labour. It is no small thing to surrender such a cherished memento. Well, can I imagine the antecedent's pain? 
Uh, upon mine honor, I swear to spare no effort in the study of these materials, lest my lady's sacrifice be in vain. They should level up reading to understand. I know, right, Meaty? What on earth? Good morning, Zen. Welcome back. Hope you're doing well. Fiamma, this is Minfilia. Forgive me, but I could wait no longer. I have departed for the Rising Stones. If if you have yet to... Once you've given the journal to Yurianja, I bid you come to the Seventh Heaven. Seventh Heaven. In Revenant's Toll. Tataru will be there to show you inside our new headquarters. Assuming you have already attuned to it, you may wish to make use of our new Aetherite in Reven Revenant's Toll. After all, it is right on our doorstep. Onward. Onward to victory. Yes. Onward to teleport. Sweet. Hmm. To new home. Mm hmm. Man, the pain the removal is to get all the furniture there is going to suck. <laughs> That's right. I reckon I could spare a few gil. <laughs> I'm sure Tataru's coffers would appreciate it. Mm hmm. Alrighty. Dum dum da dum da 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 dum da dum. Oh, Fiamma, you're here. Good, good. We were all wondering when you'd show up. As I was just telling your restive receptionist here, I'm pleased to inform you that all the documents have been prepared and all signatures signed. The Rising Stones is officially yours. Splendid! From this day forward, I will spare no effort in seeing that it is as welcoming and comfortable a home for us as the Waking Sands ever was. That said, this is all somewhat intimidating, is it not? So many unfamiliar places and unfamiliar faces. Take that odd-looking fellow over there, for example. He's been eyeing us most suspiciously ever since we arrived. I cannot help but wonder if we are truly safe here. Ah, that man. I can't say I've spoken to him myself, but rumour has it he's come to hunt for ancient treasures in the Crystal Tower. Well done, Luz. Ah, uh, you've seen the structure I speak of, no? It'd be hard to miss. That massive pillar of shining crystal that looms high over the land just to the southeast of here. Um, if I'm coming across as rude, Luz, I promise it's not my intention. It's just that it's sponsored stream. So, discussion of things that are not Final Fantasy XIV related? Ease. Uh, if the tales are to be believed, it's a remnant of some ancient civilization. The details remain a mystery, and that's no doubt why it's drawn adventurers and scholars from all over looking to unearth its secrets. Oh, brilliant. Okay. Just wanted to make sure that you, like, you knew why. It's not... Yep, yeah, good. <laughs> the man over there is no exception, and if my instincts are true, he knows more than most. If you're curious about the tower yourself, you could do no worse than to talk to him and see what he knows. Why, if I weren't otherwise occupied with my duties here, I'd have half a mind to join you. I mean, just look at it. I can scarce begin to imagine what wonders lie inside. Why, that's wonderful to hear. Rest assured that this receptionist will work just as hard to see that our efforts do not skip a beat despite the relocation. And with that, Fiamma, I do believe it's time you officially announced your presence to everyone inside. The antecedent and the others will surely be overjoyed to see you. The Crystal Tower quest series is now available from the Outlandish Man. <laughs> in order to progress in the main scenario, you must first complete certain quests in the Crystal Tower series. While you are granted a respite from your duties as a scion, use your time to probe the depths. I don't. The word hey, probe. Oh. The word probe just makes me so unsettled. <laughs> Squick, oh yeah. It is an interesting word. Use your time to probe the depths of the Crystal Tower and see what ancient secrets may be gleaned. So is that going to come up as a drop down thing from the build on the stone? Not yet. Okay. Um, I'm guessing once that's I get a... to the point, it'll... No, like... you can just talk to him and get it. Like that's Oh, no, no. Request. Yeah, of course. But like, if it gets to the point where I need to do it, 
it'll kind of uh, have it as like a by the way. No, it, oh, you okay. ride at the climax and you get uh, cop blocked more or less. It's oh, not goody. Fun. I love which that. Is like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah which is great. why we had the discussion we had after last yeah, stream. Yep. Yeah, no, that's totally fair. Yeah, I was very upset. Mm, that's fun. It's this like is actually pretty. a pretty good story, though. This is really pretty in here. Yeah, it's it's very cozy. Mm. It's like it's similar to the Waking Sands, but somehow less. It's darker, and I think it takes away that kind of sandy sort mm. of what's it? Ah! And we've got the Uldar aesthetic, which mm. sandstone. Yeah, Minfilia's uh, office has been upgraded. It's bigger. Hell yeah, more room for parties. Are you? This is the party room, after all. Mm-hmm. Oh, did you see my little dangly yellow earrings underneath my ears, question mark? <laughs> yeah, 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 they just sort of clip cute. in. They're just clip yeah. on, so it's fine. It's fine. Just a super glue. It's fine. Well, it's certainly, it is certainly spacious. Ah, she noticed too. Today marks a new beginning for the Scions of the Seventh Dawn, for today we declare our independence. We shall henceforth be beholden to no nation, but serve all of Eorzea's people, proudly and openly. But this, this does not mean that we will sever our ties to the Eorzean Alliance. On the contrary, the Antecedent and I shall endeavour to strengthen them. Rest assured, however, that we shall not permit political considerations to influence our decisions. Our identity remains unchanged, as does our as does our cause. Go. We are the scions of the seventh dawn, and our single purpose is to safeguard the future of Eorzea. Yes. For Eorzea. A moment of your time, Fiamma. I would speak of Elidibus. <clears throat> Pardon the intrusion, my lady, but the matter which bringeth me will admit no delay. Mine every attempt to con contact the students of Baldessian hath been met with silence. No one will respond? How odd. Allow me to try. No response. Surely they would not ignore us. They have never yet, my lady. I fear we must assume the worst. No. No, I will not believe it. An outpost, perhaps, but not their headquarters. Their wards are beyond circumvention. Had they come under attack, they would most certainly have raised the alarm. None could penetrate their sanctum unnoticed. But for those who lack the gift and the knowledge both. Oh, no. Contact their agents in the field at once. If aught has befallen the students of Baldessian, they may know of it. Though the thought of it pains me, until such time as we have evidence to the contrary, we can but assume the worst. Accordingly, we must needs seek another source of information on Elidibus. Such devastation! This was not my intention. Hello, Cricket! How are you? How is your stream? Welcome on in, Raiders. If you haven't been here before, I'm Fia. It is lovely to meet you all. I hope you've thoroughly enjoyed Cricket's stream. Let me... There we go. If you're not already... Oh, did that not work? There we go. If you're not already following Cricket, you absolutely should. Her streams are fantastic, super chill, super lovely, great community vibe. Uh, and you can click on her name and then, like, follow her right from there, if you so desire. 
Um, hey, lights. Hello, Lancelot. Welcome in. Welcome back. Hope you are doing wonderfully well. Hello, stream is good. Thank you, chatted and laughed and played some things. Fantastic. It sounds like a brilliant time. I'm so glad to hear you had a good night. Oh, wonderful. Brilliant. Hello, Scale. Welcome on in. Different game tonight. You I know. And it's sponsored. How awesome is that? How freaking awesome is that? Hello, Minnie. Welcome back. Well, this evening, I am well. Thank you for hoping. I hope you can say the same. Yeah, we do. We do mix it up occasionally. We do mix it up occasionally. Uh, right. Okay. So, tis possible that others in the homeland are possessed of such knowledge. Be fairly warned, however, they are unlike to yield it unconditionally. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yes, Square Enix have been absolutely fantastic to work with. There's, um, we had a, a series of streams when the Materia data centers, the Oceanic data centers, were like launched, and they've just recently had a big content patch as well. Um, and so they contracted me for a few more, another another little series of sponsored streams, and I'm just, oh, it's it's so wonderful to work with them. They're really fantastic. Really fantastic. Yeah, it's all happening. It's, oh, it's so exciting. So exciting. Uh, do what you must. Off he goes. Yet another unforeseen and unwelcome development. What could be next, I wonder? A visit from a crimson-clad Asian, perhaps? Or or, or Ochre? Or Puce? And, and which of our allies will then fall... Excuse me. Which of their allies will then fall silent? So cool. I'm so excited for you. Thank you, Cricket. I'm so excited for me too. Like, everything has just been happening over the last few months. There's just been so many opportunities and so many amazing, like... Just little bits and pieces that have that have popped up and, and happened and I'm just I'm loving it. I'm I'm loving life and Yeah. Yeah. I feel like I'm where I'm supposed to be, doing what I'm supposed to be doing with the people I'm supposed to be doing it with. You know? I just I belong. Stars have aligned. Yeah. It really does feel like that. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> <laughs> um This is fine. Um, I'm not sure what you mean, Skell, sorry. There is on some computers it doesn't show me your image. The small round image. In the channel list. Oh! Like the, um... Uh, my profile picture. Like in, in your following list? It's fine for me. Yeah, I would imagine that that's just something like I, I've never noticed that before. That might be something to do with like your computer's cache or something like that. You might need to do like a clear out on the computers where it's not working. Like do one of the you know like the clearing all the history and all that kind of stuff. Um, sometimes if, uh, like so the the basically the way that a cache works is that if you visit a website, it saves the stuff that's there. Like, like an indication of it on your computer so that the next time you visit the same place, instead of having to re-download the image, it can just kind of pull from its memory and, and stick it there. But if that little piece of like, oh, I remember what fear looks like, if that gets corrupted or breaks somehow and it try and it tries pulling from that, but it can't, it'll, it won't display things properly. So if you clear that out and clear all of its memories, it, it'll have to re-download stuff and maybe that'll help. But yeah, no, I've, I've never heard of that before. Um, in, in six and a half years on the platform, I've never heard of that happening before. So, um, congratulations on finding something exceptionally special. Um, yeah, that's, that's interesting. I, there's nothing I can do about that at all. Like literally nothing because it's not my website. Um, it is Twitch. Um, but I would, yeah, you could always, you could always like open a ticket with them or reach out to support and let them know that there's profile pictures that aren't loading. Uh, and they might be able to help you with that. But yeah, that's, um, I've, yeah, I've never heard of that before. That's really interesting. Oh, well. It is what it is. Interesting. It's like, like, it's got me there in the list, but it doesn't have the picture, I'm assuming. That's very strange. I'm not sure what that could be. Um, for a time, I thought we had gained the upper hand. 
When you shattered the crystal of darkness and cast out Lahabria, I dared, I dared to hope that we had found a way to rid ourselves of the Asian menace. But I was wrong. He endures and may yet return. Upon that point, I have no doubt that Elidibus spoke true. Yet there must be a way to destroy them utterly, a way to spare this world their unholy machinations. I dare not consider the alternative. There are forces at work we do not understand, Fiamma. I discern them all around, in disturbances too great and too numerous to be dismissed as mere coincidence. Doubtless the Paragons are involved, but how and to what end is far from clear. I know not what will come, but I do know that we will rise and meet it as one. Ah, my stalwart hero, your face is a picture of resolve. I know that you will be ready when the time comes. With luck, however, that will not be for a while yet. Pray return to your private affairs with my blessing. Should anything arise, you will be informed. That sounds like a good climb the tower. Mm. <laughs> I think that might be the end of patch 2.1. Okay. Like, as, as far as the patch goes. Like, obviously, you can uh, keep continuing. Oh, like, of course. Like, I think that might be the way it is. Interesting. Krill, where are you? Ba -ba -da -ba. Your intercession was not foretold. You object? We question. Our plans are in motion, your intentions unclear. They survived the seventh ardor and are stronger now in the gift. Does that not intrigue you? No, it does not. Serve as you will, so too shall I. We labor not at cross purposes. The wisdom of his plan shall become apparent in time when the veil is lifted from their eyes. And at long last, they see. Enjoy your lurks, Anne. Enjoy. Quest complete! A realm awoken! Well, that'd be the patch. Mm hmm Okay, so I'm gonna start this, but then I'm gonna go do some Crystal Tower stuff, I think. Go for it. Just so that we don't... Do you know where I have to get to for it to not walk me you have to do the entire thing oh okay that's easy then brilliant mm, yeah. truly there is no rest for the weary scarce had i begun to make myself at home when i received a request for assistance from amagina and son's mineral concern it would appear that their storehouse in horizon has been the target of a series of covert robberies minor as they seemed in isolation occasional discrepancies in the manifests were long dismissed as clerical errors it was only during the concern's annual audit that a pattern became apparent Significant quantities of crystals, and only crystals, were missing. I need hardly tell you what that may imply. The brass blades charged with investigating the thefts believe that someone within the concern is selling the crystals for profit. Alas, they have as yet been unable to identify a likely suspect. And the concern's proprietors have grown frustrated by their lack of progress. Needless to say, I would not have agreed to intervene had the stolen goods been of merely monetary value. If there is even a possibility that the thief acts not out of self-interest, but in service to a primal, we can ill afford to wait for the blades to realize their mistake. Pray depart for Horizon at your earliest convenience. Rendezvous with your Stola when you arrive. She and Thancred have already begun a preliminary investigation. Need to get some food. Of course, Cricket. I hope it is delicious and delightful. Thank you so much for the lurk and thank you for the raid. I hope I hope I get to see you again soon. It's always lovely to see you. I have every confidence that the three of you will get to the bottom of these thefts. I only hope our fears prove unfounded when you do. Okay. Running, 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 running. Mordona! Seeker misheard me earlier and thought I said more donuts, and I'm like, hmm. 
Now that's what I want. Yeah. Same. You know what? It's fine. It's fine. Actually, I'm going out for lunch on Saturday to a place that I know is near a place that has a place inside of it that does ridiculous donuts. Like, uh, I'm talking it. like banana custard donuts and stuff like that. Oh, that's yeah. okay. <laughs> it, it was, let me tell you. It was phenomenal. Ah, oh, okay, good. Oh, good. Outlandish man, squint. Outlandish man. Yeah, it's, have you seen Have you seen his outfit? That's why. He's outlandish because he's all shiny and pretty. Yes, he does not fit in. An oddly garbed man visiting Revenant's mm. Toll has some information which might be of interest to an experienced adventurer. Oh my god, I'm experienced now? Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Do I know you? Ah, unless I'm very much mistaken, you are the famed adventurer who bested the Galean Empire's general, are you not? The great Fiamma Ventinov herself? Amazing, and more than a little serendipitous. One might even call it fate, but I recently reviewed, received word of a truly unique opportunity. You see, an opportunity the like of which none but one of your proven worth could take advantage. The reward? Not less than the accumulated knowledge of a fallen civilization. The risk? A single misstep could cost you your life. But what is a little danger to a storied hero such as you? This is news to fear, correct? I am not a, look, it's fine. A woman with absolute confidence in her own abilities stands to profit handsomely from this venture. No, no, I crave no recompense for my part in bringing this opportunity to your attention. The historic discoveries you shall make will be reward enough, I assure you. If my words have fanned the flames of your curiosity, then I bid you seek a man by the name of Rembrose at St. Cronax Find. It is he who stands at the doorway to untold marvels, waiting the arrival of a champion bold enough to march across the threshold. Okay, let go. <laughs> Funky looking barrier. It's just the weather, to be honest. Oh, really? Yeah, if you look cool. at the minimap, it tells you what the weather is. The little bubble. Ah, the top gloom. Right. This is gloom. Brilliant. Sad. The zone sad. Hang on. Where am I going? Oh, it is that one. Okay. Yeah. There he is. Rambros. Why, if it isn't Fiamma Ventanova herself, I was not expecting such a celebrated guest. To what do I owe the honor of this visit? You were directed here, you say, by a man clad in foreign garb. Well, the opportunity he spoke of must surely refer to our late latest anthropogeographical endeavor. Had to take That's a second. A word. It is. Well, because it's like anthropological, but then also yeah. geographical, so it's anthropogeographical. I get it, but it's like where it, I was trying to figure out where the first word stopped and where the next word started. Yeah. Yep. Endeavor. <laughs> Quite how he came to know of it is another matter. All knowledge of this project was supposed to be restricted to my organization, but that is something for me to ponder in private. You are now. You are here now, and your services will, I am certain, prove invaluable. Excuse me. I must warn you, though. I must warn you, however. That the venture we have in mind is no simple excavation. An unprepared or incautious adventurer could very well find herself on an unplanned and unpleasant journey to Thal's solemn halls. Knowing this, do you still wish to lend us your cooperation? I don't even get a choice. My character just nods. Uh -huh. I rather thought you would say that. Your courage is scarcely a secret. Now, the first... Fiamma? I thought it was you! Oh my god! It said! Yeah. What brings you to St. Connax? Don't tell me. The Alliance sent you on another realm-shaking, history-making mission to lay low an apparently, insur uh, apparently insuperable foe, yes? No? Ah, uh, I see you two are already acquainted. That is well. Master Garland, our intrepid hero here, caught wind of the forthcoming expedition and has kindly pledged to assist us. She has, has she? Glad to have you aboard, Fiamma. You don't have the faintest idea what you volunteered for, do you? Very well, let us begin at the beginning. 
character be like, certain death? Gosh darn, I'm in. Correct, I'm Jess. Right. Correct. I'm going to call us murder hobos for nothing. The sons of St. Cognac are tasked with unearthing the secrets of the long-fallen Alagan Empire, and this present endeavour aims to delve more deeply into the civilization's mysteries than ever before. Ah, but I know that look. In the event that you feel ill-equipped to contribute much on the subject of Alagan archaeology, I invite you to recall your encounter with the Ultima Weapon. That mechanical monstrosity represented a feat of engineering far beyond aught Galamard can presently achieve. Nero told Skaver, simply awoke it. I mention this by way of a reminder that you have had what one might term extensive first-hand experience with a notable Alagan relic. In short, you're practically an archaeologist. Damn straight! Love that. Yeah, that track. The arm of the archaeologist. I'll take it. Now, to the <laughs> core of the matter. Here in Mordona, there stands an entire Alagan structure which we have yet to investigate. I speak, of course, of the Crystal Tower. After witnessing the destructive capabilities of the Ultima Weapon and the Lesser Moon Dalamud before it, it seems wise to treat any remnants from that era with the utmost caution. They must be analysed, monitored, and, above all, kept from falling into the wrong hands. To put it plain, I have no wish to see another megalomaniacal megalomaniacal Legatus wield one of those weapons. It was this thought which first moved me to contact the Suns and propose that the tower be explored. If there is a deadly weapon in there, we need to get it first. Stupid humans. For several millennia, the Crystal Tower remained hidden, buried deep underground, but like so many other things that were better left undisturbed, the structure was freed from its stony prison by the great upheaval which accompanied the coming of the Seventh Umbral Era. It now stands revealed in all its splendour, a gleaming spear of crystal pointed at the bosom of the heavens. I see a puzzle. <laughs> we believe the tower to be the repository of much of the ancient's wisdom. Unfortunately, its entrance is guarded by formidable defences and we cannot so much as peep through the keyhole, much less set foot inside. These defences take the form of statues carved into the likeness of giant swordsmen. The eight sentinels, as the sons want to call them, is the first barrier we must overcome. Why not simply fly over them in an airship, you ask? It's been tried before. Any vessel that ventures too close to the tower is blasted out of the air. We either destroy those statues, or the front door is forever beyond our reach. We, like, unlock the door. It's a puzzle. My colleagues and I are ill-suited to negotiating such deadly hazards. Thus, if we are to gain access to the tower's secrets, we must needs employ the services of an experienced adventurer. It will be difficult and dangerous, Fiamma, but I can think of no finer woman for the task. Puzzle me smash with club. If I didn't know better, I'd say you had a taste for these deadly escapades. I look forward to working with you again. There is much and more to be done before we can begin the expedition proper. Take some time to prepare yourself and I shall explain the challenges that lie ahead. Our first objective is to reach the entrance to the Crystal Tower. As I previously mentioned, however, that will prove no easy task. The entrance is guarded by powerful defense mechanisms, each utilizing one of the four elements. This is the first thing I thought of. I saw the red, green, or red, blue, green, yellow. I'm like, that's elements. Come on, guys. Like, pour some fire in the red one and watch it go away. Four elements of fire, water, wind, or earth. Anyone attempting to simply stroll past these unsleeping sentinels invites swift obliteration. 
Based on Master Garlon's analyses, however, we are reasonably certain that the attacks of these lethal contraptions can be reflected using a crystal of the corresponding element. Naturally, these crystals must be of surpassing clarity, free of the slightest impurities, much like the flawless specimens used by the beastmen in their primal summoning rituals. Ahem. Mayhap I should have said exactly like the specimens they use. <sighs> Were there any other way we would not ask this of you, but we need someone to enter the beast tribe strongholds and liberate their perfect crystals. For the moment, I would have you focus on obtaining two of the four crystals we require. Pray make for Lenosia, where both the Sapsa spawning grounds and Ugamaro mines are located. You may be certain that the materials used in the Beastmen's sacred rituals will be well defended. Whether you choose to venture there alone or with companions, I shall leave to your discretion. But whatever you do, please be careful. Okay. Okidoki. So, Legacy of Alag. Let's give this one first. Lanasia! Um. Oh! I saw. Jas, I saw the mod note, like the, the mod action. I'm like, what? Of course, Brain didn't let me then go to read Meaty's message, did it? Of course not. You're so awesome. Please go die. Yeah, it's like, please die on our behalf so that we don't have to. Thanks! You'll be handsomely compensated. Excuse me, mate. I prefer the term borrow without intent to return. Yep. Your mount can fly no higher. Well, it can now. Oh, there we go. Oh, look, there's a wall there. Like, it actually shows you the... That's cool. That's really funky. I like that. I know it can't fly any higher, you can stop telling me. Surveying. Where I was it? Yep, yep. <laughs> we must procure the materials we desire with no intent to return them to their place. Yeah. Okay, done. Next one. To Aleport. It's the same brain cell, Midi. Same brain cell. <laughs> Does that it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All I ask is that I can have it back when I'm supposed to be killing stuff. I might- I feel like I might need it at that point. <laughs> hey, Abyak, welcome back! you're doing well. I am also back. Welcome back. Hope you're doing well. I got wilder. Delicious question mark. Yeah, it's in that big water bottle. Okay. Sorry, I had an idea and I had to write it down before, well, type it out before I forgot it because we all know what that's yeah. like. Yep. Yeah, same. Yeah. It wasn't until the mod message popped up I even realized how it could be interpreted. Yeah, yep, yep. Yep. What's on the agenda for Final Fantasy XIV today? Well, we've done patch 2.1. 
and I'm now, um, I got a, a warning that I had to do stuff for the Crystal Tower before, like, there would be a point at which the MSQ would proceed no further unless I had done the Crystal Tower stuff, so that's what I'm doing now. Um, so that it doesn't stop me randomly at some point in the future. I learned it. I look sometimes. Sometimes. I had an emote idea pop into my head, so I sent it as a DM to ships. <laughs> Basically. <clears throat> awesome. Yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying myself. I, I'm enjoying myself a fair bit right now. We're doing good. We're doing good. I did my first eight-person duty. My first full party. Nobody died, as long as I realized. Of course, of course. I have been doing, I, we did do the one with a group of people and then like extra people joined us because obviously we didn't have enough. Um, so yeah, um, th I might do a bit of alternating to see how the NPCs go versus like players and things like just to kind of, you know, experience all the different sides of the game. But yeah, no, you are very, very welcome to join us uh, when we're doing groups with, with people for sure. Absolutely. Uh, wow, you did the thing that Sheep's asked you to do. I'm super impressed. You know what? I can't tell if you're, like, being sarcastic or not, so I'm just going to take the compliment and roll with it and say that I'm proud of myself too. Not only... Right, okay, hear me out. I have my dentist appointment today. I have booked another dentist appointment. And... I booked a hairdresser appointment today. I was like, productive. I was productive. It's both good. Brilliant. Must I actually have the brain cell? I think I have. I think I do, honestly. I think I do. How progress your efforts in infiltrating the Beastmen strongholds? No, not use. Hand over. So these are the famed flawless crystals of the beast tribes. I have seen countless specimens from I know not how many excavations, but nothing to compare to these. Their purity is astounding. You have done well, Fiamma. With these in our possession, we lack only the crystals of fire and wind. The former lies in Zaharak, uh, the war camp of the Amarja in Thanalan, the latter in Natalan, the roost of the Ixil in, in the hills of Kurthas. You can expect them to be as closely guarded as the first two, if not more so. Still, I look forward to receiving word of your resounding success. Sounds like Jas has decided he's hungry. Sorry, I had to go help with a phone charger situation. Oh, totally fine. Totally fine. Uh, no, this one I think is just a teeny, teeny, itty bitty little bit closer. It'd be like that. Mm. I think there's going to be some times where it's like, I'm going to spend the two less gil to go to the other one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Is there a way to turn off the warning that my mount can fly no higher? 
You know, I'm not too sure. <laughs> so, Mike, it's fine. Yeah. I can see that there's an invisible wall there. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's all right. Six. It's so confusing to get just right. Want me to teach you a trick? Yeah. I can teach you a trick. Let me influence you. That's how you do it. So, if you want your steak rare, when you push on it in the pan, it should feel like that. Medium rare, it should feel like that. Medium, it should feel like that. And well, it should feel like that. That is an illegal trick. I feel like my third eye has been opened. <laughs> you are welcome. <laughs> like, I can just tell, but also, like, what? Mm -hmm. No, like, next time you're cooking, try it. That is not fair. How is it not- I gave- I shared it with you. How is that not fair? Hold on, let me go spend $30 on a steak. Yeah! Steak. <laughs> but it worked- this is the beautiful thing. It works on any steak. Even, yeah. like, the cheap, crappy ones. Yeah. It just, good. and even, even like the really, really thin ones, it still works. Because even the thin ones have a tiny bit of give and you can feel like what level of give it needs to have. It's perfect. I've been cool. using that trick for like, what, over a decade now, actually. Really? I've told yeah. so many, I guess I haven't really spoken about cooking steak much. No. I don't no. think we've really talked about cooking steaks, no. No. It's specifically, like, specifically talking about the difficulty of cooking steaks or, yes. how, like, or lamenting that it, it had been overcooked or, or whatever. Like, yeah, I think, because, it, it, like, it's not really a trick that I just kind of whip out randomly whenever, but when someone is in need of it, I bless them with the information. <laughs> like, my time has come. I have help! Yeah. That's basically it. But yeah. <laughs> I like helping. <laughs> I mean fair. It's not I fair should check my island sanctuary. The divine scroll of infinite wisdom. Yeah. The sacred text. The divine the divine wisdom of squishy thumb base. <laughs> I mean you're right. But yeah, give it a go next time you do it, Yuck, and let me know how you go. Oh yeah, I spatchcocked some quail the other day, right? Oh yeah? Because uh, we had some with skin on and I was like, sure, I do, sure, do a full spatchcock. Oh my god, mm. they're so much easier to eat. <laughs> there's, so, there's like no bones, it's great. Yep. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> I forgot I did this. I have a little castaway chocobo chick on my island. Just fire them. <laughs> He's on the beach, He's got a little floaty ring. When you said I can see the invisible wall, I thought you'd lost our brain cell, and you dropped the state knowledge! <laughs> no, 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 watch, I'll show you, Meaty, I'll show you, I'll show you. Look, you can actually see the invisible wall. Like, if you go too high... Of course, I picked the place in the world that you could fly the absolute highest, because of course I did. There you go. See how it says your, your mount can fly? See that? Do you see the... That's the wall. That, that, like... That bit there, that's the invisible wall. You're hitting it and it does the shimmery thing like you've smacked it. So I can actually see the invisible wall. I'm not losing my mind more than earlier. <sighs> I'm not losing my mind any further. Bless you. Bless you. <laughs> Oh, I get it now. Yeah, yeah, right? I can actually see it when I hit it. <laughs> Maybe I should have added the the four words there. Might have helped. <laughs> it's cool though, right? You don't just get your, your bird screeching that it's hitting something. You actually get like the little pop, pop, pop to show like, you know, you're, you're against something here. There is something there. Mm. Excuse me.
Oh, that's a crystal. <laughs> Duck! It just be like that sometimes. It, it do. Oh, there's no more purple glowy. Sad. So, clear skies now, but those stars, though. My goodness. I'm impressed you can see the stars past the, the ambient blue mod, like all the yeah, crystals. Like, true. Light, like pollution. light pollution. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Same brain cell. Yes, yeah. again. Here we are. Fiamma, it is good to see you. Tell me, were you able to obtain the remaining crystals from the Beastmen? No. Okay. Wonderful! With all four crystals in hand, we are now ready to proceed to the next stage of our preparations. Ah, I hope I did not give the impression that we would be embarking on our journey to the Crystal Tower just yet. Alas, there is another step which must be completed ere we come to that. While the crystals you acquired are indeed flawless, they are of little use to us in their present form. If they are to reflect the elemental forces of the tower's defences, they must needs be cut and polished. A process, process which calls for a very particular set of materials. Procuring them will be a challenge in itself, I fear. Needless to say, we will be requiring your services once again. Of course we will. If the flawless crystals you procured for us are to retain their elemental purity during the shaping process, a very specific set of abrasive substances will be required. Well, I say substances, but one might just as well call them one substance, namely ether sand which has four elementally aspected varieties. Alas, aether sand is neither common nor cheap. Indeed, it is not unusual for the abrasive to exceed the value of the precious stones it is used to polish. Given the rarity of the materials in question, the goldsmith's guild in Uldar seemed like the likeliest place to purchase the quantity we require. When I contacted the guildmaster, however, I was informed that no aether sand was currently available. Though I requested that word be sent as soon as new stock came in, I have yet to receive aught but apologies. I should mention at this point that I placed the order some time before you procured the flawless crystals. I'm well aware that acquiring aether sand is no small feat, of course, and I am not an impatient man, but I fear the more we delay our investigation, the greater the risk that the tower's secrets may fall into the hands of other, less savoury parties. That is why I wish to entrust you with the payment for our purchase, and send you to speak directly with Guildmaster Serendipity. Mayhap the presence of such a, such a distinguished personage will spur the guild into action. In any event, it is my hope that when we next meet, you will have found at least one of the four varieties of Aether Sand we require. Hey, Josh, welcome back. Welcome back. Oh, it's in Ulda. I'll just hit return. Good. Easy. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Can confirm as a crafter, Aether Sand is a pain in the butt. <laughs> Good, noted. Can you make Ether like Sand or do you have yep. to go? Oh, you have to mine it. You have to mine it, you have to uh, smack it out of a tree, you have to fish it up. Oh! If if uh, if you really don't want to do that and you have enough purple scripts, which you get from gathering and handing in collectibles, you just buy it. But they're very okay. expensive. So it's either expensive from uh, a, a vendor with extra steps. Or it's a rare drop from literally everything. It's not a rare drop so much as there's these ephemeral nodes, which are oh, okay. a different kind of node, and they pop up on a timer, which oh, okay. it's, it's it's on Aeorzea time, so mm. it's like every you get you get it fairly frequently. Okay. And you gather it, and you get it to a there's it's a whole other collectability thing um, in terms mm. of like actually gathering things where you smack trees. There's like a whole little mini game for it. Oh, and the higher it is, the better quality it is. Of course, And the better yeah. quality it is, you sort of take that item and you do what's called um, ethereal reduction, where you reduce it into its base components, which can mm -hmm. be the uh, crystals, which you use for gather, uh, ga <laughs> crafting, Yum. and potentially ether sand. Because ether sand is what's left when you chip away at something to make uh -huh. it the right shape. Okay, cool. I like that. That's, you reduce that's... it like ethereal reduction, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's actually really cool. I enjoy it. Hmm. Nice. I spent like an hour spearfishing yesterday because it was fun and also I needed to eat the sand. Fair. Fair. Ah, Mistress Venturneuve, welcome, welcome. What brings you here, if I may ask? Money. It's always fantastic. You're here on behalf of the Sons of St. Quinn. What fortunate timing. I was just about to contact Master Rambrose with news that we've finally managed to acquire a quantity of fire-aspected ether sand. 
I'm afraid it may be some time before we can supply the other three varieties, but you are welcome to settle accounts for that which we have now. Pray speak with Jemima over th Ah, I do beg your pardon. It seems she's assisting another customer. Come on, there must be something you can do. Without that sand, we'll have to rethink our whole design. Biggs! I sympathize with your plight, sir, but as I explained, the ether sand in question is already spoken for. If you'd like to reserve the next shipment, then I would be happy to accept the funds you've offered as partial payment. Partial? Are you saying it's not enough? I'm already stretching our research budget as it is. Ugh. I suppose a man can do without a midday meal for a year or two. Fiyama, it's been too long. What brings you here then? Got your eye on something expensive, have you? Your ether sand, actually. <laughs> Well now, that is quite a money pouch. The sound of so many gill clinking together is strangely satisfying, is it not? Calming, and yet invigorating at the same time. Oh no, you're here for the bloomin' ether sand, aren't you? Ayup. Uh, yup. It's <laughs> well, sorry, not sorry. Yeah. Well, I can't deny the elegant civilization's a subject worth researching. The chief said he was looking into something big, but we never thought to ask him what. Wedge and I have been too busy tinkering with a new airship design to think of much else, see? Well, I say tinkering, wrestling would be more like it. Still, after much wringing of hands and gnashing of teeth, we've managed to put together a prototype crystal-powered propulsion system. We got the idea for it when we heard how you lot had used a corrupted crystal on board the Enterprise, as a matter of fact. Anyway, to cut a long story short, our design calls for all four varieties of ether sand. And that's why I can't just relinquish my claim on this batch here. Even for you, lass. How are we meant to usher in a brave new age of technological innovation, if not by technologically innovating, eh? Ahem. While I hesitate to interrupt such an impassioned speech, duty compels me to point out that this lady is a representative of the organization that reserved the ether, th ether, blah, ether sand in question, to mention nothing of the fact that her purse is considerably larger than yours. Oh, it's like that, is it? He called you a poor. <laughs> yep. <laughs> 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 all right, all right. This batch is yours. I'll let you have it. But if you're going to take my sand, it's only fair that you grant me a role in this project of yours. I'll take that as a yes. Ah, uh, it's not every day you get a chance to experiment with the wonders of the ancients. With any luck, they'll inspire me to think up another technological innovation or two. I like Biggs. Biggs is great. Mm -hmm. I swear I keep hearing eat the sand. How? What are the What are the captions reckon me to? Ether sand. Uh, okay, speak with Biggs. <laughs> Now then, from what you've told me, I'm guessing you'll be needing the other three varieties of elementally aspected ether sand as well, right? Then rather than sitting on your rump waiting for a shipment that may never come, I reckon your time would be better spent looking for the stuff yourself. And it just so happens that I know of a good place to start. There is said to be a peddler in Northern Thanalan who, very occasionally, handles the earth aspected e variety of ether sand, which is in the process of confirming the rumour as we speak. I know what you're thinking. When did my timid little friend decide he didn't need me to hold his hand anymore? The answer being, just the other day. Seems he's been inspired by a certain adventurer's heroic example. I thought he was joking when he volunteered to go to Thanalan without me. I just hope he manages to stay out of trouble. Ether sand, funnily enough. Oh, look, you know what? Yeah, I'll give it that. Yeah, close enough. Yeah, I mean, like, how many languages tack on the A? Like, you know, it's, yep. Head out to Blue Fog and you should find him poking about with his new bodyguard. Oh, did I not mention her? I Wedge thought it might be wise to hire an adventurer to accompany him, just in case your heroic example turned out to be less inspiring than he first thought. <laughs> bad. Didn't Wedge have the hots for someone? Yeah, Tar. Oh, right. Okay, so was that, I, I was thinking that he's gone and hired the person he had the hots for. No. That'd be hilarious. Terrible. Yeah, Tataru with a big axe. Yeah! Tataru is finally snapped. She's done. Mm-hmm. Save your greetings. If you're looking for a hired blade, then you'll have to look elsewhere. After the day I've had, the only company I crave is the squat silent type. The type that has a handle and holds no less than a pint of ale. Hmm? You wish to hear my tale? 
I warn you, tis no stirring epic, but as you asked, my employer, a Lalafelon lad, wished to pay his a visit to a peddler who deals in some manner of special sand. I forget what it was called, but tis apparently worth a small fortune. Anyway, when we arrived, the man claimed his stock had been stolen by bandits. Determined not to return empty-handed, we crept into the bandit stronghold and set about locating the stolen goods. Long story short, alarms were raised, rogues were woken, and we fled in a blind panic. I was separated from my employer in the confusion, and I've not seen him since. Hmm? Oh, a friend of yours, is he? Then you'd best be prepared for the worst. Tis possible- tis just possible the poor sod may yet be lost in the old Amagian- Amagina Mithril Mine. But I fear the bandits will have caught up with him by now. And we're gonna go save Wedge. <laughs> Tataru the Terrible? I love it, Bjark. I love it so much. We need, like, fan out of this. Tataru the Terrible. Mm-hmm. Oh, dear. It's concerning when CC is hearing better than me. Uh, not necessarily. Um, I often, like, I, I always watch Netflix with captions on. Especially when I'm, because I'm always goddamn tired, but when I get especially tired, my brain starts. It's like my ears are slurring, if that makes yeah, any kind of sense. Doesn't process like, words. Yeah, it, it's like, it's like it's hearing, like, slurring of words, but it's not. Like, they're, they're not slurring, but my ears are hearing, like, yeah, it just, everything blends together. Right, lunatic followers. This should be fun. Whereas robots can't get tired. They'll get confused by an accent, but they won't get tired. I'm in the right place. Maybe it's in a building? Because I went in here and I couldn't see anything. Oh, what? How did I not s He mustn't have loaded in. Oh, oh yeah, that'd do it. Must have, it must have been a little bit of lag. That's alright. That's okay. How could I be so stupid sneaking into bandits' lair? It's, it's just not the sort of thing I do, and now I'm gonna die for it. No, 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 I, I just need to calm down. I can do this. I can be brave. I'm gonna stand up and walk out of here. Here we go. <laughs> yeah! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Please don't kill me. I promise I'll leave and never come back. Kill him anyway. Back. I'm not gonna kill him. He's adorable. <laughs> Look, he's adorable. It's just one of the Lala Phil. They're all probably adorable. Wedge. 
Well, but anyway. All, uh, either god gamers or <laughs> big memes, there is no in between. <laughs> yeah. Hi. <gasps> Fiamma! Is it really you? But, but how did you find me? Can you smell fear? <laughs> uh, actually, ignore that smell. <clears throat> I expect you're wondering why I'm here. Well, I was just in the process of retrieving some stolen ether sand, which Biggs and I need for our research as it happens. It was, I concede, perhaps a touch foolish and very nearly fatal, but I did succeed in snatching the stuff before my bodyguard ran away and several dozen bandits came piling after me with knives and axes and what looked very much like a plank with a rusty nail in it. <laughs> Poor Wedge. Uh, anyway. Uh, anyway, the, the important thing is that the stolen ether sand is right here in my pu in in my uh, oh oh dear, it must have fallen out when I was um taking evasive maneuvers. It seems I won't be leaving this infernal place for a while yet. You'll find the ether sand in my stead, and I won't give it back. <laughs> Hello, Daz. Uh -huh. How you doing? Oh, thank the gods. You're a true friend, Fiamma. I hope the search doesn't prove too troublesome. The bandits don't seem to care much for visitors. Which just smells amazing. It's the chili stuff with broccoli. And it smells so good. And it has lots of steam coming off it, so I am going to not eat it just yet. Because that would be bad. Mouth burnies. Don't mm -hmm. do it. So if they've got a purple name like this, do, can I still, like, help and get stuff? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, cool. Oh, there it is. I don't have to kill anything. Ha! <laughs> Go me. It is what it is. Hello, Gundown! Welcome back. Looks like soup. Oh, it's kind of. Hang on, let me. Do a thing. I'd like a mad gravy. More learnering. What? I. I look, matey. Don't. Don't jinx me. Don't jinx me. Like, don't. Don't do this. Don't do this. So you can see the broccoli. And then there's like chili under there as well that I'm not going to flip around while it's sideways because I'll throw it everywhere and then it'll be in my keyboard. Um, so for anyone who is relatively new here and isn't aware, Gundown AU is my brother. Actual, actual brother, like IRL. <laughs> um, so hello and welcome back. And not only am I playing Final Fantasy XIV, dear brother, See that over there? It's sponsored. <laughs> How awesome is that? Blood of blood. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Gun down gets like automatic pass into the inner circle of the fan. Actually, why don't you have a VIP? Give me a sec. Um, Mum and dad have VIP badges. Um, you don't, apparently. Uh, yeah, right? Um, because it, like when, when you have users come in that is, that are literally called Fiamma's mum and Fiamma Aww. dad, that it's the cutest thing. The first time dad came in, I'm like, is this a troll? <laughs> Cause it's literally username Fiamma dad. And I'm like, I'm like, Gwent. uh, and I was, I was being really like, I was interacting, but being cautious. And I'm like, look, and then I front up just said, are you a troll? And then he texted me and I was like, gotcha. <laughs> It was great. Like, ah, famva. Ah, uh, yep. That's cute, though. Yeah, it, it is It is freaking adorable. Not only, so we have, the obviously, Gundown is my brother. We have Fiamma mum, or Fiamma's mum, who is his mum. We have Fiamma dad. We also have Fiamma stepdad. Aww. Yeah, it's it's super cute. They're not, like, they don't often swing by. Every so often, like, dad will message me and I'll text back and be like, I am streaming, and he'll pop in for a couple minutes. But, um, and same thing with mum, but... Uh, or, or if, um, like every so often I'll tell mum that I'm doing like an extended stream. Like when I did the, um, very, very early on, a uh, 24 hour stream, uh, back when I was slightly healthier, um, fundraising for Beyond Blue. And she, when she realized that I had been live for 23 hours, she wow. came in for the last hour 
And I was like, oh, no, I'm getting a headache. And she's like, go get your peppermint oil. And I'm like, oh, mum. So <laughs> it was, yeah, she's like. <sighs> I respect you. But please. Yeah. yeah. Like, I just. Supportive. Supportive people. Like, parents or no, but it's like supportive folk are just, it's beautiful. Um, the parents did some creating to earn it. Look, well, I mean, gun down stream. Well, streamed. Actually, how long has it been since you've since you've done a stream? Getting cold out, are we? <laughs> I, no judgment, no judgment. I I am aware that this this stuff is not easy. <laughs> no judgment. Um, also, like he has a full time job. I don't. <laughs> so you know, it's a. It's a thing, but, uh, yeah. Um, 13 years since last live. Uh-huh, sure. Sure. It's be like Child. Um, yeah, I can, you know I can find out, right? <laughs> oh, man. Uh, schedule. Oh, you're hosting! Oh, it's an auto-host, never mind. Um, <laughs> you streamed it. No, wait, did you stream yesterday? It said it was on your schedule that you streamed yesterday, but it doesn't have a pod. Videos. It, yeah, it doesn't have, looks like two years. Thank you. Thank you for the bubble tea. That's a good idea. You should, absolutely. Looks like oh, a couple of years. That's okay. Look, streaming is rough. Are you doing are you doing packs this year? Um the where is Fiamma Sugar Dad? Uh hey, no. <laughs> there's 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 not one of those. Um I am my own glucose guardian. Um I'm working my butt off to be full time. <laughs> Have I never said that no, to you? No. Oh my god, it is the gender neutral. It's Glucose Guardian. That is so funny. I'm it's... adding that to my, my my dictionary. As you should. Like, like I just spat everywhere. But it's fine, it's my own computer, nobody cares. Um <laughs> yeah, no. Like it's it's uh-huh. I am my own glucose guardian. Through sponsorships and and ridiculous things that I have been working on in the background. Wiggles eyebrows. Yeah. Um, I did just notice the ad. Fantastic. Got a nice and dude. What are those things that are in the bubble tea? That are next to the bubble tea in the bowl? Are they blackberries or black raspberries? Huh? There's no bubble tea in the bowl. Oh, in the picture under. Oh my god. Zaxton, I was like, what the hell are you talking about? You're talking about like the picture underneath the underneath the channel. Okay. You know, I I needed entirely more context than that. Good. Um <laughs> give me a second. I don't remember what the picture looks like. Uh let me have a scrolly scroll. Do, 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 do. Right, so the picture is of a wooden tray. There is a bubble tea with a straw and pearls in the bottom. And then next to it in the, what looks like an empty thing is actually fructose syrup. In the dish in front of it is creamer powder. In the bowl, the little black things, those are tapioca pearls. Those are pearls. And then it's a tea bag in front of all of that. Um, but yeah, that's everything you get in the kit. You get the pearls, you get the, um, the creamer, you get the fructose and you get the tea. So you brew the tea, you add the creamer, you add the fructose to taste, and then you add your cooked pearls. And then you have your bubble tea. Sorry, I, I know that took me a while, but I was, I was, it took me, my brain a second to find the file that I was trying to access. I always want to end up falling asleep when I get home instead, and that is totally fair. Totally fair. We, maybe we have to do a joint stream. Maybe one That'd day in the far off distant future when you actually visit your goddamn sister. <laughs> Cold out. And I, oop. Oh, we should, we should, you should come here and sit here and we stream. That'd be fun. And for every hundred words I say, you will say three. Because Gundown is far less talkative than I am. <laughs> but I do enough talking for like the whole family, so it's fine. Hey, I'm that person as well. Worthy! You are worthy. You are worthy. You're my brother. 
And I love you very much. Of course you're worthy. I just, you, I guess maybe I hadn't thought of it. Or maybe last time you were here, you were subbed. And so I didn't think of it or something. I don't know. Yeah, of course you're worthy. <laughs> really not easy to keep consistent. No, I was the chat. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Schedule hasn't been touched in many moons. Yeah. It, it said something about you, um, playing some games. It's like, yeah, no shit. That's, that's what we do on Twitch usually. Um, was today's clip good? <laughs> Fiyama, have you had any luck locating the ether sand? I have. Oh, it, um... I got expensive dirt Merry Christmas. It looks not... In boy, it looks interesting. Yes, Temple. that's it! Yeah. I must return to the workshop at once and tell Biggs the wonderful news. I'm taking it. What's that? You're also on a mission to collect ether sand? And you're working with the chief? A treasure trove of elegant knowledge, you say? I see. Then you should really be the one to have this. Biggs and I are far from exhausting all possible avenues of airship innovation, but it sounds as if your problem can't be solved by any other means. I have to say, that sand does not look fine enough to be able to polish Jack. Like It just looks like... Um, it looks like couscous. I was going to say, like, aquarium gravel. Yeah! Yes, you're absolutely right. Or, 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 or the, the little chocolate rocks. Yeah. You know that... Yeah. 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 <laughs> Those are very texture. I love those. And they're, they're so tasty too. Like they're made of uh -huh. good chocolate. Anyway, this expedition of yours sounds jolly interesting. I must say I'm half inclined to join you. In fact, I think I will. Any venture worth the chief's time must be worth a look. Right. I'm more than ready to leave this awful place behind and you should return to Mordona with that ether sand before there are any more uh, little mishaps. Be sure to keep a close eye on your pockets, Fiamma. Where are my pockets? actually yes <laughs> yeah look we just we don't we don't we don't we don't talk about that but hey back we go two more donor two revenants toll i'm starting to feel like that, well, return only works every however long anyway doesn't it never mind mm. i was i was gonna say i'm thinking i might need to set uh, like reset my return point but i'm like mm, probs not we can do a joint Ooh, valorant like stream that would involve me having valorant What's the first oh, person through that? Oh, oh, I don't know. I got myself a present, gun down. Break everything. I got myself a present. <laughs> I've got Beat Saber. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, and I would yeah. pay money to watch you flail around like an umpty. <laughs> In fact, I have I paid have... money. I bought the headset. Um, but I'm I'm gonna bring it down with me for packs. Although um, I have Beat Saber on Steam, so I'm not sure. I don't think I can, unless I also buy it on the headset. But that's like another forty five dollars. So <laughs> that's like a lot of money. Is it a game you can family share? Because you could look at that. On that. Yeah, but that would also require either my mother or stepfather having a computer capable of running Steam and a VR yeah. headset. And I believe that both of them have laptops. <laughs> And oh. my laptop, I actually thought about, hey, maybe I can boot it up on my laptop and take that with me, because I'm going to take it with me anyway. Got to do mm. work while I'm down there, obviously. And like, and I installed everything and I connected it and it was like, this computer does not have a graphics card capable of doing this. And I'm like, oh, understandable, have good. Nice yeah, exactly. It's like, understandable. I spent as much on this laptop as you would on a graphics card. So, uh, well, like a cheap one. It was like a six hundred dollar yeah. laptop. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Beat Saber is dope. I'm pro level. Beat Saber is so much fun. I've been going through a whole bunch of. I've got a ton of custom maps and oh, I'm exercising for the first time in a long while. We have paid money and are waiting eagerly to watch Fear flailing around. Them. And I'm. I tested it, Meaty. I tested it out. It did not go well. Oh no. Yeah. Um. Discord streaming. I don't know if it's... Okay, there are two options. Either Discord streaming is just trash and it's not going to be capable of doing it, or my, my graphics card is old and trash. Um, so what I need to do, I've been given some advice to, instead of streaming it through Discord, streaming it through OBS to the Twitch test server. The problem is, like, the stream was great. The stream was perfect. The game, while streaming, was stuttery as hell. If the stream was flawless, but it was not flawless from where I was standing, and it literally made me want to puke. 
because like even the sound was cutting in and out and all, like it was just, it was terrible. Um, so either it's because Discord streaming is using far too many resources and it can't do both at once, or it's because the, my graphics card is just not up to the task. So if I test streaming it through to Twitch's test servers and that goes like trash as well, then it's my graphics card. But if that's fine, then it's Discord and my whole plan is completely scrapped and I, I don't know what to do. Um, so yeah, it'll be fine. Look, we'll, we'll figure something out. There will, there will be a way. I just, I want it to be a sub only benefit. Um, and sorry. Understandable. Mm, like I want to be able to value add somehow. Cause I don't really have a whole lot of like, hmm, you get emotes, you get a badge, you get da 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 da. But there isn't much value in it that I personally have provided that, that isn't yeah. just come from Twitch. And so I'm trying to see if there are some small things I can do there, but um, I'm, I'm working on it. Basically, yeah. I'm working on it. But yeah, Beat Saber is great fun. Um, anyway, okay. My only, my only fear about actually streaming Beat Saber like here is uh, DMCA. Everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not willing to risk my channel on that at all. Not at all. I mean, that's understandable. Yep. Bit of a draconian thing these mm. days. Yep. It is what it is. And I mean, like, you know, people say, oh, you only get takedowns on VODs, just delete the VOD after you finish, blah, blah, blah. It is only a matter of time before, I catch before, we, before we start seeing live takedowns. Like, oh, yeah. you already see it on YouTube. If you're streaming on YouTube, and you're doing something that's like DMCA-able, people have been banned from YouTube and like taken down instantly while they are live. And they had their stream cut off unawares kind of thing. They Like if they can do it there, they're gonna be eventually able to do it on Twitch. And I don't want to be caught in that first wave. No way in hell. I mean, uh... It's just not worth it. It is never ever worth it. Um, There is a non-copyright music channel called NCS. You can use those songs. Um, yeah, there are a lot of, okay. Um, so. Not if there's not tracks for them. This is the thing. Beat Saber is, it, the, the way that Beat Saber works is if you have, like you've got the stuff that's actually in the game and Beat Saber have licensed that music to play in their game, but I don't have a license to stream it. Mm. Then you've got custom songs, but if you've got a non-copyright song, there needs to be a map for it for you to be able to play it. And then, you know what I mean? And then even just like, yeah, it's, then there's all the different, like, you know, you've got non-copyright, you've got royalty free, you've got blah, 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 blah. But a lot of the time that that applies to different situations as well, it's not, yeah, it, it's, it's really, really tricky. It's just, to me, it is not worth it. I've got copyright claims from playing Final Fantasy XIV with the in-game music. Yep, people will do that. Yep. So, and, and that's not even like walking past a bard doing something. I'm talking being out here in in the world, I have had copyright claims on Final Fantasy XIV in-game music. So playing with with like publicly available music that's on YouTube or Spotify or wherever, and then people, it's it's just not worth it to me. To others it may be. There are people out here who have built their channels on games like Beat Saber, Just Dance, um, all, all those kind of like rhythm games. And at the moment they're perfectly fine. All it's gonna take is, is one person getting struck live and it'll fall like dominoes. Yeah, gone um, overnight. Exactly. I, I would almost put money on it because like streaming is a free source of advertisement well, most of the time it's a free source. Sometimes it's paid. Thank you, Square Enix. But um, so <laughs> a lot of the time it is a free source of advertising for a game, right? For, for a development company. Um, so, you know, let's say you have someone all of a sudden who is um, taken down, have their channel suspended or, or banned for playing, not, not a mod, no, no mods, no custom tracks, nothing. Like literally say Just Dance, playing a track in that game and they get suspended over it or, or they get a copyright strike. Um, the moment that starts happening, 
development companies are going to start looking into selling licenses along their game alongside their games they're going to be negotiating with the music company saying hey we want to include your track in our game which is going to provide advertising for your artist and all that kind of stuff however we also need you to sell us the license to sell them to play it online oh. and so what you'll end up doing is you'll have just dance 2027 and then you'll be able to buy a streaming license for it as well separately and it won't be cheap but the idea will be that if you're affiliate or partnered you should be making more off the game streaming it than than you are paying like to pay for it so you buy the game plus the streaming license in that way and you can put your license number in your panels or some something like or in your title or something like that they'll have some instructions on how to show it or if you get a DMCA, you can reply to it saying, here's my license number. And that way they can take it off, like they can wipe it or whatever. And maybe they'll whitelist you on their end. But I can, I can imagine that that's eventually where we're going to head with that kind of stuff. But it's going to take a while. And it's not going to happen until someone gets banned. Until oh. someone big gets banned. Yeah, someone who's relatively well known in that sort of scene. Yeah, absolutely. Someone who works with the company on a regular basis. Exactly. But yeah, that's, um, it is, it's a really interesting topic. Like I, I find it fascinating personally. Um, but yeah, unfortunately for me, I just, I don't feel like it's worth it to me, especially cause I mean, if I had built my channel on those kind of games, it'd be very different conversation, very different, but I didn't. Um, yeah. So it's, um, interesting and fun. Um, I've noticed some people don't stream Just Dance anymore. Yeah, there was, um, towards the start of the pandemic, start of all the lockdowns, there was, there was another, so, um, in the history of Twitch, there's been big waves of, of DMCA yes. reports. Like, every so often, a new company, a new rights holder will realize Twitch exists and go, what? And, and send out a whole bunch of DMCAs. Um, at the beginning of the pandemic, a lot of big companies did it because they realized like with that, with the pandemic and with borders shutting down and no one's traveling because everyone's locked down and da, 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 um, traveling, touring died overnight and touring, uh, depending on the source you listen to touring is anywhere between 80 to 95% of an artist and their company, their, their labels income. Touring is a big, 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 like, no one buys album. Well, I mean, okay. Not no one very few people purchase an album anymore most people will stream it and streaming it you get fractions of cents per play right so most of their money comes from the merch the ticketing all that kind of stuff um the vip packages to meet the artists that kind of stuff so with all that gone their income dropped massively um so they turned to like trying to make that money online of artists started up twitch channels and things like that and, and performed online to to do that kind of thing but um they they turned their money to try to make money out of of they, they turned their attention to to people who were using the, the music in ways that they shouldn't and so you had some massive 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 dmca waves um and everyone freaked out as they always do but this it was not the first time that it happened it will not be the last time it was just one of the bigger ones um, because it affected so many people, so many new people had started streaming because of the lockdowns. So many people had turned to watching streams because of lockdowns. And so there were just more people that they could target. Uh, so it was a really, really big wave of DMCAs. A lot of people got all three strikes instantaneously and got banned. Um, and so, yeah, people, and then, you know, everyone was like, oh, what's going on? You know, can we, can we, can we, can we? Um, can we, can we play these games anymore? And the answer was, we don't know. And the company certainly isn't going to tell you because if they say yes, and then you do, they're going to cop shit. And if they say, no, you can't, then all these people are going to stop playing their game on Twitch and then they're going to lose all that free advertising. So it is in their best interest to keep their mouth shut. Uh, and so everyone was left in the dark until they kind of forgot about it and moved on. A lot of people just didn't play it anymore a lot of people stopped and moved on and didn't go back because of the fear and that's fair that's fair i i would have felt the same way uh personally but yeah it's, it is interesting there was buzz about that during the first dmc pop waves 
Uh, some years ago, I wish that one kept playing. Let's see, it was anonymous with Just Dance for the longest time. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, she burnt out. Like, but she she burnt out three or four times and then came back kind of thing. Like, there there have been, if you if you Google it, there's like an article every couple of years with her talking about how she's burnt out playing the same tracks over and over again. Um, but, you know. Monkey brain requires enrichment. You can't keep doing the same thing. Mm. But sometimes you can't stop doing the same thing, especially when it's paying oh, your bills. Exactly. Mm. Mm, I have a new way of drinking bubble tea. I throw the flavored power mixed with the coffee. It tastes a lot better. To you, maybe. I hate coffee, so it's going to taste like shit to me, but I'm glad you enjoy it. <laughs> I'm glad you enjoy it. I'll posture check you, Jazareth. All right, we should continue. All right. <laughs> I'm sorry for the detour there, but I always love having those kind of interesting discussions with you guys. I feel like we have all these different viewpoints in it. I always learn something, you know? I always learn something. All right. Ah, Fiamma, you have returned. I take from your presence that you were successful in procuring us some ether sand. Tell me, which variety did you find? Two of them, actually. I got you some aquarium pebbles of mm. the brown and red variety. I see two varieties. Well, that is two more than could reasonably be expected, and two less than I had hoped you would say. Forgive my flippancy, you have done well, truly. If all goes to plan, we need no longer fear death by fire or earth. Just water and air. Master Garland, if you would be so kind as to prepare the relevant crystals. I shall set to work immediately. Truth be told, I've been looking forward to this. One does not encounter materials like these every day. Speaking of which, how in the Seven Hells did you find them? Mistake me not, old friend. I know only too well how capable you are, but ether sand isn't something you simply find gathering dust at the back of a merchant's rare gem cabinet. You had help from Biggs and Wedge? Hmm. Trust them to design a revolutionary new engine the moment I turn my back. How's a genius meant to rest on his laurels when his employees are so damnably inventive, eh? Now they're determined to join us, are they? Typical. I jest, of course. It would be good to have them around. Still, as a matter of professional pride, let us endeavour to procure the two remaining varieties of ether sand before they arrive, shall we? Tell me, Rambrose, have we any information on where the water and wind aspected types might be hiding? Not as of yet, but I have made certain arrangements. We shall soon see if my efforts have borne fruit. Forgive me for observing, but you seem less than enthusiastic about that prospect. If there's a complication, I'd rather we discuss it now than risk jeopardising the expedition. Ugh, may have an explanation is in order. But first, let us savour the preliminary victory that Fiamma has won for our cause, if only for a moment. Ooh. Determination, crit, or direct hit? Pick your flavour. Oh, I can take any of them? None of them are, like, Ooh. best for tank or anything? Well, as of current patch, direct hit is pretty good, but I mean, it doesn't- huh? that, that's more for Wario. But, okay. it doesn't really matter. Oh, no. okay. Fair, fair. Alright, well, I like crit because, look. <laughs> but, yeah. I just, I can't, I can't shake it. Like, when, when, when I yeah. crit, things go boom and Fia's happy. I just, oh, it's yeah. a relic from times past. My original, yeah, look. It's fun. Mm -hmm. Crit fire mage go bang. Mm -hmm. Not anymore, but whatever. <laughs> Bad. Still makes my brain happy. Tickle, tickles that happy, happy chemical. Exactly. <clears throat> yes, yes, I must speak of the arrangements I made to acquire the two remaining varieties of ether sand. Some days ago, I asked a Chalean acquaintance of mine to travel to Gridania and there gather the necessary materials. Since that time, however, I have heard nary a whisper from him. To be frank, this lack of communication is not entirely uncharacteristic, but I cannot discount the possibility that something ill has befallen the man. Alas, we do not have time to investigate his fate. As I have mentioned before, the more we delay our expedition, the more likely it is that the Crystal Tower's secrets will fall into the wrong hands. Therefore, I would entrust you with the same mission I assigned to my friend. Travel to the Black Shroud and seek out Pass Montre, the master of the markets in Gridania. If anyone knows where Aether Sand might be bought, it is he. Okay. To Gridania. 
Um, and while I'm teleporting, I'm going to make a quick detour to the bathroom. I will return shortly. My suggest you do the same. Stand up. Hello. Uh, if they're happy with either sand, why are they making you go? <laughs> either, either. Yep, love it. Beautiful. Oh, wrong button? No, just somehow doing weird things. All right. How do you report in chat? You right click? Report. A. Yeah, that seems like it's fairly simple spam that's right there i'm pretty sure with a right click um well it says it, it is suggesting googling something and delivering gill ah so yes, i'm gonna I guess say that's yeah probably... yeah but i'm just like if this report is found to be baseless and or, or of malicious intent well it's not malicious intent i think it's that looks like rmt but I, would I just don't want to face punishment, <laughs> so I'm going to report that. A reply will not be forthcoming. Love that. Is this meant to be going? So, oh my god, uh, the markets. <laughs> oh, it doesn't remove reported messages from chat. Yeah, I did notice that actually. Hmm. Interesting. Ooh. That's right. Also interesting that there's only one report option. Yeah, there's in-depth reporting. Um, under the support desk. Mm -hmm. Which is under our system. Mm -hmm. Which is literally like, you fill out a report. Ah, fair enough. Chat logs and all. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I'm fairly certain that that fits the description of RM team, so. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Literally, you saying that. I was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that track. They also say cheap, and so I'm not sure what you could be exchanging for Gil that would be called something like cheap without it being real money. So, <laughs> look. 
Yes, I'm sorry. Did you say you wish to purchase ether sand? Forgive me. Madame, but you have you the faintest idea of the rarity of the material you seek. Why, I have not seen so much as a grain of ether sand in these markets for many a long year. I could tell you where one might find, mine the ore from which the water aspected variety of the abrasive is derived, but only a desperate fool would willingly set foot in the place. You seem undeterred. Ugh, very well. Are you familiar with are you familiar with Earth's gift? That is where the ore is to be found, in an area inhabited by a particularly pernicious hog. Should you encounter the betusked nightmare, you will know that you are in the right place, albeit at the wrong time. Farewell. Good luck, don't die, Lamal. I mean, he's, he's like, uh, look, I told you. Look, I told you. Look, what I say? I told you. <laughs> it's like big wine mom energy. It's just like sitting there with like a glass of red going, oh, for God's sakes. Mm -hmm, These mm -hmm. damn adventurers. <laughs> I mean, I'm literally the same. Anytime one of you knuckleheads comes in chat talking about something you've just gotten up to and I'm like, okay. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go get us a particularly pernicious hog. Smack up the sword. Mm-hmm. Hulking hog carcass. Aw. Knuckleheads? Knuckleheads! It not it a fantastic phrase, Meidu? I love it so much. It's just so good. You are too late, adventurer, and not only for the entertainment. You will find no trace of the ore but re but which but recently lay here. Nay, not so much as a speck. <clears throat> Ah, uh, no. You will never spy me from there. For the time- Ugh, bugger. As I told you, the water-blessed mineral you hoped to find is gone. Taken by me. Victory has made me magnanimous, however. Accordingly, I have decided to share the location of an alternative source of aether sand with you. The wind-touched variety, to be specific. I trust I have your attention. Good. A band of Ixel in the North Shroud keeps a quantity of the abrasive for the purpose of removing impurities from lesser crystals. Well, do you mean to dally here all day? Make haste, adventurer, before I snatch another prize from under your nose. This is to be a race. The Ixali logging grounds in the North Shroud shall be our destination, and that is where the real amusement will begin. May the best man win. Um, so... Um, for the time being at least, you'll have to trust the evidence of your ears. Now stop squinting at the foliage and listen, was the rest of the one that I accidentally clicked through. I do love that there's, like, an event log that you can... Yeah, it makes through. it it's handy really if nice. you accidentally skip. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, couple of water emotions. <laughs> Fantastic, Lander. Hope you're enjoying your water. Oh, yes, yes, I know, yeah, I know about the event tab. I'm, yeah, I learned that very early on. I have a habit of accidentally clicking. It's, I don't, I don't, it's not like a twitch in my fingers. I don't know, I guess I'm just holding my mouse too tightly and I'm like, oh, that's a click. Oops. Yeah, look, it's, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's giving me too much heartache before I realized, yeah. I use it daily, mostly at the dog park. Oi, knucklehead, where's the ball? Yep, that's exactly, that's exactly it. That's exactly it. Alright. I'm not sure that I can just cut straight over here. It's probably gonna yell at me, but I'm gonna try. Oh, I can! Delicious. Can you just like not land here or something? Oh. Yeah, no. Perfect. That's really cool. Yeah, they added flying back to Aroma Reborn zones apparently. Um mm. and to Accommodate for the zones not really being designed for flying them, and it's so you can't land where you otherwise would be able to walk. Yeah, that's perfect. I think that works really well.
Then touch Ethis and. Excuse me. Bravo, that was quite a show adventurer. Why, the spectacle proved so enthralling that all thoughts of Ethersand slipped my mind. I appear to have forfeited our little race. Congratulations, the wind touched abrasive is yours. And yet, having been treated to such a memorable performance, I cannot help feeling that the greater prize is mine. This inequity must not stand. I insist that you accept a token of my appreciation. Payment for this entertainment will be waiting for you to the east in a clearing within Proud Creek. Pray retrieve the gift ere it is crushed beneath the iron feet of the dull hands. Food's a bit extra. Mm -hmm. I have concerns. I mean, fair. Uh, you got some person you're not even seen yet being like, here's a gift, smile. Mm -hmm. mm. Not what you were expecting. I took the liberty of refining the ore from Earth's gift into Aether's End. Do keep it safe, adventurer. Lest you accuse me of playing games, you should know that the thought of relinquishing my prize never once crossed my mind, until I saw you in action. Such deeds must needs be rewarded. It is my vocation, you see, to record history as it is made by mortal men, and I much prefer to chronicle the accomplishments of the bold and the mighty. Thus, it is my fervent wish that you continue your career with the same courage and zeal you have shown today. We shall meet again, adventurer, and sooner than you may imagine. Who be? <laughs> I demand! Look, just take a flamethrower. Burn down the forest, we'll find them. Uh, I'll run. Hmm. Oh well, I've got my sand. Let's crack the puzzle. Yeah, all you're gonna do is uh, pick up Black Mage and you'll be right. Let's cast Flare. Easy. Flare. 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 Is that kind of, yeah? Not like that. <laughs> it's fun when you get off a triple Flare, it's very satisfying. Flare, flare, flare. Yeah? Uh huh. <laughs> I'm gonna show you how Black Flare Mage enough! Ah ha ha! Biak. Oh my god. Oh my god, I it hate is it. Precisely. The exact correct time of evening for those kind of horrible, horrible jokes. Look, you know what's a good pun when everyone goes... <sighs> but they have that, 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 like, shimmering of a smile on their face that they can't quite seem to hide while they facepalm. Mm-hmm. Mm, I feel like that might be slightly excessive. What, burning down the forest? Nah, should be right. The trees, I'll go back, something, something, ash. Especially if they're like native Australian trees. Oh yeah. They like need the fire or something, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> and then we have asshole birds that literally take sticks that are on fire and make more fire. Mm-hmm. Hunting no, strategy. The night so not. <laughs> oh dear. What news of your mission? Are we any close to acquiring the remaining abrasives? Actually, yes, we have green aquarium dirt and purple aquarium dirt. I love CC creature flare enough to fair enough. Look, CC ruining the puns? Not okay. You've brought both. I shall have Master Garlon begin work on the crystals immediately. Ooh, X potion, X ether, high elixir. Mm. I think HP is probably going to be my um. I don't have MP, so. Oh no, wait, I do have MP. Well, what do I use that for? Uh, spells you get later. Oh, okay, so no, okay, X potion, go. Yeah. I mean, you... the potions aren't particularly useful, mm. but I mean, they're good for low level, like if like you really, really need them, definitely. My bags are full of them, I haven't used any. <laughs> oh. <laughs> It'd be like that. There, that should do the trick. Ooh, shiny. Uh, claw. Hmm. Excellent work. We now possess all four of the fangs required to pierce the Crystal Tower's defences. My compliments, Master Garland. Oh, it was a trifling matter, I assure you. Fiyama here is the one you should be thanking. Anyway, by my reckoning, there's nothing stopping us from striding up to the Elegant's front door. 
Except you know something's gonna go wrong. You can't go without us, Chief! Biggs! Wedge! Come to lend a hand, have you? No, no, no. Um. Oh. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. Uh, well, it's not every day you get the chance to study the wonders of the Elegant Empire, is it? Their technology makes Garlemalds look ancient. I appreciate your enthusiasm, lads. I really do, but we're not here to take this knowledge for ourselves. Twice in the last decade, the promise of unimaginable power has prompted men to meddle with technology they do not understand, and the realm has been dragged unto the very brink of oblivion on both occasions. We shall not be so irresponsible as to risk another. Time for bed now. Ah, oh, fantastic, Meaty. Congratulations on step one. Or, or like, step point five. I guess step one would be like, I don't know. Look, look, you've done well. Rest well. Best of luck tomorrow. Let us know how it goes if you feel comfortable sharing. And we'll see you next time. Rest well. Wedge, do you recall our company's creed? Yes, Chief. It's, um, freedom through technology? <clears throat> exactly. Freedom. When we forsook our homeland, we swore that we would have no truck with machines that could be used to promote... Excuse me, tyranny. That has not changed. Should you feel tempted to break your oath, remember this. The wonders of the all-knowing elegant empire could not save their civilization, and have damn near doomed ours. Twice. That is why we must explore the Crystal Tower and, if needs be, seal away its secrets. <clears throat> A compelling viewpoint. It is unyielding wills such as yours that have defined the course of history. Uh oh. So, you return at last. What, pray tell, has kept you so wholly preoccupied that you could not spare a moment to inform me of your progress or preservation? Why, the task you assigned to me, of course. Surely you have not forgotten about the Aether Sand. I tasked a passing adventurer with delivering it. A more capable courier I could not imagine. So, this is the person who challenged us to a race. Yep. And they have a tail. <clears throat> The goodest boy. <laughs> Greetings, adventurer. Did I not say we would meet again? I believe an introduction is in order. God damn it. I am Gratia, one of the students of Baldessian. Ah, students of Baldessian. I look forward to joining you on your groundbreaking expedition. I recognize that group. <laughs> Grahatia has been assigned to the project as an observer. I hope you will forgive him his eccentricities and welcome him as one of our own. Sid so smart. Indeed, Byak, indeed. So then, our fellowship is complete and all stand ready to step into the unknown. Three cheers for Noah! Noah? That is the name I have chosen for our little collective. Given our differing backgrounds, we cannot very well call ourselves the Sons of St. Coinac, can we? And we must have a memorable appellation if our venture is to leave its mark on the annals of history. I could claim that Noah stands for Nominated Observers of Artifacts Historical. And so it does, technically. But my true reason for choosing this name stems from the fact that it is shared by a vaunted Allegan Archmagus. An Archmagus? I like the sound of that. Rambo is, is done with all of you. Very well. Now that is the pressing matter of what to call our, now that the pressing matter of what to call ourselves has been settled, it is time we set forth to brave the outer defenses of the Crystal Tower. Is everyone ready to depart? Ready. Smartest of small. to get Aether Sand reminded me I need to get my own Aether Sand, so that's what I've been doing. 
Um, so I'm guessing I have to continue the quest line with Gratia. I haven't finished. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get an achievement when I finish all this, aren't I? Oh, absolutely. Okay, good. Multiple. Perfect. Thank you. Esteemed colleagues, the secrets of ancient Alag Beckon. I'm just trying to figure out, like, what's the, the, like, you have done this, now you can go back to the MSQ, kind of, do you know? Yeah, you, yeah. It, it'll be obvious, trust. Fantastic. Uh, let's not keep them waiting any longer. Adventurer, you and I will join the engineers at the Crystal Tower's main gateway, where we will endeavor to neutralize the structure's outer defenses. Rambros, meanwhile, will remain here and oversee the operation. Given my knowledge of Allegan history, it seems logical that I should lead the expedition myself, though I admit the role does not exactly befit my status as an observer. Still, we can but make use of the resources at hand. Assuming all are in agreement, let us proceed forthwith to the large lopsided gate found to the southeast. It's, um... Graha's like that one, like, kid that, like, you get in your group project and, like, he's a really good dude. He's a really sweet guy. Mm. But my god, can you slow down? <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm That certainly is a lopsided gate. I am upset. Why? Fix it. No, oh, yeah. Yeah, good luck with that. How long will it take you to mine all this crystal out the way so you can straighten it up? Yeah. Get a pallet jack. Easy. I wish I could respond to everything with either a nod, shaking the head, or pumping my fists. I know, right? Maybe. But it certainly helped with my jaw at the moment. Crystal Tower lies beyond this portal. Now comes the interesting part. Sid, you are the only one of our number who has ever crossed this threshold. I ask that you take the lead for the present. How do we get outside? I have several questions. Most of them are, how did we get outside? <laughs> yeah, but then why didn't we just like fly over that door thing? Like, why do we have to go through it? Because you, this is the point where you didn't have flying. Oh. Yeah. And also- Yeah, but uh, Sid, Biggs, Wedge, Airship. He said, he said we can't go to the airship into the tower. He said that bit. But there's nothing about taking an airship to, like, this point right here. <laughs> uh. I say, the energy radiating from these statues is palpable. Lucky for us that it is. One might otherwise stroll past them. Feast your eyes on the elemental defenses which prompted our lengthy preparations. These sentinels prevent would-be intruders from advancing to within 20 yards of the tower's inner reaches. <clears throat> Shiny. No matter how swift they may be. Happily, the crystal fangs we took such pains to craft should spare us the inconvenience of instantaneous annihilation. Here, allow me to demonstrate. Firstly, that was a flawless crystal. Why is it now darkened on the tip? It oxidized. It's fine. Sure. <laughs> sure. That's why I can't like play. Potato no, 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 no. They already explained that, Bjork. I'm not talking about flying into the tower. I'm talking about flying to the point before the energy field and dropping a, la a rope ladder down to directly in front of it. That's what I... Yeah. <laughs> Ch Chief, it's too... Dangerous to allow anyone else to risk his life testing one? Quite right. I made the damn things. It's my job to see that they work. Oh, <laughs> flying, <sorry>. Yeah. <laughs> Bada boom. Success! <clears throat> hey Tanaka, welcome back. Oh, ancient reasons. Fair, okay. Uh, I for one am convinced. Friends, ready your fangs.
This last one is yours, old friend. It seemed only right. <clears throat> There's that much. I, I know that people have made documentaries all over YouTube. <laughs> Um, but no, I'm very much a new player, so I'd probably avoid the history lesson just in case of spoilers. But yeah, the, the original question, in case you tuned in after I'd asked it, is that we went into the cave with a lopsided door and then used the door to get to an open air area that has a safe zone in front of the energy barrier. So why couldn't we use that open air area to get to before the ancient barrier and just drop us right there. Why do we have to use this underground lopsided door? That was, yeah, it seemed a little bit too much, but that's fine. Doesn't matter. I do not care. Uh, ha, we did it. So much for the outer defenses. Indeed, the entrance to the tower is near at hand. My blood fairly sings with anticipation. Which is why don't we just alley wedge over with a little socket kick? Aww. Speaking of blood, I have a proposal for the next stage of the exhibition. Uh, expedition. I suggest we wait here while Fiamma and a hand-picked party of her adventuring companions enter the tower. What? Without us? I thought we came here to survey the entire structure. Oh, excuse me. We did, and we will, but our investigations must proceed at a more measured pace. If the outside of the place is this well defended, can you imagine what awaits us on the inside? Only a true hero could reasonably hope to brave the hazards ahead and live to tell the tale. Fiamma here fits that description better than anyone I know. Yeet. And it is not as if we shall be idle in her absence. While Fiamma and her companions are risking life and limb to beat us a path to the tower, we can set about analysing this rubble for evidence of how its technologies function. Your knowledge of ancient lore will be invaluable in that endeavour, historian Grahatia. Ah, do you ever tire of being right, old man? Ahem. Fiamma, as it seems I won't be accompanying you, allow me at least to provide some instruction. The maze that surrounds the base of the tower is known as the Labyrinth of the Ancients. During this initial foray, I suggest you concentrate on ridding the place of hostile elements. When you are reasonably certain the maze is secure, contact me via Link Shell. Link Shell? Link Pearl? Uh, Link, Link Pearl is the individual uh, thing. Link Shell is like a group chat, basically. Okay. Uh, and we shall join you post haste, no matter what Master Garlon says. Though we would prefer it if any relics you encounter remained intact, you have leave to do whatever is necessary to secure ingress to the upper levels of the tower. Fortune, go with you, Fiamma. Um. You want to know the tower is so safe to assume there'd be some sort of air defense for that. This tower's more of a mystery search to find some information that can't be just used. Fair enough. Fair enough. Alrighty. I had a video pop up in my recommended, so that was literally like, what would all the job stones taste like? And I'm like, if the Astrologian one is not just like butterscotch, I'm going to be disappointed. Because it, it just looks like a, it looks like a, like a Werther's original. Did they say butterscotch? Yes. And I was very oh, pleased. Good. Mm, no. Yeah, but you can kind of see back here now. There's uh, a little bit narrower. Hmm. Duties for alliances. This duty is designed to be undertaken by an alliance, a squad of 24 adventurers formed of three full parties. This battle composition is reserved for large scale duties only. While you are in an alliance, the class job icons and HP bars of alliance members will appear to the right of the party list. By joining forces with other parties, you can achieve that which would otherwise be impossible. Okay. This will be fun. Yeah, it's it's pretty breezy. Uh, we're going to clear selection and not do what I did last time. Mm. <laughs> yeah, right, but... um, I am going to invite you first, yes. Yeah. Uh, okay, so we have a Zekrol. Great. Um, I am going to ask you for consent, Lander. Would you like an invite? Bjark is down to join. Um, are you one of these, Bjark? <laughs> <laughs> Which one are you? Yes, perfect. Thank you, Lander. 
I will I will always ask. I'm I will never assume. It's in my nature. Boy Moon. Fantastic. Person of culture, I see. Is there Samurai good? <laughs> Is there anyone else out there who would like to join us? All are welcome. There's no chance you're gonna be worse than me, so you're fine. Ah. Ah, so, sinks down to 50, you'll be right. I did hit the dummy a few times, but sorry about no. You're fine. As I said, you shan't be worse than I. You're also playing level 80 Samurai. You sink down to 50, which is baby Sam. Hmm, got a few coins there to see. Looking to lose them? Hey, there's Tanaka. Oh. <laughs> Lala on Rose. Oh, route. Yeah. What was that noise? Ah, uh, that was the Reaper portal. Well, yes, it's when it when they uh, they teleport. Like, look, mm -hmm. hold on. Uh, where's my Reaper? And then when the portal disappears, it goes whoop. Oh my God! Stop moving. <laughs> I needed to click you. There you go. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. For reasons. It's alright. On Friday. You can lose them all. You'll be great. Oh, you still have player spell effects on. <laughs> Should I turn those off? I mean, you can decide in, in there if you would like. Okay. Alright. I just need a refresher on where it is for speed. Oh, there it is. Yeah, that's easy enough. Alrighty. Are uh, we... I think we haven't had anyone else stick their hands up that they're on their way. So, speak now. Or forever hold your peace and we will queue. I'll give it a couple more, like, 20 seconds or so for people to just, like, compose a message if they want to join us. Otherwise, we will jump on in. Wiggles eyebrows. <clears throat> Um. Oh, um, yeah, look, um, Char has shown me, like, s so many of everything, and it's just, it's all amazing. There are so many beautiful glam glamours in, like, it's just amazing. Uh, absolutely amazing. Alrighty. I'm a white face, but I'm made of edge. It's great. <laughs> Here we go. That's my first non-instant one. Average wait time, six minutes. Perfect. Oh, I'm the only tank. Good. Yeah. Shit. It's individual parties. Yeah. Generally speaking, this is kind of time, I suppose. Hang on, I thought it said three eight person. Wouldn't that mean there were six yes. tanks? Because you've got... No, it's one tank per party. Oh, okay, okay. It's one tank, two healers, five DPS. Five. Okay, perfect. Or we might have some in the what's it? In the, the rest of the group. Gunbreak is good. Actually, I've got my gunbreaker. Peak male performance. <laughs> Missing like 90% of my stuff. Mm. That's fine. Used to be six tanks, they redesigned Alliance Raises a whole smart. Ah, okay, because yeah, that's what because like when we had the the eight person thing, it was two tanks, two healers, and four DPS. So Those it are kind trials. of mm, so it, I kind of thought like in my head it was it's just gonna be that times three. 
So yeah, yeah no. Like yeah. so. And the same basic. Mm. Ooh, I'm almost to my Warbear mount, though. Mm, nice! 200 high-level duties, tanked as a warrior. Look at the look at all those chickens. Wanda, where's your black one? You gotta complete the trifecta. Oh, we just got another tank. One of my friends in the static, the savage static I'm doing, tried the new extreme and was like, man, latency is not kind to me. And I'm like, <laughs> ow. <laughs> Chicken is on crystal. Ah. No. Very much, much a taste. Very on the smell. Yeah, I'm um honestly not a huge fan of matcha. Um Maybe it's just because I don't have like the proper kit to make it. Like I know it's supposed to be whisked. And whenever I've made it with like proper matcha powder, um, it hasn't stayed suspect like it settles and you just get that kind of dry powdery sort of gritty yeah it like sometimes it's not even a texture though even if it feels smooth it tastes powdery if that makes yeah. any sense like the flavor is dry it's weird um but uh yeah i i like i feel like maybe if i had like the proper little baby whisk and all that kind of stuff then maybe i'd be able to make it properly i'd get it to yeah. froth and do the stuff but I just, it's, that's entirely too much, ha too much effort for something that I'm not sure that I'm going to like anyway. Yeah. So, I think yeah. Matcha is also dependent on the quality too. Oh, oh, big time. Big, yeah. big, big time. Yeah, Matcha definitely has like quality. Like, whereas like black tea, you can kind of yeah. get away with almost, like there's good tea and then there's like average tea, but you can kind of treat it all the same and it's just fine. Um, but yeah, nah. Much is not my, uh, not my favoriteest. I do love matcha flavored stuff though, especially like matcha ice cream is really, really yeah. good. But that might be the buttload of sugar. <laughs> I mean, fair. Walk, walk. Yeah, definitely not opposed to matcha flavored stuff, but I'm um, making matcha tea myself. Even matcha bubble tea, but not like. Not like liquid like this, because like, I've made matcha from the bubble tea club and it, it tasted good, but it just kept settling because I don't have the, like, yeah. Um, but I've had like matcha frappes with topping in them and they've been fantastic. But I think the icy texture keeps the powder suspended. Yeah, that will make so sense. It, it make, you know what I mean? And if you let it melt, yeah. it'll just do the same damn thing. Uh -huh. um, so again, I think that's more in terms of, oh, we lost the other tank. Um, so, I, yeah, I think that's more along the lines of, like, I like matcha flavoured stuff, but not matcha tea. Well, while we wait, did you want to do some MSQ while you wait for the cube? Yes, I can do that, can't I? I don't have to just yes. sit here. I'm yes. just, I was, I'm afraid it was going to, like, stop me. <laughs> nah. Oops, so I'm going to go to Horizon. Because I can always just that's port fine. back here. I Correct, just, I keep, I'm pretty yeah. sure. I'm pretty sure after, like, if you're doing the quests, like quests, it'll mm. throw you out here anyway after you finish. Oh you know no what? way! That's awesome. That's really good. Yeah. Mm, never mind. It's nice and a wee bit, not a proper full tea. I know what you mean. It has to be done properly for the matcha to not be powdery. But yeah. do not despair. You are not without allies. Nims. Thank you so much for the resub. Two months. Oh my goodness. Much appreciated. Thank you. Thank you. Um, oh, much nicer about it. I said it tasted like dirt, healthy dirt. Yeah, but th that's the problem. Matcha doesn't taste like dirt. It, it feels like dirt, like the texture yeah. is dirt-like, but it doesn't taste like dirt. Otherwise, matcha-flavored stuff would also taste like dirt. You know, like it's, there's, 
it's weird, but I know I know what you mean. I totally know what you mean, but I yeah, I, it's fiddly terminology, I reckon. It's a trickier sweeteners, yeah, for sure, absolutely. Marsha ice cream and black sesame ice cream, my ten out of ten. Black sesame is phenomenal. Sesame, anything. Literally. I the, um, uh, there's a, a sesame panna cotta. Is, oh, that sounds really good. It is fucking amazing. Absolutely amazing. Sesame, like proper, like actually ground, roasted and ground sesame seeds with like a, um, uh, not a, not a thick brown sugar syrup, but like a lightly brown sugared mm. syrup over the top. Oh, so good. Yeah. So good. I always have a bottle of uh, roasted yeah. or toasted sesame seed oil in my yes. cupboard. Yes, yeah, I've got, I've got the sesame oil as well. It's just, oh, everything. Put it in everything. Good. Everything. Tasty. Mm, mm, mm. I need it in like a spray bottle so that I yeah, can like spray are. it over chicken nuggets before putting them in the air fryer. Oh, that sounds really good. I know. <laughs> Just like fine dining cuisine chicken nuggets. Nug. Yeah. <laughs> the tomato Black sesame, reduction. Is very... Black sesame, everything is amazing. Agreed. It looks like tarmac, but is phenomenal. Is that a tank? I'm a tank. I'm a tank. Oh, do you mean the mount? Yes, there is a there is a tank mount. Yes. Where did you see then? The bug left in the game with the, sh the Siba mount sound and Shiba drifting. No, no, I was not paying attention. Um, but that's okay. The first time Nimbus stream went well, sleep schedule has shifted, so it's hard for me. To that's okay, Nim's not a worry at all. I hope you slept well. Like taking care of yourself is more important than catching streams. I know, I know, it doesn't seem like that sometimes because I'm just so awesome slash s but genuinely your health and taking care of yourself is so much more important than being here for streams there are always the vods like honestly i know it's not quite the same but there are always the vods and if you ever have like if you're watching a vod and then you're like oh my god i need to make a comment on this you can chat to us in the discord and you can even like drop a link with a timestamp if i in case i need if in case you think i might need context for what you're talking about I can jump in and, and watch and figure out what, and then like, yeah. So you're, you're totally fine. Totally fine. Don't dream about it. Disney sesame, black sesame seeds, soaking in like tea, putting them in spray bottles. <laughs> uh, have fun with that. It's like, it'll separate and all you're going to get is water in your, anyway, that's. <laughs> okay. Ah, Fiyama, your assistance is most welcome. I have already spoken at length with the brass blades of the rose, albeit to a little avail. It would seem that the thieves took great pains to conceal their activities. I could go into further detail, but your time might be better spent in conversation with Fufalupa. He is the officer charged with leading the investigation, and I would only be repeating that which he related to me. If aught eluded my attention, mayhap it would not elude yours. Excuse me. Time elapsed. Oh! Oh. Nine and a half minutes. Average of seven. It's fine. It's fine. Time elapsed. Go. Go better than trying to toast the seeds adjacent to the nugs and waft it. Um, I think you'd probably be better off just getting like a pastry brush, putting all the nugs on a tray and like brushing them with sesame oil and then tossing them in the air fryer. Like it's uh -huh. it's way too much effort for what it, what it is, <laughs> but that'd be like that. I said spray bottle because that is miles easier, but that'd be your best bet. Ah, uh, Fufalupa is 100% an Oompa name. It is definitely a Lullavelle name. Like, my lord, the the the, repeti the repetition in their names is redonkulous. Which one of you DPS didn't click the queue? Which one of you went to the toilet? Ah! Wait, what? Pa your penalty count has increased? One of ours? Oh, someone didn't click. Guys, who the hell didn't click? Landa, Byuk, Tanaka, who didn't click? We just got booted out of the queue. I guess I saw Koya bouncing around, so it probably wasn't Koya. Okay. Um, how do I do this without, what's the G button? Uh, you. Thank you. There we go. Task of the Okay, gotcha. 
That's it's always the way. Like the second like you like step away, it's like, ha ha, gotcha. Yeah, if if you need to step away and stuff, it's totally fine. Just let me know. That's it's totally okay if you need to drop, but tell, speak, communicate. <laughs> Alright. How long does that particular duty take, roughly? Um, not too long, uh, because it is, it is definitely older content. Okay. Um, so a lot of people have it optimized to the point where they just run mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and smack bosses and get mm -hmm. loot and go. Okay. A lot of people do it for relapse. Okay. Fiamma, what a pleasure to see you again. Ishtola said to expect you. I just realized what the time was. Um. Ah, uh, yeah, fair. Yeah. Well, with cutscenes, it might be a bit tight then. Mm, okay. Uh, terrible business, these thefts. We have yet to confirm the quantity of crystals stolen, but I dare say it may be greater than... Ah, uh, but never mind that. I have news to share. A short while ago, the driver of a heavily laden carriage refused to halt for an inspection and broke through one of our checkpoints on the Royal Allegan Sunway. The cart bolted off towards Eastern Thanalan, where, thank the gods, I hear that our colleagues were able to apprehend them without further incident. A speeding carriage? That would seem a curious choice for thieves of such proven cunning. Yet the Amaljar do have a foothold in Eastern Thanalan. Hmm. And what of their cargo? Did they carry the crystals we seek? We should be receiving a report any moment now, but I fail to see what else it could... Did you miss me, friends? I'm back, but I fear I come bearing disappointing news. Or, on second thought, perhaps it's good news after all. Thancred, wherever have you been off to? I figured you had... Everything under control here, so I just took a brief excursion to the east to check up on our Amalja friends. I'm gonna stop that there. You can commence and it won't finish the cutscene, so you can just go back and watch it afterwards if you'd like. Oh, I've hit commence and I'm just not gonna click through the. Um, oh, yeah. Absolutely. Chat of the, it'll, yeah. Yeah, it'll just go back to like mm. where you just started to talk to them next time. Oh, make... By any chance, it's just if you're gonna die to ancient flame and you also get sprouts every time. Uh, no, that's yeah, we're fine. There's not quack. Please not be one of these people. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want penalties. I figured you had everything under control here, so I just took a brief excursion to the east to check up on our Almaja friends. And wouldn't you believe it, I happened upon a runaway carriage on the way and even was able to do my small part to help my friends in the Brass Blades intercept it. What do penalty credits do? Uh, basically, if you miss a queue or drop out of a dungeon, for, like you're the first one to drop out of a dungeon, uh, you'll get a penalty increase. Uh, mm -hmm. If you hit three, you can't do dungeons for the rest of the day, from what I've heard. Uh -huh. I could gotcha. Yeah. In all my years, I've never seen such a prodigious quantity of Somnus. The Blades were calling it one of the greatest tools they've ever seen. The stolen crystals, on the other hand, were nowhere to be found. Is that so? Alas, I suppose we have no choice but to resume our search elsewhere. We should reassess our options as well. Come with us, Fiamma. Oh, no, I see. Oh, so for 30 minutes, not for the rest of the day. Yeah, it's 30 minutes, Lockhart. You just have to keep track of your day's offense into yourself. It shouldn't be difficult. You can miss one safely, and then you can miss two cautiously. Resets, JP Midnight. Okay. Well, yeah, and I mean, like... Yeah, if you, like, dodge out, if you if you leave dungeons because you're pissy with them. Like, you know, it's that's a good system. It's a good system. So, like... If you're in queue for something, be responsible. I'm sure you can't even get into some instance areas too. Yeah, makes sense. That makes sense. Against all expectation, it would seem the Amalja are innocent of this particular spate of crimes. By all indications, they have yet to replenish the stores of crystals exhausted during their last attempt to summon Ifrit. What I can't fathom is why anyone else would go to such lengths to obtain crystals and in such quantities. It cannot be that we are dealing with simple thieves. If their motive were profit, why would they limit their trade to crystals alone? Plainly, we're missing something. While you think about what it might be, I shall inform Eurangia of our progress, or lack thereof. So if we're in this queue for another 10 minutes, and we've got 15 minutes to do... Yeah, I would like, do it. Yeah, once I get out of whatever this is, I'm going to leave that queue. Wow. That's fine. Uh, oh, it's, it's voice acted. Brilliant. I have to talk. Tis I, 
The situation may be more Actually, I can just drop from the group. You should uh, unqueue us if you'd like. Go for it. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Registration yeah, withdrawn. Perfect. Easy. Thanks for that. Yeah, I just, Indeed. I just don't want to risk it. I shall remain watchful. Oh, that's fair. I keep forgetting the other groups and Another that. matter requireth thine attention. A young maiden, full eager to. Wherefore inquirest thou of her fairness? <laughs> oh, very well. Be she damsel or devil, I shall direct her steps to Revenant's tome. Save thine insinuations for one given to such impropriety. Thou shalt not find me amenable. Across the sea from the land of Domar have we traveled. We seek audience with the ruler of these lands. Who here speaks for you? Interesting. Uh, someone would be Char who I'm in voice comms with. Char is my, my guide in AOL at the moment, Tanaka. Um, alright. Fending, I believe, is what I'm supposed to be taking. Yeah. I'm learning. Did you fend things off with your shield? Look at all the blue. Oh. So pretty. Oh, excuse me. Your purples are reserved for your relics. Mm-hmm. Which, uh, oh, that's definitely a uh, collectible thing. <laughs> <laughs> Any bright ideas? A solitary flash of insight? No? Well then, for want of a better suggestion, I say we try picking for Falupa's brain again. Who knows, if we work together, maybe we may yet find something of use nestled away within it. Oh, but it is good to see you return. I have given some thought to the matter, and I have just hit upon a most disturbing possibility. How could I have been so blind? Calm yourself, Fafalupa. What is this disturbing possibility of which you speak? I was contemplating as to how the thieves' activities escaped down notice for so long, and then it came to me. What if there is someone amongst our own ranks conspiring with them? A traitor in our own midst. It would be most unfortunate if your fears proved well-founded, Fafalupa. Indeed, if, for reasons of security, the, con uh, the concern decided to transfer the remaining crystals stored in Horizon to another location, their plans would be discovered the moment the brass blades were informed. Ah, but such a shipment would surely be well guarded. Would thieves as wily as ours risk open confrontation? Mayhap not, but neither would the concern be eager to present them with such an obvious target. Nay, they might instead elect to carry out the transfer in secret to entrust the goods to, let us say, a lone Mikote miner, travelling without escort so as to not uh, so as not to attract undue attention. But who Ah, I see! Yes, the concern may well elect to do that, but to travel with so much cargo would be a strenuous task indeed, and this miner would certainly need to rest upon the way. Mayhap north of the bridge to Hamily? Fine spot for a rest. Would you not agree, Fiyama? You lie in wait to the north, and I shall do the same to the south. <clears throat> uh, we're not doing Labyrinth. No, Byakui, um, I don't have really enough time left this evening um, to, like, wait through the queue and then get in and do the thing with all the cutscenes and all that kind of... It's just, it, it would run me quite a bit over time. Um, and unfortunately, I, I do have... It's a work day tomorrow, uh, and so I do need rest. I'm also exceptionally tired, so, yeah, I, I can't really afford to run too far over time, unfortunately. Um, but what we will do, we do have another Final Fantasy XIV sponsored stream upcoming. It'll be on the 5th of September is our next one. So next Monday. Uh, so I will likely start the stream off with that. So if anyone is interested, you are very, very welcome to join me for that. 
Um, it will be one up to peak out time at that point too, so more people correct. be doing their roulette. Exactly, seven. exactly, because it'll be like, you know, roughly when people are sort of starting to get home from work and things, depending on time zones. Yeah. Sorry again, I'm about to cut soon. No, that's that's fine, Lander, but it's it's more about telling us. Like, if you need to drop, then drop, that's fine. No, no harm done, but please, yeah, please, please do, like, actually do the thing. Um... Uh, her eyes trip me the fu Yeah, look, her eyes are pretty cool. They're pretty cool. Fair enough. Next time. Yes, next time. It goes my fault and I feel terrible. It's fine. Like, you're fine. It's just, yeah, when, when that kind of stuff happens, I'm, it's totally okay if you need to jet off. Anyone and it, like, this is, this is a video game. It is not the highest priority. Um, when something that is a higher priority comes up. You just need to communicate, that's all. Just let us know, hey, I gotta go, sorry, drop team, whatever. You don't even need to apologize. Like, just, yeah, that's all. That's all it is. Uh, ahem, forgive me, my friends, but I've received new orders. I must inform my men at once. Call me a cynic, but I would be surprised if these thieves lay down their arms and surrender. See that you come prepared to offer them some encouragement. I mean, it would be pretty encouraging getting a shield bash to the face. Absolutely. I also have what would it shield lob? No, it is shield bash, never mind. No, wait, I have a shield lob too. I have both. You can smack them and stun them, and then yeet your shield at them. Correct. For That's good great. measure. Yeah. Everything gets squish. Lying in wait. Movement in the distance. Hey, look! Have lain in wait. Oh, it's Ishtola. Where's the balloon? <laughs> Stubborn to the last, as expected. You are unharmed. A gang of sea wolf thieves, and in Thanalan, no less. I suppose there's a first time for everything. Sea wolves, all of them? Aye, and all with the same taste in facial tattoos. Blue, in case you were wondering. I like Vangrid. Our thieves are a long way from home. Vangrid, if you would be so good as to attend to the outstanding matters in Horizon, I have inquiries to make. Thus. To Horizon then, for Falupa will want to hear about your meeting with the thieves. Did you ever think you would see a flying lasagna? He's a good boy. Yeah, he is. It's even better it's when you like, make him look massive. Mm. The Gaelic cat does keep getting in the way though. Every time I try to click a lalafell, it's like. <laughs> On behalf of the bra. <laughs> On behalf of the brass blades of the rose, I thank you for your service to Horizon. Ah, but we have not been idle. While you were afield, we succeeded in identifying the traitor within our ranks. 
Is that so? Then by your leave, I should very much like to have a word with the fellow in private. Uh, no. I'm afraid that will not be possible. Regrettably, he, um, managed to subdue the unit of blades dispatched to detain him and made good his escape. Oh, for the love of... And how did he manage that exactly? Your men haven't been sampling that Somnus we confiscated, have they? Or was he a giant in disguise? N no, but he was quite strong. A sea wolf, Lemonson, born and raised, I believe. But do not worry, we will find him. You have my word on that. I see. Pray keep me apprised of any developments. Oh, I feels fault, not the Gaelic cats. Yeah, look, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Ring, ring. Yes, she's standing next to me. Understood. I fear our time together is at an end, my friend. Your services are required elsewhere. Awfully disappointing, I know, but one must follow where duty leads. You might try to look a little disappointed, or do you mean to give me another one of your stoic nods? You do, don't you? <sighs> Fourth wall smash! <clears throat> nod. Yeah, the little, the, the little nod to the mm -hmm. stoic nod mm -hmm. cracks me up. Mm -hmm. Okay, um... Lovers. There we go. Now he gives me the quest. <clears throat> uh, the antecedent bid me tell bid me tell you to make for Vesper Bay, where young Alphano waits your coming most eagerly. It was he who requested your assistance. Some commotion or incident? I am not privy to the details. While you do whatever it is that Alphano has planned for you, I shall endeavour to track down our traitorous brass blade. And when I do, you may rest assured that we will have our answers. Envelope time. Me. <laughs> That's maybe we're just shy. Yeah, look, maybe. Maybe. I do love the improvements of options you are able to give as a player as the game goes on. Mm hmm. I was good. Yeah. There was one in Endwalker that had me in tears. <laughs> well, fingers crossed <laughs> I, I get like, a chance oh, to get there. Uh, it's so funny. Uh, who's your favourite Scion so far? They all have, like, all of them for very, like, specific reasons. Um, I, I love the, the, uh, Ida is fantastic. Like, Ida is just, she's an idiot, but she's also, like, Intel, like, I don't, I don't know, it's, I just, sometimes I want to, to, every time she speaks, I want to face palm, but it's beautiful. Um, and her and, and Papalimo, like, the way that they interact are just, it's just beautiful. Um. He's got big working dog energy. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, Ishtola, I, like, I love how matter of fact she is and that she's just like, this is the way that it is. Can't really, like, she's just blunt. Um, I kind of feel like if I didn't care about what people thought of me, that would kind of like, cause I tend to, I, I speak my mind, I speak my opinions, but I also tend to soften them as much as I can with my words. Um, you know, like I'm like, I make the whole sort of like, what I'm about to say comes from a place of love. It's, it's, you know, I'm trying to help, but quit the bullshit. So do you know what I mean? Like it's, I'm, I tend to be quite blunt, but then I put in a bit of like a disclaimer in there just to try to help people prepare themselves for the bluntness. Whereas his stroll is just like, yeah, I'll suck. Um, Uriangia speaks in cursive and I both love it and hate it. I'm like, sweetie, use fewer words, please. Like put the thesaurus away. Um, but it's like, his language is beautiful. It just, uh, I don't know. It, it grates on me sometimes. Um, <laughs> it's, it's still beautiful though. Like I can't, it's poetry, but, um, Thancred just, I feel like he's a Chad. I, he's yeah. just like, he's, he's the, the broad pretty boy. And, Straight and, out of an early 2000s, like, boy band album. Yeah, he's he's a Backstreet Boy, 
correct. He's a backstreet boy, and I love that for him. That's wonderful. That's beautiful. Um, Mimphilia? I'm not sure what to say about Mimphilia, honestly. Um, I mean, her outfit's great, but that's, that's her, what she's wearing. That's not her. It's... Not sure, really. Mm, I can't. Happy. I can't quite put my finger on her personality. I think she's just very much like she is the leader. It's like, yeah, but what else? The leader. Yeah. Um, and I feel like that's gonna change. Like, I feel like now that we're getting some of her background, like you know, her like adoptive mother, and so, like the fact that she was adopted, the fact like how she came. Da, and then all that, like, now that we're starting to get a bit of background information on her, um, it's, like, we're gonna, I feel like I'm gonna start learning more about her, but at the moment, there's not, she's just kind of... There. She's a little two-dimensional. Mm. Like, she's very informative, she's very caring, she's efficient, like, she she's an efficient leader. She's really good at all of that, but none of that is about personality. That's right, all just right. function. So, um, but I do, I do have faith that we're going to get more about her as we. Uh, well, at, I'm going to get more about her as I continue on. Um, and then there's fucking Alfie. <laughs> I want to punch the child in the face, uh, but he needs a he needs a good smack upside the head. He right. he really does. But he's also 16. He is a yeah. child. He is a literal child. Um, so, yeah, I, I adore him. I adore him, but there's something going on there. There's, there's stuff that we don't know, and I, well, I don't know. You probably all know. Um, but <laughs> there's stuff, and, and he is, I'm suspicious of him. I'm suspicious of him. <clears throat> an idiot. Yes, she's an idiot. I love it. <laughs> yeah, you don't really know much about Alfie at that point, so that's understandable. No, well, I mean, yeah, I, I don't, like, I know he's incredibly resourceful. He's got fantastic ideas. He's very, very, very smart. Very smart. Um, but he's also petulant and impatient and, oh, it me. <laughs> um, but no, he's, yeah, there's just, he's got some growing to do. He's got some maturing to do for sure. For sure. Yes, definitely. Yeah. Um, he's 100% a Chad. Brilliant. Not wrong about Chad. Good. Good. Some people like Minfilia, some don't. I, I don't, I don't not like her and I don't like her. I don't feel like I have enough of a connection to her. She's yeah, just sort of a, she, she's a narrator at the moment. Mm. Honestly, yeah, she's, uh, yeah, it just popped in my head. I'm like, oh, thank you, brain. Uh, I'll take it when I get it. Um, yeah, I, I feel like she's very much a narrator. She's a point of, of continual return to give you more bits of story and to give you instructions on your next task, but nothing else. She's giving you history, backstory of everything except herself. Um, and all that kind of, so yeah, she's, she's a bit of a narrator at this point. And um, while that's very, very useful to have, especially in giving a new player like myself all of that background information, um, it doesn't leave much for her as a character, um, but we'll get there. Um, so I know you're playing my question on the answer. Fire alarm go- Oh no, Bjark! That's all right. There's always the VODs. <gasps> Rel! Rel with the resub! 15 months! Oh my- and at tier two. My goodness. Thank you so much for the support. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Um... Hope you're doing well, by the way. Good evening. Uh, you're not the only one and he's been told and treated like a prodigy. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He's He's been put on this pedestal and he knows it. And so he's looking down at everybody else and it, it kind of, it, it shows. He needs to be knocked down a couple pegs. He needs to be humbled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it's, it's like he knows that everyone around him is as useful as he is but i'm this useful at this young and you're all old so like what's oh, your excuse sort of it's because i've met people like that before and god they suck um 
but he's actually got a reason for like he is actually useful Alfie's incredible like he's very useful he is very very wickedly smart he has great kind of situational awareness like he knows what's going on he knows what's going to be needed he can anticipate those things and he can go and put that in action which is a very very incredibly handy skill to have and puts you in a position of leadership very quickly but he's also 16 and has the personality and people skills of like a piece of gum stuck to a shoe or of a like, 16 year old boy alternatively exactly. <laughs> like exactly. yeah it's yeah he's um he, he just he needs a, he just needs to mature a bit um i honestly like i just i think it's time. yeah there's like you know we think about teenagers and all that kind of stuff and how insufferable they all are and stuff like that but there's genuine brain structures that have not formed yet like they cannot actually like it's like the um they say that in the in the brain of somebody with xy chromosomes um there there's a, a bit that doesn't actually develop until the mid 20s that makes them realize they can die like like genuinely when you when you see idiot 19 year old guys zooming down steep hills in in shopping carts and things like that thinking oh my god those idiots one of them's going to end up dead they genuinely cannot comprehend their own mortality this is just what i i don't know if it's actually true or not this is just what i've read over the years but like there's there's an actual like it's a structure that forms in the mid 20s so that they can f that they know they can actually die and that's when they start not and the 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 evolutionary reason for it was that like if if they thought they could die no one would go out and hunt the mammoths for meat <laughs> like they they yeah. everyone would die because they wouldn't get the food because no one would be stupid enough to go and get it but once they make it to the age, once they make it to that kind of mid-20s sort of age, it's like, oh, no, now I need to go make the next generation. I, it's it's time to go impregnate some people. And then, you know, and then the cycle continues. But um, like, so if they make it to that age. So, like, it, it makes sense, but it's... So when you, when you think of, you know, asshole 16-year-olds who are up on their pedestals and need to be knocked down a few pegs, it's because he genuinely doesn't... Huh? No, he, he can't. He, he just he he can't know yet. Um, it's still annoying. <laughs> it's still I, annoying. I understand. I understand you are the way you are because the things you can't control, but it's fucking science. Annoying. But e exactly, exactly. I know science is to blame, but I don't care. Um, and then there's Tataru. I love Tataru. End of end of set. Like that's it. Tataru good. Tataru is good. yes, correct. I mean, I also, like, feel an affinity with Tataru. Like, she's essentially the yeah. accountant. And I'm, she like, is. it's, yeah, you know, it's, yeah. Uh, not, she's she's a little shorter than I am, though, so. Well done to see. I remember I once saw a video about LED lasers or something, and every time this guy talked, I felt like he was personally slapping me with gong. Uh, okay. Uh, gum 16-year-old, same, same. I'm back. Welcome back, Bjark. Welcome back. Believe it, Dawn is in filter. I mean, without that, they wouldn't want to do the necessary stuff. Uh, to quote the never ending story, he simply can't imagine. Yeah, like he he but it's it's just that straightforward. There's just it's it's literally impossible. Anyway, you are late. Look you. Shut up. We were just talking about you being a shit. Correct. Yeah, <laughs> perfect timing. You are late. No matter, I know where our visitors are headed. From what I have been able to gather, this vessel belongs to a band of Domans who seek an audience with the Sultana. You are familiar with Doma, yes, in Othard? Well, like the rest of the nations of the Eastern Continent, it is ruled by the Gullian Empire. Given our visitors' unannounced arrival, as well as the state of their ship, I suspect they did not leave their homeland under the best circumstances. Needless to say, I should be very interested to hear their tale, and more importantly, what they know of the current state of affairs in the Empire. Such information could prove most useful. We would be fools not to pursue this opportunity, do you not think? Come with me to Uldar Fiamma, unless I am mistaken, and I am rarely mistaken. We will find the Domans bickering with a Sultan Sworn on the Royal Promenade. You are uncertain of your role in the proceedings? Insurance. If our guests are not themselves Imperial agents, it seems fair to assume that they may be being pursued by some. And if not, who better than you to have on hand in the event of an unforeseen diplomatic incident? Besides, I do so enjoy your sparkling repartee. S satisfied? Good. I shall
shall see you in Ulgar. Sarcastic little shit. I'm going to smack him. Yeah, me too. Ready? One, two. Yeah. <laughs> Synchronized slap. <laughs> We're just talking about Alfie being a pain in the butt and half a year is being a pain in the butt. I'm like, oh my Presence. god. Presence. Yeah. That exile to resist the urge. Just, yeah, it's just. <sighs> I think so, I think I saw someone describe him. I think it was in a uh, comment online describing him as a redditor, and I was like, "That's oh my god, oh my god." You know what? Oh, I hate that. You know what? You're not wrong. I feel attacked though because I've been spending so much time on. Although I don't post, I think yeah. that's the like I think about things, I read things, and I comprehend them, and sometimes I discuss them with Jas or I post them to the group chat. <laughs> um, have you been enjoying my posts? Um, yeah, but yeah, it's, um, I don't post, like, I, I don't, like, mm. Does he cut down for it? Um, what up with your answer to my question? Pretty much agree, as we go quote him for Reddit, I'm brilliant. Oh, did he? Um, no. whenever Alfie gets sassy, he says it's because he got downvoted. Yeah, look. Look. It's the, it's the funniest stuff to see is when people get super, super salty and really defensive when they get downvoted. It's like, that is not how to get more up, like that's not how to get upvoted. Like just take the L, move on. People don't agree with you and that's okay. Not everyone Rolling has to agree with everyone. Yeah. Everyone is going to jump on that, like, throwing, like, petrol oh, yeah. on fire. And this is, like, you can post the exact same thing on, like, you know, seven different subs, and you'll get v v massively varying, like, ups and downs on all because of the different communities. It's really interesting. Hmm. Uh, it matters not how many times you ask. Without the necessary permissions, none shall pass. Pray understand, good sir, we have not the leisure to lodge a formal petition. Time is of the essence. All I ask is that you summon your superior. Allow me to plead my case. Surely you can grant us that small kindness. Away with you and darken these doors no longer. I will not ask again. Yo, Bart. <laughs> you know not what you do. I gather your pleas fell upon deaf ears. A loyal man with a cold heart. I know his kind well. I hope that you will find me more to your liking. Alphenard Levilleur, at your service. A friend. Which, I believe, makes me very nearly unique, in this part of the world at least. Few indeed are your allies in Uldar, yet you will need some if you wish to endear yourselves to the wealthy and powerful. Pray join me and my associate at the quicksand. There you may explain your situation to us, and we shall see if there is aught we can do to help. Uh, I make comments on Reddit, don't post. Does that make sense? Oh, yeah, I just, I don't do either. I uh, feel like Minfilia at the current point is a leader and you don't really see the leaders behind the scenes usually, which is fair, doesn't explain away the 2 ness but it's understandable. Yeah, um, what I what I said whilst you were AFK was that Minfilia currently feels like a narrator. Um, like, she's there to tell the, like, to catch you up on history and to direct you where you need to go next and to tell you why things are happening. But she herself doesn't have any character. She's, she's there as a physical embodiment of the story rather than her herself at the moment. I'm, look, that may, that may change as I progress through, especially now, like, you know, we've learned that she has an adoptive mother. We've learned how she came to Uldar, all this kind of, like, it's that kind of, we've got a little bit more now of her, and I feel like maybe later we might get some more again. Um, but at, yeah, as it stands at the moment, she's just kind of a signpost with a history book stapled to the front. That's all right. <laughs> I see you liked that description. <laughs> That's funny, because it's true. Ah, uh, we're pulling the veil away too much, maybe. Yeah, possibly. Uh, I forgot how much of a little ship he is. I'm used to Alfie much later. Yeah, well, he's he's a baby. It's understandable. Let's, let's not toe the line of spoilers, smile. Yeah. Yeah. Do 
Maybe that's where her name came from. Yeah, like a min <laughs> minimum <Folma>. feeling. <laughs> minimum feeling. <laughs> Manila Folma. Oh no, but is it like she? She was called Acilia as well. Yes, um, that, I think that might be her actual name. I'm not, I can't it, remember. It seemed the way I. I don't exactly. Know. They didn't really say up front what was going on there, um, but it was kind of like. Yeah, it hasn't it hasn't been explained properly, but what I gathered from what was said was that that was her name, and now she goes by Minfilia for some reason rather than Asilia. Um, I also definitely notice and don't fucking don't even say a word about this. I'm going to make a statement, and nobody's going to comment on it because I know what's going to happen. But I did absolutely notice that Asilia is exceptionally similar to Asian. But yeah, look, as I said. No one's commenting on that. I don't even care if I'm way off base, just don't tell me. Um, good. Let speculation be speculation. In your own brains. Yes. Keep keep that to yourselves. Um. So note, Asian actually is a word apparently means without shadow. That's cool. We have traveled some several thousand miles across the sea voice acting. No. from the nation of Adoma, oh, no, okay. in hopes that we might find sanctuary in these lands. I was surprised. <laughs> I didn't realize it was coming. I was like, ooh. Sanctuary, Lady Yugiri. I, lying within Othard, Doma was under the dominion of the Galian Empire, as I'm sure you are aware. When the War of Succession broke out in Garlemald, we aspired an opportunity to free ourselves from the yoke of Imperial oppression and took up arms. Only to be crushed. And so I gathered what few Domans escaped the reckoning and guided them hither to your shores. A War of Succession? Then the Emperor... Forgive me. You said that Doma was under Imperial rule, did you not? Doma is gone. Raised to the ground as an example to the other provinces. Twelve have mercy. And your people? On a ship anchored in Vesper Bay, flying borrowed colors. Many were complicit in the rebellion, or are kin to those who were. They will not come ashore until I send word that it is safe to do so. I sought an audience with your rulers, but was summarily refused. The lords of Ulda are not wont to entertain foreign refugees without suitable encouragement. I'd just like to point out briefly that, like, Alfie, when, when she told him that Doma was gone, there was there was a moment of oh okay like oh no like there was there was a moment of of like crack in the veneer and i like that oh yeah <laughs> yeah consequences oh mm, dear. yeah mayhap i was foolish to expect otherwise but our supplies run low and we have young ones in urgent need of care i have seen the tents outside the gates however we are not the first to seek asylum, nor will we be the last. Be that as it may, Ulda is no friend to Garlemald. Your tale would stir the hearts of many men and women here. The Sultana and the Syndicate will not be so easily swayed, but I shall see that you are granted an opportunity to plead your case. This is within your power? Well, far be it from me to boast, but I do have the ear of certain influential individuals. Far be it from me to boast, Alfie. I am in your Don't inflate his ego, Yugiri. Lady Yugiri, forgive me for observing, but your choice of attire seems like to evoke feelings of mistrust. Men are wont to fear the unfamiliar. We know this from experience. 
We seek only to spare the people of Uldar unnecessary disquiet. I shall defer to your experience, then. I thank you for your understanding. It seems I have urgent business with the Flame General. I leave our guests in your capable hands. <laughs> um, all right. So our next step here is to speak to you, Giddy. Uh, however, that would be the point to stop. Yeah. Correct. Mm, considering that we're at the uh, the inn and everything, so I'm actually gonna actually go to an inn room. Um, and maybe when we wake up in the morning, uh, I will yeah, play with the toy chest. I got a thing in there today. A jigsaw puzzle. Yeah. Uh, so I'd like to have a look at that and see. But yeah, so um, we're going to wrap it up here today now for like for today. Um, I have a uh, good. My next stream, if you wish to catch me, will be on Friday. Um, I have updated September's stuff and things to uh in into the twitch schedule so twitch.tv forward slash fiama forward slash schedule um if all of september is in there now um of course subject to change it's having to disclaimer everything these days but that's fine that is subject to change but that is how it stands currently um so next next stream will be friday i have an announcement to be made on Friday. Don't want to miss that. Mm. But the next specifically Final Fantasy XIV stream is going to be on Monday the 5th of September. Um, same time, same bat time, same bat channel. Um, <laughs> and I'm going to be picking up where we left off, continuing through the MSQ, I believe. Um, but we are also going to jump into the Labyrinth of the Ancients there, just so that continuing through the MSQ won't just all of a sudden be like, ah, can't do this, gotta go do that. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do that prior. So I'm probably gonna log in, put a group together, queue, and then go do the MSQ while we wait for that queue to pop. Right um, yeah, that's, so if you wanna jump in with that, with us, check the schedule and be here when it starts, um, because that's when I'm gonna jump in and go. Um, and you don't have to, like, there's no pressure whatsoever, but if that is something you definitely want to do, then that is, that would be how to do it. Um, ooh, hang on a second. Have you seen the logout animation if you click on the bed to log out? Yes, we did it, do, we did do it oh, like yeah, one time, remember? Right. Didn't we? Was, I think we yeah. did. I, mm, I think we did. Yeah, from memory. Online store dream fitting. Brilliant. Well, we're going to log out. So I'm going to do this one fun stream. Absolutely, Bjork. I had an absolute blast. I hope you all did too. Um, we are going to log out there. Sleepy times. I want more pillows. Why do I only get one pillow? Also, maybe take your plate armor off first, honey. You're an Uldar. You think they're going to give you something? Look, they think they're going to give you more than they actually have to. <laughs> Fair, fair. All right, happy sleep, see you Friday or something. Yes, brilliant. If not, if you miss it, there will probably be either a clip or in a VODs, uh, worst case. Um, here we go. Twitch, oh, can I spell? No. Grab your copy paste. If you do not have the Fiamma Hype emote, either because you are not a subscriber or because you haven't unlocked it using your channel points, either which is totally okay. You can still copy and paste the entire message, delete Fiamma Hype, replace it with your favorite happy, hypey, celebratory emote, and drop it into Niku Daneko's chat when we get there. I hope you have had a wonderful time with us today. I certainly have. Thank you again so, so much to Square Enix for sponsoring today's stream. I will see you all on Friday. Take care of yourselves. Be nice to each other. 
or let me on social media, and I'll see you then. All the love. Mwah. Bye, guys.